Hello everyone, welcome to OTK Rift. This is OTK's first ever League of Legends tournament. We're very excited to have lots of our friends and lots of really big streamers playing here today, ready to throw down on the Rift. It's gonna be very interesting. This is a platinum and below tournament. Uh, I'm excited to be hosting and spectating this side of the tournament. Uh, as a lot of you know, I have strong roots in the League community. I started as a League streamer, so this is something I'm very excited to do. I've never hosted a tournament before, like I've said, played in a lot of them. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited today. It's gonna be good. Uh, so today we have four casters from the League community. Uh, we've got Captain Flowers, who is a professional caster on LCS. We've got Zyrene, also worked for Riot, professional. We've got Dom, very awesome. Also worked for Riot, yeah. Also worked for Riot. <laughs> and we have Sanchovies, friend of the stream, hello. Welcome all four hey. of you to OTK Rift. Thank you for Thanks. being here. I like how we I all have these tiles and Sanchovies is friend <laughs> of the stream. Hey, that's fine with me. Okay, well, <laughs> we, we haven't played the rest of us, but yeah. Well, I mean, I, I have a question here. I mean, you said it was okay. platinum below. Right. So why aren't you playing in this one? Uh, wait, well, hold on, oh. wait, okay. I, okay, listen, listen, no, listen, listen. I started okay, playing, okay. I'm not, I'm not putting anyone on blast, I'm just saying. I'm going to just look up Amaru and the client real quick. Wait, stop, okay, listen. I've been okay. busy with other things. There's been a lot ah. going on this year. And it's only March. I still have plenty of time to get back. Dom, why okay. are you doing me like this at the very beginning? Just had to set the tone for the stream. It's all good. But yeah, continue, oh, continue. Just, just the vibes are the question. vibes are perfect. This is exactly what I wanted for a League of Legends tournament. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, so we're gonna introduce the format here and explain how this tournament's gonna go down. Okay, so we have eight teams, forty players. We have two groups of four playing in single round robins. So uh, some of these teams are never gonna play against each other. But yeah. Uh, two groups, four teams each, that each play against each other once. The top two from each group will move on to a single elimination bracket. So, semifinals and finals. Okay. Are there any teams that you guys are excited to see today? I'm excited gotta... to see all of the teams because of the fact of we're not at a professional level. And me and Dom were talking about this behind the scenes at first. When you're <laughs> in the professional level, you got to play the meta, you got to play it right. Yeah. Right. Yada, yada. Not today. Not when we're here. I want to see Fiddlesticks. I want to see Skarner. <laughs> I want to see all the stuff that I don't normally get to see in professional League of Legends, and I want to see it fast and loose bronze style. That's what I'm here right. for. Yeah, it should, it should be interesting. Uh, it's not going to be as set in stone as pro games where they follow kind of a format. It'll be interesting. Okay, we're going to introduce the groups and show what teams are playing against who. Okay, so Group A, we have Team Buddha. Team Soda Poppin, Team Esfan, and Team Tectone. And then Group B, Team Mizkif, Team Erob, Team Cutie Cinderella, and Team Critical. Yo, okay, I'm so gonna then, be casting yeah. with Flowers, so I'm excited for Team Tectone. I wanna, I wanna cast oh, some VTubers shit. with you, Flowers. I want some I.A.R.S. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I can say this right now. Zyrene would not tell me how to properly pronounce the VTuber name. So when <laughs> I get mad, weebs have to get, or when, when the weebs get mad at me, you gotta get mad at Zyrene instead. It's not my fault. He would not, help me. He would not <laughs> help me. I asked for help. I did not get it. It's better this They're way. They're gonna come after this way. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be pissed. Okay. Um. We showed the bracket, right? Okay. Yeah. So it'll be semifinals, finals. Uh. Okay. Uh. Do we have prizing to show? All right, so for today, we have a 10K prize pool. First place goes home with 5K, second place 3K, and third place 2K. But uh, as you know, there's a lot of streamers in here who don't really care about this, but they're just going to be competing for bragging rights and to be able to talk about this later and compare themselves to each other. Okay, uh, we're going to introduce the captains now. Okay, so we have... Soda, Ms. Kiff... As fan, Cutie Cinderella, Buddha, Critical, Erob, and Tectone. That's a great picture of him. Looks good. <laughs> okay, and then uh, they all have selected four teammates. Some of them were like, I have no idea who to play with, so we gave them teammates. Uh, but not for Team Buddha. They're pretty stacked. Isn't Team Buddha like the clean boys? 
<laughs> like a lot of the clean boys in XQC yep, from uh, has... GTA. Yep, Harry, Blastoise, Buddha, XQC, and Saikuno on Team Buddha. This team's actually pretty stacked. <laughs> I expect to see them in the finals. <laughs> Isn't Blau like diamond level player and Saikuno used to do like uh, lead guides back in the day? I thought so too. I thought Blau was diamond because he worked at Riot. He he said no, he's no, a, no, 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 oh, no, 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 that's not a requirement. That is <laughs> his, his own words, actual gold level player. No, he's, uh, he's one of the from back when he was at Riot. He's a great dude, but let's all be real. He plays Akali and Yasuo the whole season, peaks around mid platinum, and then spams Zillion mm -hmm. and just alts the carry over and over again in the last month to get diamond. Blau, you literally told me this directly. I'm not throwing you under the bus. You built the bus. You drove it yourself. I just happened to direct the people towards it. So, oh god. Be fair. I mean, look, look. In his defense, he did beat Tyler one in a one v one, which was his claim true. to fame. This was this is true. That's how he got started originally. So, hey, hey. this is old lore. Oh. Yeah, this is, it's not even that old. It's like three years ago. Okay. <laughs> god. Wasn't XUC also yeah. just a Masters ADC like in early seasons? Yep. Yeah, I think there was like season mm. five or something. Okay. Okay. Next, we're gonna introduce Team Soda. Pretty good team here. We've got Surefor, Rafflegator, Soda, Lakari, and Fillion. So I have watched, like, I used to watch a lot of Dota streams, and I remember watching Admiral Bulldog stream Dota with Lakari. So I know that Lakari's got Dota skills. I've never seen him play League of Legends, but it's got to transfer over, right? He's no. He's no, a, it, no, it doesn't. Okay. I've seen him play. Uh, he's a plat <laughs> one one over at all. <laughs> Not okay. at all. Okay, you it's say that, but I think I think he's one of the better players in this tournament. But it, I mean, it is plat capped. But I okay. I expect that he might be like rolling a lot of the top laners. We'll see. Okay. Yep. All right. I have high expectations for what it's worth. Yep. I mean, he he is. A very aggressive player. I'll give him that. that he he fights the death on on cooldown. Uh, honestly, I think Sanchovies will like watching this guy. He's a he's a top laner. Just plays brain off, yeah, fights the laner. death. I mean, Lakari and I are, are actually friends, and I coached him for a while. Um, oh shit! And yeah, so I'll be rooting for him to win this whole thing because I I think he can really just take over and carry every game. If I don't know the the format of the tournament, but if there aren't any bans. Expect to see a lot of Gwen from Lakari. There are that's... bans. I okay, wouldn't so... be surprised if he gets banned out every He's game. He's going to get banned out 100%. Yeah. Oh. Okay, are we like moving on player. to Team S fan? Team S fan. Okay, we have Luna, Oni, JCG, S fan, Rami, and Sony. Wait, we got to use that picture of Sony, man. Uh, yeah, what is that? <laughs> it's from the or something. <laughs> so, 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 Sony's like the dude you tell your girlfriend not to follow on Twitter because he's just, oh man, he watches anime, he's good at video games, he's buff AF, dude. I'm like, shit. He's <laughs> simping before we even get into the game right now. He, he's also he, Gladiator in WoW, so I, I simp for him there because I, I, I love I, that. Is that good or bad? I've never played WoW. Yeah, that's, 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 top, that's top level. That's top level. <laughs> oh, right up there. That's a good thing. <laughs> you guys didn't like that Giga picture of Esfan? No one's going to mention Esfan <laughs> on the cosplay wing. <laughs> he's already winning that cosplay competition. True, true, true. Okay, Team Tectone. Uh, this is an interesting team. We have Tectone with Sakiomi. Cyan, Girl DM, and Nimu. Um, this is an interesting team. Tectona has surrounded himself with a certain kind of good player. choice. He made a uh -huh. really good choice. Yeah, in terms this is of this is one I of my favorite teams. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> he thought this out quite well. <laughs> you can tell yeah. he he uh, <laughs> he made plans. I always remember the time Flowers told me that Snoop Dogg reached out to Cyan on Twitter and like replied to like oh, a, a Belfy dude. <laughs> oh my god! Really? Oh, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's something about like being in a music video or something, right, Flowers? I forget what it was. I think it might have oh, been around god. her like personal training thing. I don't know exactly. That's what it was. That's what it was. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, next god. we have Team Miss Kiff. A good team. Good team. Hey, Team Mizkiff, it's uh, a bunch of my roommates. Uh, simply. Oh, yeah, there you go. So, wait, are you biased? Uh, oh, uh no. Well, okay. I, I, right. I'm, I am kind of rooting for this team, but, uh, you know. That's fair, yeah, that's simply, fair. Simply, Russell, yeah, Everybody's Mizkiff. a little biased. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Yeah. 
You're bot. You're you guys probably have some bias. You just won't say it. If anybody picks Skarner, I will unashamedly cheer for them. Just like full hell yes. <laughs> like if you pick Skarner, I'm your fan instantly. Pick Skarner, somebody, please. <laughs> okay, and then we've also yeah. got Snuffy and NMP. LOL. Yeah, uh, I did a little research on the VTubers and Snuffy's model mm -hmm. stuck out to me for specific reasons. You'll you might okay. see if you go through some of the VTuber ones. You know, I I will say definitely, <laughs> definitely cultured, definitely very cultured. She is. She's very cultured. Yeah, we, we love her around here. OK. Oh, we, we've got a feed of that. OK, <laughs> she, uh, I, think she, I don't know if she has the model you were referring to today, but. Uh, is, is that the one you were thinking of, Cyrene? <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm a face guy anyway, so you know. That. <laughs> okay. You're such okay. a degenerate, dude. Okay. Hey, she she said she said she said I could be degen here, so I'm I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you can say whatever you want. This is an LCS. We don't even have a sponsor, I don't think. So, uh, okay. Then we have Team E Rob next. On no, Team E Rob, we have Darion, Crazy Slick, E Rob, Gigi, and Pokelols. God, dude, uh, Poke used to be a really good player, didn't he? And then he went to like Overwatch and was like a, a top Genji yeah. player and stuff. I, I, I think he's going to do some work here because Le League is like riding a bike. You could leave it, but like it never really leaves you. You can just get back on that thing and then you can just pop off. Phantom like, bike. Yeah, yeah dude. I remember. Still, Poke still plays a lot. He already has 100 games this season and he um Damn. he's going bot lane with GG and the, they always duo. So they already have that synergy. I really oh, hope she didn't play ball with this a... tournament. I hope one of these right. bot lanes just decides to full cheese. I want to see Ivor and Rengar, or I want to see like Jarvan <laughs> Pantheon or something. Just some absolute nonsense garbage in bot lane. It will not be a true amateur tournament unless we get some wildness down there. I'm hoping for that too. Okay, next we have Team Cutie. Okay, we have Stans, Will Neff, Cutie Cinderella. Chocobars and Myth, and they've all got their red carpet photos. They got the, they got the photos from the they've awards. They've got the full, full <laughs> red carpet photo team. Okay. Wow. Wow. <laughs> they got oh, the matching shit. profile pictures. They all showed up to the same photo day, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is already the best synergy we've seen among the teams so far. That's true. Oh, they they do look like the most organized so far. And I think all of these players are pretty experienced and have like been decent rank at one point. Definitely. Like Chocobars was yeah. a diamond oh, yeah. mid and support player in ADC, yeah. I think, too. Yeah, she, she's she's willing to play things. I think she's won some Twitch rivals, too. Like she's willing yeah, to play like has. the Vagar in a uh, bottom lane and like really mess up people at ADC. So I'm a little scared there because she yeah, I've, it's I've one of those things. Where she, uh, yeah, she, she <laughs> <laughs> how did that go? Um, uh, not sure if I remember. <laughs> okay. <laughs> OK, and then are we ready to show Team Critical? OK, cool. Then for Team Critical, we have Slicker, Christopher Yi, Critical, my brother, Wantep, and Jay the Bard. Okay, I'm kind of interested to see. actually plays Bard. If he doesn't play Bard, I'm, I'm going to be sure sad. I'm not sure he does. This I is hope um, he does. one of our teams that was kind of thrown together last minute. So I don't know if all these people have ever played together. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with uh, their first time <laughs> playing together as a team. God, I trust Charlie. Threw, yeah, it threw me back yeah. to like the old I, I voice critical YouTubes, dude. Oh my god, it's like it's like okay. 2013. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is uh, we're gonna run a poll in chat mm. for chat to decide which game from round one we're going to spectate. There's gonna be four games going at the same time. So chat, you get to pick which team in round one you got to watch. The options are Team Soda versus Team S Fan. Team Tectone versus Team Buddha, Team Erob versus Team Cutie, and then we have Team Critical versus Team Mizkif. You're voting for which team you want to see on the broadcast for our shoutcasters to spectate and cast and have some lovely commentary on this amazing bronze to plat gameplay. So yeah, just put your vote in. There's about a minute. And then while we're waiting for that, we have a merch promo. OTK Spring Collection is coming out March 26th at 10 a.m. CT. Uh, this shit is going to sell out fast. I know you guys didn't believe me and thought I was just creating false scarcity, but it's actually true. So uh, did, if you did, want that... Did they use that term? Did your chat use that term? False yes, scarcity? Yes, they did. They did. They were calling me a liar. 
Yeah, oh look at them. God. Look at them. They're doing it right now. <laughs> Artificial <laughs> scarcity. Yeah. <laughs> Chad, yeah. Chad's too cautious. Look, they're coping me. Oh my, I can't, I can't stand this. They're calling me the liar. <laughs> <laughs> that's just clueless copium come on yeah, she's trying to sell you t-shirts not monkey jpegs this stuff actually has value yeah, come dude. on be real okay. <laughs> okay, and it looks like the poll has ended 37 percent voted for team critical versus mizkif wow so that's gonna be our you. game one to spectate all right it was and then it was literally like 27 votes away from tectone buddha it's oh, like really? thousands, yeah, thousands of votes, but it's literally mm. 27 that divided them. That's insane. The oh, juicers boy. did not come that's, out in large enough droves that, That's some math right there. I like that, Irene. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I okay. looked at it, and I because I, I, saw, I saw XQC's team was like, you know, out there in the lead, and I was like, oh, man, I wonder which one they're going to vote for. And they had like 1,000 before anybody else had like 500, and I don't know what happened. I, was Ms. Kiff... Uh, you know, send in some recruits. <laughs> he, he may have been rigging the vote. I'm not sure. That sounds like something he would do. Yeah, I believe that. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, so for our first game, we're going to have Sanch and Dom casting this game. All right. Are you guys excited to see Team Mizkif versus Team Critical? Do you have any thoughts on these players? Or are you just going to go into it and just watch the shit show? Well, I, I think the Team Critical is kind of that team where it's like, you know when you're at school and you got to do a project and you kind of don't know anybody, so you just go to the teacher right. and hope that she just puts you with anybody else? I feel like that's how that team got put together. So the chemistry is going to be low. Yeah. Wantep and Slicker on the same team is just recipe for disaster. I think it's going to be a complete blowout. Um, also, Miz is, you know, somebody that I've coached. I have high hopes for him. I think he's improved a lot. So, I mean, we'll see how it goes, but I am excited. Mm. I think there's underrated synergy on uh, Critical's team. Like, one thing that comes to mind immediately is that Slicker and Wantep are actually the same height, which might actually go go well for them <laughs> going forward. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to see, you know, them gel a little bit quicker than, than you're expecting. Mm -hmm. All right, fair enough. Yeah, I have not heard anything about Critical's team. Uh, I'm not sure, like, what their plan is, but I do know Mizkif's team's hoping to at least make it to semifinals. So they're very competitive. They're going to be trying their best today. So we'll we'll see how it goes. I think Team Critical is just a wild card. But yeah, we'll see how it Definitely. plays out. Yeah. I, I've seen Slicker play quite a bit. He's one of those players, like a lot of these players have the same type of dynamic where they're actually pretty good at the game, but they just have zero mental at all. So if anything goes wrong, they're just going to start up just running it down immediately, which I love. You know, I, I want to hear some of the comms. Hear Slicker just losing his mind, you know, just bring out some new slang we haven't heard before. That's going to be quality. I'm telling you. So I want to say, um... Last night in the kitchen in this house, Slicker announced in front of Miz that he's a Talon one trick. So we'll see if Miz is nice mm. enough to leave Talon open for him because he he just showed all of his cards before the tournament. But yeah, we'll we'll see. No chance. Well, that could just be mental gymnastics. Like they could be trying to draw a Talon ban so that Miz's Warwick doesn't get banned. Ooh. That's true. Miz right. does have a small champion pool. Yeah. He was practicing Hecarim last night. He's got about three characters. Okay. <laughs> He says, okay. 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 Oh, and then on team critical. Okay, let's look over these players again. So we have Slicker, Christopher Yee. I'm not sure what he plays. I think I looked at his account on OPGG and he was spamming Tristana bot games last night. He wasn't even playing with real players. So I, I really have no clue what his skill level is like. I couldn't find a single game on his profile against real human players. Mm. Uh, Wantep also doesn't play a lot, but I think he's pretty good on set. We've played before. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And Wait, didn't team... he go like zero and fifteen in that game? He or did. He it... did. Oh, okay. Wait, yeah. which, game? Ran which it. game? Which game? <laughs> the set game. Oh, the set game. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I thought that there was one where he popped off. I don't know. That could just mean he's an inconsistent player. Ah. Uh, even more. We'll we'll see how it goes. Nice. Yeah, and then Russell. Russell also announced to me last night that he did not practice at all. <laughs> so, um, we'll see. And he was also talking a little shit about Simply last night. He said, you know, we, me and Miz were saying Simply used to be Diamond. He's pretty good. And Russell was like, no, he is not. I've duoed with Simply and Silver, and he fed his ass off. That is a direct quote of what he said to me last night. 
So on, he's, um, he's they're already good. doubting each other. I like that he's, though. It's like motivating your teammate before the event. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To try <laughs> harder. Works. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're already like in league player mindset. I think then that might give exactly. them a better chance, honestly. Yeah. And then Snuffy used to be Diamond as well. She said she only plays ARAMs with friends now. She was a little nervous last night, but I believe in her. Snuffy is my favorite in this whole roster. And then we have I feel Nick. Like there's a lot of, um, sorry to interrupt, there's a lot of used to be Diamond uh, yeah, and used to be exactly. Masters in this there uh, are a lot. World tournament. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, well, Great. we were. Okay, listen, it was a little hard to find people, so we were like, okay, as long as they haven't been Diamond in like the last season or two, it's hmm. fine because. They're probably like basically gold anyway. So you could play. Right? That's what I've been trying to say. Like, oh, it's please, just, man, it's, please. It's your time. On my like, own event. Okay, yes. Dom, can we talk about our DMs before this tournament? Dom was okay. threat. He was. He keeps threatening my career and my channel. He keeps saying things like, "Emmy, yes, this stream is gonna be your last stream. I'm gonna say some shit." And I was like, "Dom, honestly, just do it. Are you gonna do it, Dom? Are you gonna say some shit?" Yes, it just it's gonna be a surprise. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna oh say when, but look, okay, I looked I'll at be the OTK pictures. How come everyone else has a normal picture? You guys chose a picture of a screenshot of an interview from 2015 um, while I'm mid talking. I'm like, Dom, that's just tradition at this point. Just take some fuck? pictures of yourself, man. No one can find pictures of you, so that we just recycle <laughs> the ones from LCS. Ah, okay, yeah, blaming LCS, of course. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's, it all comes back to LCS. Yeah, believe me. <laughs> yeah, last stream, final stream. That's all I'm saying. Oh my god, I don't even run. <laughs> I don't. I, I'm not even responsible for the graphics, and you're blaming me. Your tournament. It's it's the same way that you know Riot gets shit no matter what happens on the broadcast. It's you get shit no matter what happens on uh you know I'm your, getting, your social I'm getting media. Used to this, it's fine. Okay, Dom, how about of this? OTK. Just <laughs> take a moment. <laughs> just sit on your camera and make like a face that you're fine with being screenshotted. This is your time to finally okay, get a picture is. for a promo, pic a promo picture. Ew. No, let's time. keep the old one. That was just, <laughs> let's keep the old one. What was that? Okay, look, number one, <laughs> all, all I want to say, I, I, I'm going to get this out right now. Sanch and I have a little bit of an older audience. So this is actually a big right. moment for him because this is the closest that he's been allowed to children since he grew out that mustache. So just saying. Oh like, my that, God. This really is my last stream, Dom. You know, oh my you Lord. did say you would it pull that one out, but I didn't think it would be so soon. Yeah, no, just right off so the bat. I'll, just got to okay. play all the cards, you know? Um, I've right, got well, limited material. Got to get the probably, Yeah, he's probably got can. them stacked up. Oh my, I only yeah. have three flashcards here. He, got, here. he has a little then. notepad where he writes yep, his little I'm jokes. Proud. Yep. Okay. All right, don't be I'm not be as like funny off the top like you are, man. Come on. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I heard from the broadcast that we're getting ready to start the game one. It's been 30 minutes. We finally got all of our variety streamers into a custom game. Uh, this is reminding me of OTK game night, but I think that we're about ready to go for uh, game one picks and bans. Is that right, Peckies? Yeah. Okay, yes. Okay, we are loading in. All right. Sanch and Dom, thank you. Good luck. Have fun casting uh, these amazing silver players that we're so proud thank of. You. Can't wait. Try my best. Yeah. Yeah. Are we, are we just doing an awkward silence? Or are we? Uh, yeah. <laughs> are we we're, we're waiting. We're waiting. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So wait, Sanch, do you actually know where Miskif is going? Is he is he in fact playing jungle? Because I know he used to play a lot of Garen, a little bit of Chogath. He played some top lane. Is he actually jungling I have, in this uh, tournament? Zero prior information to this tournament i literally woke up about like 45 minutes ago and we're here so i mean i'm just winging it uh okay. haven't talked to any of the contestants other than lakari gave him a little pep talk right before the tournament i said you know you got this gwen isn't even that bad right now uh gave him a little uh, words of uh affirmation or whatever it's called i don't know the word but as we get into this draft i see that the darius is taken away the timo is taken away and the talon is taken away from slicker so I don't know where they got this information because Emmy did mention that um, Slicker was a Talon one trick. Yeah, so it looks like Miskiff is just sweating right off the bat. Mm -hmm. XXX Smite player. I like that username, by the way. Yeah. That's a good one. This is the Tristana. Um, I think Emmy mentioned that. Um, I can't remember which of the players was spamming Tristana, but they were. Uh, it was Christopher Yi. Christopher, Christopher Yi was. Right. Was spamming the Tristana, then you have the Garen band. Is that a Miskiff ban? Still that trying to figure it out. Band. That is 100% okay. a Miskiff ban. Oh, they must not have heard of the Ms. Warwick. 
because I like, don't... Oh, oh. <laughs> man, unless they're I remember trying to pick it themselves. You were you were coaching a game of him playing Warwick, and you were like, yep. "Hey, man, you have to like finish killing the camp." And he's like, he's "No, camp. no, no, it's fine. Like, we'll we'll save the chickens for later and shit like that." So, <laughs> I don't know if I want to see a misc of Warwick jungle. I, I really you know, don't. One thing he he's probably played about fifty games of Warwick, and I have not I seen him once utilize the thing where you hold down Q to chase your opponent, like after you bite them <laughs> or whatever. He still doesn't have that mechanic Absolutely. down, but so yeah, you know, it's it's baby steps, and okay. um. So the blind pick Zed into yeah, I like the that. Jinx Vagar. I'm not sure if Vagar is a great answer into Zed, to be honest. How do you yeah. feel about that one? It's not it's not the best, but you can make it work. You know, there's some tech. I think Vagar is just a broken champion. I saw you were playing a little bit of Vagar. Isn't that champion yeah. just the most fun thing to play in the game right now? He's awesome. You just kind of turn your brain off and press Q on the wave and wait 20 minutes and you're just, you know, the strongest character in the entire game. It, it's crazy. It's so relaxing. That's one of the yeah. best champions to play. We yeah, need to, I, I agree. We need to get some Vagar players in here. If you haven't played Vagar before, it's easy. It's relaxed. You don't have to do much. You become absurdly mm -hmm. OP. It's mm -hmm. great champion. Love it. I already think they're going to win. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, don't tell me. Are they going Caitlyn Morgana in a, I, in a I like fun that a lot. tournament? That's sweaty. But yeah, that, that's... You like that? You want this to be a full sweat tournament? Well, the thing is... In a tournament like this, where the players aren't necessarily like, no disrespect to the, the players, they're not, they're not good, right? I think they should play. Okay, man. All right. Sorry, Jesus. you know. You going no, on I'm, them. All right. I'm just okay, saying. Okay, they're not you know, like I'm just you, salty because so. I didn't get to play in it. Because <laughs> I was supposed to play in this tournament, and then all of a sudden, Emmy tells me, you know, you're going to be casting instead because the, the the IRL streamers they didn't want uh, better players to play, and they got upset. So I'm just, you know, I'm just going to say sketch. how it is. No, it's okay. So I'm just going to say how it is. I think the 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 strat here is to pick champs and comps that are going to play themselves. So I'm okay. loving the Caitlyn Mori here, you know? It's easy. Yeah. It scales not bad. And, uh, yeah. As we hop but into the Jinx, wanted man. POV here. Jinx is just so OP. Is he Holy being cradled right now? Is, oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, he's, not, he's not that young, man. Like, Jesus, okay. what do you mean? Is he being cradled? Sorry, sorry. Uh, I'd say maybe just do so, so pretty much what I'm getting out of this is that Emmy did you wrong too, so we both have incentive to get her banned. Right. Nice. Okay. Wait, hold. Oh. Wait, hold on. Whoa, whoa, wait, but wait, you I got, we, I is casting not Emmy, cooler? Please. please. Uh, but you're literally please. the star of the show. Yeah. Oh my god. How much copium are you on? First, you're diamond. Yeah. Then you're not creating false yeah. scarcity, yeah. and now it's better to be a caster than a player. Excellent. Oh my god, Dom. Is what it is. All right. So the bands are coming in. We have an Amumu and a Yorick ban. Do we have a Yorick player up here? Oh, and the Cho'Gat. The, oh my God, they're just banning out mids. And the Warwick. Oh my God, Miz is just done. He wow. is literally done. They've literally just pinched his entire champ pool. I have never seen him pick any champion that isn't um, Timo, Garen, or Warwick. But Emmy did mention that he had a pocket Hecarim that he's been working on. I there it is. Oh my god. Um, okay. Okay. I'm I'm looking forward to it. I've never seen it out of him. Um I think Hecarim is definitely harder to pilot than Warwick. So you know not really sure what, yeah, what to what to expect here. I mean it's a big question. We got a debate going on in the league community right now. What is better, the phase rush or the conquer Hecarim? What do you think he plays? I think he's gonna play phase rush because just knowing Miz. He's gonna have a lot of fun going fast. Okay, I, I can see I that. I feel like Miz is the type of guy to just giggle when Hecker moves really quickly. Nice. Okay, he's selecting his summoners. He got Ghost. That's correct. He's using the Blitz app to make his own runes. Jesus, this guy, this guy is prepped. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, and it, yep. I, I'm not so sure about this um, Ilawi pick. You just played him, didn't you? That's not the blind Alawi? The blind Alawi so far into a pretty much uh, exclusively range comp. But yeah, exactly. now that the Nasus counter picks himself into the Alawi, uh, might have ended up being a great Alawi pick after all. Nice. So we've got full AD coming in from the red team here. Yep. Not, uh, I'm not sure if I like the, uh, the full AD. I think it might be countered by this uh, Hecarim and this Nasus. We'll have to say. Yeah. Which one was the diamond player? Oh, wait. They, they don't even know who's playing the champions. I love that. You just hear in the background, they're like, uh, so who's going to actually play the Vagar? Like, ah, you can take it if you want, man. <laughs> that is super respectable. 
just have to build armor. Another this exciting thing about this, bad. though, is that even so if the drafts are, like, heavily unbalanced, it doesn't matter. Energy, like, we could still see a win out of Miz's team. And we could still see a win out of, you know, Slicker's team. So, we'll just see how this unfolds. I'm, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Who do you got? Uh, like, who do you have winning draft? Oh, my God, that background. I'm... I'm gonna take Team Miskiff. Also, okay. how stingy is Riot? This guy is what, a 30k Andy, and they yep. won't even unlock his account. I don't think they did. I didn't hear anything. Like, come on, just yeah. give him a creator account, please. This is literally this tournament's gonna have more viewership than LCS, legitimately. Yeah, easily. It already it already does. <laughs> it already does. Started. Yeah, it already yeah. does if you combine yeah. all the channels. Oh my god. Very sad. I don't, I don't think it's All right, I mean, I'm going to need to hit you up for co-streaming rights at some point because uh, co-streaming rights are not, re not really happening yeah. over at LCS. It's, yeah, it's going talk. down over there. <laughs> okay, okay. I won't get you banned, you know, if you let me co-stream every now and then. Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> All right, perfect, perfect. I'll be for the next one. Yeah, that's pretty embarrassing. Hey, the Predator Vagar from Russell. I don't know, man. This bot lane, this bot lane actually... Might be really rough. Wait, what is the support here? Is it? Is it a Soraka? Yeah. Okay. Soraka Jinx versus Caitlyn Morg. I mean, look, if the Caitlyn Morg doesn't dominate lane, I feel like Soraka Jinx pretty good in, in these types of tournaments. Okay, we're into game. Let's see it. Liquor with the Yi. Holy. For some reason, I felt like that was going to be a Wantep champion. Yeah. Well, Wantop's got a bit of a pool. We got this well, part. a puddle. He He's right, not so really he's good at any of those champs, invade, but he yeah? still plays yeah, them, yeah, which I respect. Like, he's, he's got, go like, a <laughs> some pocket <laughs> champs. I, I've seen him pull out the Vlad. Uh, it's horrible. I've seen him pull out the set. It's also horrible. But, um, okay. you know, he, he's got a couple of tricks under his sleeve, as they say. So you, you never really know what that guy's going to pick. He's like the Doinby of Iron 3. The um, Doinby of Iron 3. Yeah, Man, he's like, amazing. He's like 12 and you're just flaming him for no reason. <laughs> Come on, he's like 16. He, he can he can handle it. Wait, is he 16 now? I, they grow up so fast, right? I think we need to worry about that. <laughs> oh, he's streaming a black screen. I like that. <laughs> Professional streamer. Let's go. Beautiful. A little does bit anyone, of shit talk coming out already. Does anyone care? Okay. I don't give a fuck. Shut the fuck up from Slicker. Can you get chat restricted from custom games? I actually don't know. I d don't think so. All right. Okay. So it's free reign. That, that's an advantage for Slicker because yeah. under normal circumstances, he could end up banned before the end of the game. Oh my God. Nice. Nice. It's that's what I like to say. Ganking top early. Oh my God. The mastery gate. Oh, they reset the ball. Oh, I can't watch this, man. I can't God. watch this. This is good stuff. Um, so both junglers are gonna. <laughs> he started E. He's raging. He's got both hands off the keyboard. He started, he started e, e on Hecarim. Um, ain't no way. Yeah. So Emmy did mention that he was practicing. Oh, he just eat the bot. I, oh, I, I really don't believe it. Now. But both junglers are gonna be making their way to the top side, looking like a full clear angle. He completely. Nope. He's skipping I, his did he grump. skip Gromp? Yes, yeah. He's skipping his Gromp. Okay, I guess you can't well, do Gromp with, with QE. I don't know. He's going to die well, in his jungle. you know what? Jungle. Slicker says uh, I'm going to do the same thing and skips his Gromp as well. Like, all I'm saying uh, is if Maya ever watched him play League, makes sense why she left him. That's all I'm saying. Oh. Like, Just going to throw that one out there. That one is all Dom. I will not comment on that one. I got permission for that one, all right? You. Low key. Okay. <laughs> I so, got permission uh, for that one, Loki. It's, it's all good. It's all good. You just put the fear of God in them. Well, that was Slicker making his way back to the Gromp that he left earlier. I think it's it's a great maneuver here because he he's trying to cheese a level two gank top, maybe trying to get a summoner. It doesn't end up working out, but um, you know, I, I like the ambition. I like the effort. Okay, look. I don't know what's going on this game, but I assume that both junglers are going to finish their full clear around like seven minutes at this seven rate. Minutes. Yeah, I was yeah, thinking it's the same. A, it's a we seven minute a full while. clear angle. Yep. Jesus. I think uh, man. when Slicker finds out that his W cancels his auto attack, he's going to be unstoppable. There's no chance he's going to know that mechanic. <laughs> Not a chance. Dude, 
bronze, bronze players will never figure that out. I mean, <laughs> diamond players don't know that mechanic. There's no chance he's going to be auto resetting with W. If he does that, I will literally, I, I don't know what I'll do. I'll quit streaming if he, if he auto W cancels one time. Loving oh Miz uh, fixing his, Wait, in the middle his, w, of his, his W E he has no Q. Okay, okay, nah, there's no chance. There's no shot. He has I'm no Q sick. on Hecarim at level two. Okay. I'm gonna be sick. Uh, push this. Whoa. Holy um, moly! Wow, Moy's critical though. Completely dominating his lane. Saw him uh, landing an E earlier. That ended up getting uh, a good chunk out of the Nasus. Nasus I'm going. I'm going to Miskis stream right now you should flame him <laughs> yes i'm going to flame him r real yeah. time yeah level your fucking q and max it please god okay <laughs> there you go all right and now we're back all right all right jesus like you're looking to do a little counter jungling he's gonna find the gromp that was left oh, up in the full clear the level one gromp holy shit this could be a massive advantage for Slicker. See, this is really genius because normally on this timing, this would be when your Gromp respawns if you full clear, but if you actually yeah. go EW as Hecarim, you're level two at four minutes, 30 seconds. So that's actually the level one Gromp. So kind of an outplay for Miskiff, I would say. Yeah. He gets Slicker to do his Gromp for him and then he'll be able to collect the stronger Gromp oh, later on. Think Holy, you think he'll be able to defeat the Gromp? Oh my God, he's ganking oh, top. Big gank coming Wait, through. Did he use his E yet? Oh, here comes the E. I can't wait for it. You ready for it? Oh. Oh, here it is. He's, He's ghosting. Oh, no. <laughs> no chance. Did he not use his E on that entire gang? Because I'm pretty sure he just didn't use his E, right? Well, it's up and it's on a really long cooldown. So I guess he didn't. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I like the I, I like the way that was played. I think that was perfect. You you don't use your E. You ghost after the guy gets away, and then you just walk back and farm your golems. That is well, I classic. Think he didn't use the E because he knew that he would be able to get Lowey's flash without using it. Um, Wait, which uh, is very genius. well played to be. Yeah, because now he has his E and he can go for a regank. Yeah, true. And because your E is on a seven minute cooldown, you actually yep. should not be using it in ganks. That makes exactly. sense. Yeah. Holy, I didn't think of it like that. This is good stuff. This is top, top stuff. Yeah, no, this is great. I mean, honestly, look, from what I've been seeing, not that far below the level of TSM right now. So right. <laughs> we'll take it. I watch worse than this on a weekly basis. And I don't. <laughs> Come on, man. I got to get you on another coaster. You That's got like not... a one in every four week quota. Listen, it was fun hanging out, but the games were unwatchable. I mean, at least this is fun. Yeah, true. You know what well, I because, mean? Because, you know, it's like fun because they're having fun. But like if yeah. they're really sweating and this was happening, then it would just become sad. It would be sad. That, exactly. That's what LCS is. You just get it, the, yep, the sadness sad. deep that's inside. Right. So, Jesus. I mean, top lane's actually going really good for, for Charlie here. Yeah. Guys, but chilling. I wouldn't be surprised if he got ran down by the Nasus at level six. One thing, yeah, Nasus is, yeah. is one of those champs that nobody really knows what it does. Like it's, it's got these really sneaky spikes. If Nasus hits level six and got a Sheen, he can just kind of run at you and one shot you. Um, so I'm I'm looking forward to seeing if that's actually going to happen. As a uh, Miz against his uh, toughest opponent of the night so far. Oh my Kong. God, Wantep! He's Wantep sprinting into everything. <laughs> oh, oh the, he uses flash. the flash! Holy! What was, what was he dodging there? He was dodging the Hecarim ult, I think. <laughs> Jesus. All right, well played. Yeah. But this is a, a cause for worry because Caitlyn Borg is a is a duo that's supposed to stomp lane. They're supposed to be at the enemy turret getting plates, and if they don't, they get outscaled really hard by Jinx Soraka. Huh. And right yeah. now, uh, it's not looking like they're winning lane at all. Look, Miskiff has got this this game in the bag. They have scaling top. With the Nasus, mm -hmm. infinitely scaling top, infinitely scaling mid, and a Jinx Soraka. Like, how hard it's is it going to be for kingdom. Charlie's team it's a, to it's actually win? It's an accidental <laughs> draft kingdom. I think this, this is going to be impossible. Yeah, this is a this is a bronze draft kingdom right here. Yeah. You can never lose. I love it. I'm missing all my ease. But I think that's going to be a really good strat for this tournament. Is just pick uh, scaling. Mm -hmm. Just let the champs play for you. <laughs> yep. All right. Okay. So uh, Wantep, three cookies in the inventory right here. So just in case his uh, blood sugar gets low, <laughs> pop a couple of them. You know, <laughs> raise that on up. Actually, Miz, Miz taking an early objective 
and these really little good. six by eight minutes. Honestly, I don't. I didn't think that if you started E and then you went W and you died in your first clear, you'd actually be able to to be useful this early. So, unironically, good job from Miz. Slicker picks up a kill on the Nasus here, and he's going to be getting snowballed on the Master E. So this game is starting to pick up. And, and uh, he's going recognizing that he took the the dragon, so going for a herald play after the the kill, I like oh, this a lot. Map? Yeah, Wait, the, very solid. The cross map is insane. These guys are popping off. Surprise. Yeah, very nice. All right, I like to see it. Mm -hmm. I wonder where he's gonna use this. Like normally you'd think with a Kate and Mori he'd be like breaking that turret early, but I think it might just be an angle to just get himself ahead, you know, kill Nasus one more time, go top. I think it would be the, the most slicker thing ever to just forget about it. And just not use yeah. it. Or he's gonna nah, I'm gonna call it right now. He's gonna think that he has his trinket or award. Actually, no, never mind. He won't use it. <laughs> put it down. No, that's what I was thinking, but then I just realized that Slicker probably won't remember that he has his trinket or award. So I don't think that mistake will happen to him. Never mind. Take it back. All right. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Little trade there in the mid lane. So far, it's looking like the scaling is winning. I mean, Vagar hasn't died, and uh, he's up in farm. Oh, wait, Vagar is big. dead. Wait, when did Vagar die? Wait, Vagar died? Yeah, I guess I guess he died. I mean, he's got a death on the scoreboard, I think. Oh. I missed it. <laughs> I missed it too. Yeah, I guess. Oh. Uh... I guess Vagar died. Never mind. Oh, shit. Ooh. Big E oh coming out of the uh, voice critical, but not able to get the, the ulti off as it's not up. And now uh, things are not looking too good as wait. Miz is... Wait, what? Miz with the counter gank. He actually smurfed it. That was really good, but he just kind of let him go after that. Yeah, I mean, sometimes it's hard to... Dude, he's got the, the early CDR boots too? Okay, never yeah. mind. This guy's a professional. He's actually smurfing it. Okay. Popping the red trinket on a pink ward. Love it. Yep. Wait, Wantep is just AF. Oh, Wantep DC'd. He's just oh my god. It. Wantep DC'd, man. Happens. Oh! Nick? Mr. Pollum? Okay. It's unleashed. Beautiful snipe. Oh my god, Balling is over, and they're gonna get plates on top. Wow. This is, this is looking really rough now for Team Critical. Yeah, it's it's really, really tough. Yeah. Look at that wave too. Oh, this is a, this is painful. All right, here's the question. How many NA Diamond players would stay connected to the game if they lost this wave, bot lane? Uh, I know I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we all know you wouldn't. Yeah, I would have a very important business to attend to <laughs> if this was happening to me in the bot lane. You are actually the king of rage quitting, my friend. I, I just devalue my time. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you Honestly, respect your time, you, then you, you, you know you have better things to do. We all know that's a lie because you play this game. So well, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I'm just a sore yeah, loser. Like, it is, it's true. Like it happens, man. So I like I, this from Miz actually avoiding the Wraith camp. Like it took him out once, so he doesn't want to have it happen again. So he's just going to skip it for the rest of the game. Let's go from uh, Golem straight to Wolves. I like that. So I feel like this uh, this Hecarim build has kind of been the, the talk of the town recently. Mm -hmm. With uh, people saying that the tier uh, Hemtech thingy isn't really that good. What, what do you think about it? I play this build in solo queue because it just, like, it scales better once you have all the items. And especially in a game like this, he's going to be able to get everything. Like, I don't think that they're going to be pressuring him before he gets his Mura Mana and all that stuff. So I want to see true. the order that he actually builds the items. Is he going to go the Mura Mana second or actually go Mura Mana third with Death Dance second? Which is kind mm -hmm. of like the new tech that people are running right now. So I have to wait on that. And uh, unironically, not a bad um, Herald from Slicker. Drops it down bot and gets the turret down to one plate at 12 yep, minutes. Good. I think that, that's that's a lovely Herald timing. It's a good Herald timing, and it also helps the bot lane that was pretty behind. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly surprised. Like, there has been some good macro plays in this game. I mean, there's also been some horrible ones, but you know. <laughs> it's a lot better than it should have been based on how it started. Like normally if you're dying yeah, to like so. Raptors level two and you're going like EW on Hecarim, you're just out of the game for yeah. the rest of the time. But I mean, he got a counter gank top. He got a dragon. He's chilling. Like, he's doing he's actually, he's <laughs> it's actually in it. I want to yep. see some CS of, of this game. Like right now, what is what is going on in the CS department? We got it pulled up. Oh my god, the producer's right there. Wow. Russell has zero CS, bro, and neither does Jinx. It's over. <laughs> Can't win. Careful. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm Wait. So what is going on there, actually? <laughs> he just hasn't. He hasn't lasted a minion successfully yet. Thirteen minutes okay. in. 
Happens to the best. Oh. There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we actually have word from our producer. He does, in fact, have at least one CS. So yeah, he's just not streaming. Quite know what it is. Mm -hmm. And uh, this game is looking more and more like a stomp now, with Team Miz just running away with the with this lead. They're picking up kills. They're getting objectives. I can Drake. It's, it's looking like a tough one. Okay, so uh, I believe Miz used his E on the Drake, so it's still on cooldown. Yep. River. All good. He's gonna have his chem tank on his next base, provided he gets fourteen hundred gold here on oh, twelve hundred. So it should be coming up soon. I mean, it's like you said though. Uh, considering the start of this game, where Miz uh, reset the blue, uh, started at E, failed to gank top. It was just looking really bad. But he's really, you know, brought it back, and he's he's doing amazing now. He's two one and one. The CS per minute is not looking bad, and he's up levels, up XP. He's got um, his Mythic at 14 minutes, and a tier, and tier 2 boots. Props to him. Yep. Doing his thing. Yeah, no, it's actually good. It's actually yeah. good. His next reset is when he's, he's going to spike. And I feel like after the Master Yi nerfs, Champion isn't as uh, as crazy as as it used to be. Like, you, mm -hmm. you don't really get the same amount of value out of having the stats. So I think Miz is actually in a really good spot this game. When you combine that also with having, like, a Soraka on your team to heal you, you're going to have the defensive stats from your, your chem tank. You've got Vega Arcade. Like, it's pretty hard for Miz's team to lose at this point. I think they got this. Yep. I got, I got more maybe. Okay, here's coming in for the gank. Ooh. Oh. I don't know if that was luck, but he um, he ended up being the target that wasn't black shielded from the Morgana. So that was really Smurf. Yep. That was, a, that was an interesting black luck. shield. Yeah. <laughs> that was, I like the black shield on the on himself instead of the... That's the solo key mentality, though. I love that. Yep. You can already tell there's a little bit of a, a rife between these teams. Yeah. I'll come with you just in case. Come Harold. Right he's here. definitely going Harold. He's a little bitch. Actually, I can I can do this. I can do this. All right, we got oh my God! Here. Talking shit to Slicker yes. already. <laughs> okay. Miz oh, here we go. There. I think they could really just fight. This. Wait, they can oh, literally not if he gets just hit fight. By the Allow E. I, I do a lot of he's just kind of. <laughs> oh, he's just standing in the tentacle. Okay. This is a crazy ability. If you don't know what it does, it really just <laughs> mind fucks you. <laughs> Bitch has no idea what just happened. Uh, I like I that. Staying, staying right in the edge of the range of the Allow E so you take maximum damage. Let's yeah. go. Okay. Top's in trouble, by the way. Oh, Slicker going top. He's going to drop the Herald, it looks like. Oh, they got three top. Holy shit. Got three top. Nasus just showed up to the fight right now. We're wondering what's going on. You might want to <laughs> TP might all, right, all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. They're oh, my God. Pops the TP. ulti. Lend the Wither, but just goes for the Herald afterwards. Huge Alawi ult. Oh, he's silenced. Oh, but he's silenced. Yep. Oh, loving these calls. <laughs> oh my god, the double kill. The Q flash from Russell, he wants it. Massive. Yeah, Russell is going to carry this game. Yep. Fuck them for saying that shit. What they say? I don't even know what they said. Oh. Kecking. Not sure what that is. <laughs> Bro, that's some Zoomer emotes. Nice. Yeah. I don't know what kecking is. I'm not sure either, to be honest with you. We're we're old men. <laughs> yeah, we are. I mean, like, I like well, you're that you're considering old. yourself. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I messed up. You're old. You're old. Yeah, man. I'm pretty fucking old, man. <laughs> it's fine. I feel like a lot of streamers are turning 32 this year. It's, it's all good. <clears throat> Name one. I use it to try and save uh, uh, Mo? Right. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Mo's younger than me. I don't know about that, bro. Right. He's he's aging differently these days. <laughs> right. I had a like beard milk. when he was like 14. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, low-key Snuffy is carrying this game. Yeah. Smurfing it. Doing really well other than walking uh, over the vision. Um, yeah. But that's fine. <laughs> I mean, go, come on. Like, oh, you can't expect too much. Oh, huge top lane 1v1 here. Oh, he, he wasn't oh. quite able to land the E. And oh. Russell has just gone offline. Jesus. He, he, <laughs> Russell has had enough. Wait, was Russell ever online for this game? Oh, oh you're right. He was one of the people with no CS. So, yeah, okay. he, he was nice. never even online to begin with. Um... 
Let's just keep farming. Fuck him. Oh. I like it though. Off, off stream grind, you know. Gotta lock in. No time for games. I think True. That's, giving me a smart. TF Blade vibes from that one Twitch Rivals. Do you remember that? Uh, yeah, the one where he just muted his team, the entire yes, Twitch Rivals. Muted his team, the entire Twitch Rivals. Didn't say a word to them and kind of just took every game. Uh, you know, on his own. I well, to that. be fair, I mean, he had Tarzan on his team, so I would mute. That, yeah, that's true. everything that as well. True. Yeah, that is. True. Oh my God, use the spite, Miz. There wow. It is. Oh wait, he didn't use the spite, but still nope. worth it. Okay. Is it blue spite on Hecarim? Uh, it's depending on the game. Okay. Depending on the game. I, I'm more of a red spite type of guy myself because it gives you like some dueling potential. But like, in a game like this, uh, it's it's probably fine to go blue right. spite. Let's run people down. I gotta go back. I have two Gs. Honestly, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. I think that Miz might be better at Hecarim than he is at Warwick, from what I've seen. I definitely agree, which is weird because he's played one game of Hecarim and 100 games of Warwick. But, yeah. you know, it's learning curves, I guess. Mm -hmm. I think the the holding the Q thing that you said earlier about yeah. the Warwick might be. It really messes his brain up. To the champion. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think that that's probably your fault because when you were coaching him, I remember you were just you would just let it pass every time you're like, okay, you wanna you wanna use the Q, you wanna hold it. Oh, never mind, it's fine. Actually, you don't want to hold the Q. And well, you, you know what? After telling somebody to do something a hundred times, and you kind of just give up on the play. Like you must have tuned in when I was uh, just kind of tired of telling him to hold down the Q. I, I think Emmy will vouch that. Um, like he just wasn't doing it. Right, it's almost as if he he wasn't doing it just to just to spite me, you know. He just he just yeah. refused to do it. He just doesn't care. He just doesn't yeah. care. He does not care. Sounds pretty fucking alpha to me. I mean, it, it's the best way to go about it, in my opinion. Look at him. He doesn't care. He's three, two, and one, completely smurfing the map, running around doing cardio right now, doing absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. This is good. Got stuff. over that. Uh, got over the rift scuttler extra fast. <laughs> yeah. Intimidating the opponent. Doing a little dance. Uh, wiggling back and forth. Some mental warfare. Yeah, no, this is good. Wow. Well, I mean, they're they're chilling. They have this dragon coming up soon. Wait, is this is this their soul? No, no way, right? This I think is this third? Is third drag. Yeah. I think okay. This is third. Okay. All right. I mean, whenever they get soul, though, this game is super, super over. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see the clean macro to to close it out. What are you expecting here for uh, the end of this game? Well, I think both top laners are going to keep bashing their heads against the wall together, and it's oh. going to be a 4v4 at the Dragon Pit. Um, <laughs> okay. Because that's just how top lane works. And I, I, I mean, I don't see this Dragon not going to Team Miz, and sadly, I think Mountain Soul is one of the souls that's... It feels the worst to so play against. So broken. Yeah, it just feels horrible to play against that soul. Uh -huh. Um, so I, yeah, like you said, I don't see this game, you know, not going to Miz if they get the soul. Yeah, so the Nasus is 1v3ing, AFKing. He just cannot move. He, he's <laughs> pressing S on them. Right oh Alright, let's oh, see the flash too. Oh, Jesus. This Nasus is kind of a menace. And on the other team. side of the, the game, you've got the Hecarim going in, killing the other team. Like, I'm pretty sure that... This is just a Baron? It's a 22 minute wow. Baron? We're just calling the Baron. I like this call a lot. I mean, it's a, it's a free Baron. They're yeah. actually just geniuses. I yeah. This thing, by the way. Holy moly. I'm gonna hit up Reginald right now. I think there might be some new NA talents. God, <laughs> everybody has been blocked. Oh, it was worth a shot. Nice! <laughs> he doesn't have you blocked at this point. Mark, Mar no, never mind. He has been blocked too. Yep. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I think anyone associated with Pro League of Legends outside of casters has me blocked. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Did you see that Q damage? How many Nasus stacks does this Nasus have? By the I'm way? not sure. He's got to have at least 300. Yeah, it's looking like even more than that. My god. It's crazy. Just took that guy's head off. Yeah. And he's still not going to be able to win the game, man. Top lane is... The Nasus? I think he's winning this one. Oh, yeah. The Nasus is on the other team. <laughs> okay, top lane is, is, is saved. Thank God. Man, you just want to complain about top lane so bad. I, any excuse I find, bro, I, I will I will take it. Half the reason you decided to accept this uh casting opportunity was just so you could complain about top lane in front of an audience? You know, I've been playing Sona. Holy. Top lane? No. Support. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why is that okay? All right. Where's this yeah. going? All right. Nice. No, I'm just saying top lane sucks. I've been playing Sona. She's fun. 
Okay. We should all, our yeah. Score should always be the <laughs> well, I'm, I'm happy for you, man. I get my... Thank you. You know, I, I actually expect to see some Sona in this tournament because she's a champ that if she is allowed to play the game, completely takes over. She's like the support Cassidy. Hmm? Definitely. No, I'll be broken in a tournament like this for sure. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh wait, Miz, that's not how you do the blue. Oh wait, is she giving it to Russell? We've seen that one before. Okay. There's at least three top right now. Might be three then. Hey, they're using the Baron buff. Normally, you want to be next to minions when you have this Baron buff, but I like that they're they're changing it up. I'm not there. I'm on. Oh, Miz knocking Slicker out of the silence there, but still getting the kill. I don't have, I, He's no moving way. fast. I'm here. I'm coming. All right. <laughs> Wait, what? What? What rank is is Nick? I feel like Nick is actually not bad. Same with Russell. Are these guys fake plots? Yeah, this is a pretty clean Jinx and and Vagar mechanics. I'm not gonna lie. I believe in these two. Nick is like gold. I don't believe it. Wait, so it was the soul? Yeah, so it is soul. So they are. This game's over. So strong. <laughs> They're yeah. so fucking strong right now. Yeah, this is this is really rough. All right, the recall coming in from Miz. Mm -hmm. We are giant. Going Sterex third. Going back top. Literally knows better than LCK junglers that go at second every game. We have all drags. We have why is it better third? We just yep. got Baron. <laughs> just <laughs> your higher level. But then why is it better than Death Dance? I think, yeah, we should just oh, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not better than Death Dance. It's better third than it is second. <laughs> That's oh, what I meant. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Death Dance is broken. Yeah. I wonder yeah, if he's actually gonna go. Dead. No, he's going Sterex. I wonder if his fourth item would be Death Dance. Dude, I feel like Miz is so close to actually just being good. Like somebody just needs to tell him, like, okay, start your Q when you play Hecarim. That's yeah. that's number one. Number two. Go your E at level three, not a level two. Like, yeah. Not number three, either. don't die to the Wraith camp. Like, and number yep. four, when you're when you're when you're ganking, just press your E. That's mm -hmm. it. And then he's literally just gonna be a challenger. Yeah, I think I can. If they push up a little bit. He, he did improve really fast when he did the Warwick stuff. Wait, you said he didn't press. He didn't hold down his Q for like fifty. But that minutes was the straight. only thing he didn't do. Everything else he did right. But that's just the whole Q. champion. Well, yeah, it kind of is. But like his clearing got better. The macro made leaving, a little more sense. He, he, he was leaving perfect. raptors. He would leave one on his own raptors. That was one time. Okay. He counter jungled right. himself once. Actually, it was a tactical counter jungle because he knew that the enemy would come take his raptors and come find only one baby one. Yeah. Really smart play if you ask me. I'm sorry. Um, Actually... I'm actually so surprised that he even knows what to build on Hecarim. Like, how, how does he know to go chem tank burn mana? This is yeah. not super impressive. Mm -hmm. I'm about to kill. Yeah, if you kill, you keep pushing top, they're going to have to peel yeah. off. I mean, this is looking like a Desperation ARM coming out of Team Critical. The Nasus yeah. is running down the Alawi, so he's going to have uh, full control of a side lane. Going to put the uh, we can do something here, actually. Team Critical in a position where they have to make a decision. Are we fighting or are we, you know... Backing off until our our teammate spawns back. See, they lost Zed. They lost Zed. We take two. We take two. Yep. Zed's up here. We take two. Oh my it God! Like the comms. Off. Good comms. Yeah. Miz, you can go if you want. Wow. Oh, I, I oh my God, Russell! Oh, Wait, Russell's a beast. <laughs> Wait, they're actually good. <laughs> they they were perfect. Nah, th this has to be the best. Miz is taking everything. Now. The Soraka heal. Nice. Okay. Wow. Let's okay. Honestly, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I was expecting like slower games. I was expecting, you know, 50 minute ones. Yeah. But they're actually like, they, they took objectives. They actually like went to Baron after two kills at like 20 minutes. Like normally bronze players are afraid of Baron. You know, like they don't, mm -hmm. they don't touch Baron until 50 minutes. Sometimes they, they'll end the game before Baron even spawns or like before they even take one Baron. This is actually pretty, this is actually pretty good. Yep. Two and Hibs down, 27 minutes. I'm impressed. I'm pretty solid. Very impressed. I thought this was going to be a complete shit show from both teams, but uh, Team Miz actually put together a pretty good performance. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Miz, Miz is rooted well, on the Never turret. mind. They kind of just. Slicker uh, oh, Slicker. That's fine. And he's going to get blown up. Not a big deal. Hey. Wait. Oh my Nick God. is going oh off. Holy this oh, rock is keeping it. everybody alive. I'm here. I don't oh, think he... it matters. Tripsy. Oh, it did. It, 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 it. Wait, did it? Oh, wait. Nessus is behind. Yeah, yeah Nessus is just running everybody down. Oh, I get in the game. game. Yeah, this game's over. 
And that's G. This is a pretty, pretty quick one. Yeah. Yep. Good job, everybody. And you like no hours of sleep and also being an alcoholic makes you win games. I'm thinking that this uh this this type of comp probably needs to be banned. I think we're getting a Soraka ban next time. Yield eight and one, dude. I think we need to start banning out scaling or just pick it ourselves. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Miz, Miz got target demons. banned, right? He got three bans yes. on him. Yes. And then he still ended up performing on the Hecarim. Mm -hmm. it's... What a fucking game. That was, I was, that was dying. Oh my god, that was amazing. Very impressive. Is that what you expected, Emmy? I thought that it'd be a little more of a, like, back and forth, just, like, random shit happening. Team Miz actually, like, I would say almost stomped. That was crazy. Oh, definitely a stomp. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. They did stomp. Yeah, I'm proud of my roommates. All right, so Good shit out there. We've got to confront you on something. So, you said that you saw Miz practicing Hecarim last night, correct? Yes, correct. And you allowed him to go into this tournament going E at level one on Hecarim and okay, W at level I, two. No, I did not. No, I told him to start Q, max Q. I told him mm -hmm. not only to start Q but to max Q. Like, I think it's just too much information to retain. Like, but I think that he'll remember now. His chat will probably spam him about it. Okay. Did you tell him to skip yeah. his grump? Um, no, I didn't. I didn't tell him that. Okay, let's look at the <laughs> stats for for last game. Okay, Jesus, Nick putting out damage. Oh my God, critical did a ton of damage, but it wasn't enough. I mean, it's Alawi though. Always okay, does a so ton of damage. The middle column here is actually assists. So the Soraka did not go zero sixteen and zero and die sixteen times. Just so everyone knows. <laughs> oh God, uh, this is OTK production. Uh, it's a little this messed is, up. This would get a little. Uh, you'd probably get perma banned if you went zero sixteen zero. So just, just so everyone yeah, knows. Yeah, this is, this is a, a little messed up, but we can at least see the damage, the CS, the builds. Uh, damage looking pretty good. Nick oh carried, I would look say. At, look at Nick's zeal items. This guy loves who, zeal items. <laughs> can we can we move the scoreboard up a little bit? Three What's going on build. at the bottom with Nasus? Okay, they said next time they'll move it. I see simply <laughs> at the bottom, his damage bar is just completely full. Never mind the Nasus carry. Holy shit. Yeah, yep. simply, simply kind of smurfed it. I mean, I was really surprised in general that the builds were pretty good for the most part like yeah nick nick probably shouldn't have went three zeal items you probably just want one and then like an ie or something but overall right. like they're actually pretty in tune with like what the builds are in the current meta you know like people are building the right mythics people are going like the vagar build was perfect mrs build was perfect for the most part so you know honestly yeah, well, thumbs up there i think they're utilizing resources like ugg poor professor all that stuff but i mean if they know to do it and other teams don't then i guess that's just an advantage that they have because yeah. I know that they don't they don't play a lot. I don't think they're like super aware of the current meta or anything. They're just using tools and what resources that they can, which is very smart. Okay, we're going to look now at the group stage bracket, see how all the games played out. Uh, Team Budo won their game 1-0. Uh, and we have, okay, looks like Team Soda and Ezfan, their game's not quite over yet. Team Miz and Team Erob both won their first games. We have two games left in group stage before we move on to semifinals and finals. Okay, we got word that Soda has just finished uh, and they won. Soda versus S fan, Soda's team won. So currently our top teams are Buddha, Soda, Miz, and Erob. Okay. Thoughts? Opinions? I mean, so. Well, who do you guys think? Who are the early favorites to win this tournament? So for me, I'm just going to say, I think that Team Buddha and Team Mizkif are going to be in the finals. That's what I'm feeling right now. What do you guys think? I think that's what I'm expecting, too, most likely. And then we'll probably see, I think that Soda's team also has a chance for finals. Their team's also pretty good. But yeah, I think from... I think that E-Rob's team might have a decent chance, too, honestly. Yeah, I think that the current top four are the four that we're probably going to see in finals and semifinals. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, don't sleep on Team Soda. Team yeah, I think, oh, wait, I think they're Team very Soda good again? Well. Uh, they the have... Is that, is that Poke? No, they have Rafflegator, oh, okay. Surefor, Lakari, and Fillion on Team mm -hmm. Soda. Poke's on Team Erob, which is uh, another current All top right. team. Yeah, I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think I'm still I think Team Buddha is probably like the one that's jumping out the most to me right now, but I think any of these four could actually win. I think so too. 
Yeah, I, I agree that I think Team Buddha is probably the standout team right now of all the eight teams. Did they stop their game? We didn't get to watch it. Uh, all games are done. Yeah, so we're we're just oh. waiting for the next games to get started. They're getting into their lobbies right now. But yeah, Team Buddha, Team Soda, Team Miz, and Team E Rob currently sitting in the top. Yeah. I wonder if there's any of the, the bottom four that got on unlucky matchups that could actually break into this top four. Or if we're just going to see like a clear top four, bottom four yeah. gap here. Could be. Yeah, I wish we were able to show all the games on the broadcast, but we wanted to limit this event to one day because it's already hard enough to get 40 streamers together once. We were not doing this on multiple days, like so we just did what we can. Perfect. It's tough. It's tough. I'm surprised everyone showed up, to be honest. I was yeah, expecting that people would be late. I was surprised to see Soda was actually in the Discord 30 minutes early. That was the most surprising thing today for me, I think. That's because they respect you, Emmy. If it was if it was somebody else throwing this tournament, they would not show up. There's no way Slicker that. there's no way Slicker showing up to a tournament that I'm hosting. This guy oh, God. Uh, this guy this guy couldn't even show up to meet us when we were in the Netherlands for like two days. Like he couldn't oh, even- Oh shit, is there some beef? Is there some lore here I don't know <laughs> no, about? No, no, no. <laughs> Slicker, Slicker's our boy. This is the first time we love Slicker. This. We love Slicker. <laughs> okay. All right, so now we're gonna let chat vote again for our next set of games, or set of, set of games. For our next game that is gonna be on the broadcast that's gonna be cast by our amazing casters. This is for round two. The choices are Team Buddha versus Team Soda, juicer team. S fan versus Team Tectone, Mizkiff versus Erob, and Cutie versus Critical. You can vote now in chat to pick which game you would like to see Captain Flowers and Zyrene cast live on the broadcast with their amazing commentary. Looking over it. I have another thing to promo. Uh, I am, if you don't already know, I'm hosting a cosplay contest, which has a $10,000 prize pool. Uh, the last day to enter is the 30th. You can send submissions on my Reddit. And yeah, it'll be pretty fun. Uh, Jessica Negri is going to be a guest judge on the 31st. Very exciting stuff. This is my first cosplay contest I have hosted. And yeah, if you're interested, you can look at my Twitter to see the rules again. 30th is the deadline for submissions. Apparently we have no poll going. Uh, we'll have that taken care of. Just hold tight for a second. Oh, it just went up. Okay, you can start nice. voting now. Refresh if you don't see it. Looks like so far Team Buddha versus Soda Poppin is winning. The juicers really wanted their game to be spectated this time. Okay, there's about, I think, 40 seconds left on the poll. Send in your votes now. Not a lot of time left. And this is going to be a game casted by Captain Flowers and Zyrene, our pro Riot Games casters. I'm very excited to see this. Should be good. Should be good. Looks like the, <laughs> the juicers are here in full force. 78% Buddha versus Soda Poppin. Okay, about 20 seconds left. 20 seconds left. Sitting at 78%, not changing at all. Then next closest is Mizkiff and Erob, 14%. All right, it looks like it is going to be Buddha versus Soda Poppin being spectated this game on the main broadcast by Captain Flowers and Zyrene. Very exciting stuff. Waiting to swap over. Okay. All right, I'm with Captain Flowers and Zyrene. This is their first game of the tournament casting. Uh, were you guys watching the last match? What, what did you think so far? I think any tournament that starts off with the team doing the stomping, having their jungler commit honorable Sudoku to the chicken camp is gonna be a good tournament. I'm ready yeah, for right. game number hey, two. We then, were dying. They won, they won. <laughs> 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 but it, it's exactly game. what we wanted it's exactly what we wanted we wanted the, that we wanted the champions too we're not seeing like a whole bunch of things aside from like jinx's meta right so uh mm -hmm. i'm excited arcane bat chest 
<laughs> powder powder oh god powder no no triple kill uh, but no <laughs> So we didn't watch either of these teams soon. last time, but do you guys have any thoughts on any of the players on Team Soda or Team Buddha? We have um, Russell, Blau, Harry, XQC, Saikuno, Simply, uh, wait, I'm looking at the wrong team. I'm so sorry. We have Rafflegator, Surefort, Lakari, and Fillion on Team Soda, and Blau, Harry, XQC, Saikuno on Team Buddha. Like I say, I'm watching Lakari because I want to see if the Dota skill Ooh. translates over to the League of Legends <laughs> skill. And I'm watching my boy Blaustoys because I want to yeah. see, is he playing Akali and Yasuo because he wants to have fun? Or he's is he playing it. Zillion because he wants to win? <laughs> you did just, just ban him. Because those are different. Yeah, I feel like oh, I feel Lord. like you just you just ban out Yasuo. The guy's got a, a fucking Yasuo no, cat. You don't ban Yasuo. This is the rule. Of, again, <laughs> no, he's gonna run it down. Shitty Yasuos. You leave it open. You're like, oh no, I forgot to ban Yasuo. Now I guess you'll just have to go zero and ten on me. Darn. You ban Zillion. You oh, leave Yasuo open. You put a red circle around it and say, please pick me. Sorry, Blau. If if you watch the vibe, we're, we're still boys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Riot and beef going on. Me and Blau did a 1v1 with Skarner and Yasuo, and I killed him. Oh, you destroyed him. Like, yeah. Like, I, it's Skarner. Skarner's not, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, he's not a real champion. Any, 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 anybody who challenges Captain Flowers to a duel in the office, like, <laughs> you're, you're, just, you're just dumb. Because he's going to be like, we have to fight on the Spire. Like, it's like, it's like the Spire is half of my kit. It is my passive. And you just we have blow him up, it. dude. You just blow so, him up every time. So that's what I'm looking for. That's a, I think that's a strategy. You leave Yasuo open. Maybe try to bait him into it a little bit. Also, of course, I, I do got to give respect to the uh, the XQC fans here in the chat, all the juicers that got juicers. their that got the match voted into the spectator slot by like a rate of five oh. to one or whatever. This had like eighty percent. Seventy, yeah, seventy eight percent. I think was the final. Yeah, the the, final the, the juicers are out of control right now. <laughs> <laughs> I I kept seeing them in chat the last game, being like, "Where's XQC? Yep. Why are you showing him?" Um, these are our top two teams so far. Soda and XQC are the two top teams, and I think it's bracket A. So, do you guys have any leaning towards which team do you think is going to come out on top? Oh, I'm I'm leaning towards uh, XQC's team. Uh, they got Blau, who I actually think is a better player than his Elo. Uh, you know, makes him out to be, and you know, it's a, it's a group environment. I think he's more of a team player. You know, you got the clean boys, and then Saikuno actually used to do like old school league guides, like Flowers. I don't know if you know this, but Saikuno's like the guy who like really launched Ankle Spanking's career, and then Ankle helped me. So like, that's kind of like I, I'm like two steps removed from like YouTube world from Saikuno. I used to watch his videos and like take inspiration from them. And like, they we're talking like 2013, dude. See, oh here's my the god, thing, man. eight Back years ago. Then I didn't watch educational League of Legends content. I spammed Q up over and over and over again in bronze and just banged my head against the wall until I learned the game the old fashioned way. So I don't mm -hmm. know anything about the old lore or the forgotten texts or anything, because I couldn't read. But now we're here and I'm ready to experience history presently. God damn. Good speech. Good speech. Yeah, 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 exactly. We gotta, we gotta hype it up. We gotta use, we gotta use words this is, and leave. This is this is award winning caster Captain Flowers. Literally voted best play by play in the world. It's true. You, just it's true. you don't need to know where you're going. You just got to have enough <laughs> gas to get there. Just the word bomb <laughs> just coming out. <laughs> the stuff that comes out of this guy's mouth is just, it's, it's so good. Oh my God. Not to put you on the spot or anything like that, man, but I, I I'm a big fan. Dude, now I I'm a big fan. Creative. No. <laughs> we have a lot of no, no pressure. Here. No pressure. No pressure. Uh, big fan. Big fan. But yeah, he, dude. This matchup, though, I'm glad we're watching the two teams that have both won. So we're kind of like continuing on and seeing like, you know, who's favorites to who's going to end up being favorites here. Because I feel like if you lose like two games, you're kind of like not allowed to like you can't even get into. Pretty the, sure if the you lose two anymore. games, you are dead. I mean, yeah, this is a yeah. single round yeah. robin in four team groups. So you only get to play three. If you lose two, you now can no longer win two. And I'm expecting somebody else to win, too, if you already lost him. So pretty sure if you got anything more than a one in that second category, like, I'm sorry, it's 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 time for your for your F's in the chat. There is a chance we do have a tiebreaker rule where in the case that two teams tie, the team with the fastest average win time will advance 
the semifinals. So it is possible, okay. but not very likely. It is possible. All right. I mean, I'm just going to say this right now. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to get on the phone. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, boop. Yes, hello. Hello, Riot Games. Can we get Emmy Rue to do the format for this year's Worlds? Because I really don't like having to play 90 tiebreakers sometimes. <laughs> 90 so tiebreakers! Hit, hit up the Emmy Rue, uh, the OTK <laughs> tournament. We're going to get that for Worlds. We'll probably try to fix OTK some shit. Worlds. It'll be awesome. Yeah, let's do it. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> so that's what, uh, yeah, I just had to do a phone call Perfect. there real fast. Thank you for not actually having us cast tiebreaker games because sometimes tiebreakers last longer than the actual tournament does. Oh, Lord. God. Yeah, we, we didn't want any of that. We just wanted this to be clean, a fun event one day. Just everyone having a good time, not dragging it out longer than it needs to be. Because I mean, exactly, we, you know, ends yeah. are for early game team fights, not for scheduling. Let's do this. I want to see fast, bloody League of Legends. None of this scaling. None of this patient play. None of this. Hey guys, just shove the wave. No, don't kill minions. <laughs> kill champions. If somebody's on your screen and his health bar is red, time for him to be dead. Let's go. Bloodthirst. Bloodthirst. Do you guys have right. much experience at all casting this type of tournament, or have you only he, ever done pro stuff? He's done bronze streams. We've done bronze okay. streams together. Okay. <laughs> bronze I was streams just curious. I just wanted to know if you guys were going to be, like, yeah. talking about these plays as uh, as if, like, comparing them to LCS players, or, like, if, you know, it's going to be, like, just a complete okay. shit show. So the nice part is, like, obviously most of my commentary is going to be LCS level stuff. But fortunately for us, thanks to the level that TSM is currently playing at, it's not too far derived from what we're going to see here on the screen today. We're not having any, like, Hecarim deaths at the chickens in TSM games, but we're, right. it's a pretty rough time. So thanks to TSM, I, I'm already locked in. I'm already chambered and ready. What are you putting your hand on your face for? I'm being honest. Here's a red markle. Cir circle the part where I'm wrong. God. He's like, I'm not associated. I'm like, TSM, T TSM fans, man, I thought this was going to be a safe space for them today, man. They just came in here and just, they're, they're going to watch some XQC, man. They're going to decompress concepts. watching us. Yet. Man. We can't watch oh, the last shit. game. Dom was talking about how Reggie hasn't blocked on Twitter. Uh, okay, they're Dom about ready to start the games. I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh my God, you can keep going once we get into the game. But they're starting off these games. We're going to get into picks and bans. Flowers and Zyrene, thank you so much for being here. I'm looking forward to seeing you cast this game. Let's oh do God. it. Okay, and don't worry, TSM fans, you got to go through the painful stuff to get to the good stuff. Think of how good it'll feel once you guys are good again after you had to eat shit through all of this, like you know modern time. god you say you sound like a clg fan right now <laughs> just imagine wait until we're good again man <laughs> just you wait just wait we're going to get oh there all right, next man. all right all right Let's people see what are we saying buddha here. people are saying buddha is, is tsm yeah who wrote it down buddha is tsm oh shit wait yeah, what is on this notepad zyrene you can you can read tell me what's on the the notepad that we're uh, watching here. Twitch, Yasuo, Akali, Aurelia. Oh, Yasuo, it, uh, Akali. Oh, that's, a, oh, that's what they want to ban. That's what they want to yeah, yeah, ban. Yeah. Okay. So already, Twitch, yeah. we're seeing the Gwen ban. We were told that Lakari's kind of like a Gwen one trick, so we're going to get rid of the Gwen. Zeri's got to be banned away because, you know, one of the most recently reached champions means he's going to be one of the most powerful champions. Trindamir also banned out. See, Trindamir goes against the modern philosophy of recently picked champions are overpowered. Trindamir's been a piece of shit since season one. This champion has never been fun or interactive to play versus. He combines all the worst elements of playing League of Legends, PvE-centric gameplay, bullshit escapes, can't die, so glad to see him out of the game. Fuck this champion. Up, down, left, right, and center. We do not want to see Trindamir ever. Lux also banned away, keeping that one out of their hands. I kind of like that too. No, I. Yeah, yeah. I, I like how they were just. He was like searching up. He's like Lux, 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 and they just make sure it's banned. Make sure it's banned. So, man, Trindamir. I'm glad we don't see that champion like you were saying because that. <sighs> man, it doesn't even feel like he's. You're playing the game against him. He's playing his own no, game. No, he's. You're just no, living it. You'll get that. I like the fact that we're doing this tournament with OTK and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of World of Warcraft people in OTK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I always like to make the thing, the example of Trindamir. Trindamir is not queuing up in WoW to play PvP. He doesn't care about that. He's literally just going and bouncing back and forth between all the towns and the old elders that tell him to go get five wolf pelts or whatever. And that's what he wants to do. This is a PvE champion. Trindamir is putting on his 160 BPM hard bass music and he's playing for 26 hours straight killing chickens until he passes out on the keyboard. He is not an interactive champion. He's the South Park episode where they're killing boars forever. Yeah. It's like, well, what do we do now, guys? Killing the boars. 
What I have six <laughs> items now. I can play the game. Like yeah, we play the game. I've, look, chat. I'm sorry. I have to cast this stupid yeah. champion professionally and eloquently yeah, every week. I'm going to say what I actually think about him here on this stream. I'm so glad he's banned. Let's go, baby. Hell yes. <laughs> brand, dude. We got brand. Wait. Fuck that hero. I haven't seen this champion. I forgot this guy. This guy was a champion. You know, there's those brand times where you're just like, though. he's yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Sykuno's already getting already getting points in my book. If he's the one playing Brand, you get points for playing Brand. Brand is a Chad. Brand has no escapes. He has no aggro drops. Brand's Q does damage. His W does damage. His E does damage, and his R does hella damage. Brand has one mission, and it's to make you deader than him. That's what I like to see. That's the kind of picks we need. <laughs> Dude, they they are already picking like pretty good champions for going in like they want to be the aggressors here on team buddha team soda poppin they got the range though they go in poke city dude like look at this they got Sivir for the disengage they got zoe they got zareth they're they're like trying to have nothing to do with this game they're just like we're gonna keep you we're gonna keep you a lane's distance away you're gonna try to engage on us and the kled's gotta have to play really well here so we've got ash and brand who both have no mobility spells right and you're up against yeah. Sarah. you're up against zoe you're up against Sarah. this is a bullet hell this is one of those games where they're just gonna throw the all script, this son. stupid bullshit at you over and over and over again yeah here's a boomerang there's a paddle star oh here's whatever the hell zara shoots they have to dodge this shit like they're playing elden ring i hope ash and brand are not <laughs> over encumbered and fat rolling because there's gonna be so much garbage flying at them from the very beginning of this game you better have your juke boots on you better be ready to have that like sixth sense like reading the game otherwise you you are just gonna get oh, shot going? from moment one. Oh shit, they didn't ban more. There you go. Wait. Hope for they didn't iframes. Ban it's more? Oh. Twitch just said, hope for <laughs> iframes. Exactly. It's time to drop all the armor. Dude. It's time to get your light roll. It's time to dodge into it. Yeah. So I, I, God, I, dude. Imagine if WoW, or, or sorry, WoW, if League had like more iframes, dude. Like they only have like Zonias, and then there's like some things like uh uh, only certain abilities. They aren't even like true iframes too, because there's like you know things where Ignite goes through them. God, dude, they're just so annoying to deal with. So annoying. Right. Well, the one that always comes to mind. What? They got another. Is Fizz which, hopping up on the fish stick? I know it's like the traditional Playful name. Is <laughs> yeah, but I like calling it fish stick instead because that just makes it that much more menacing. Like, dude, I just gave him the fish stick. And when you dude. like, if you die to the fish stick. Your ass is grass. Like, there's no way, there's no recovering from that. You're just tilted. Dude, I, I don't know how you do it, but whenever it's like there's a thing that's established where it's like, oh, it's the troll pole, you're like, nah, it's the fish stick. And I'm just like, that is actually a better name for it. How did you do that? I hate I hate you sometimes. No, I hate how creative you are, dude. It's because I'm not an actual analyst. I was never even good at League of Legends. I was just good at Skarner. So since I can't contribute anything actually useful to the conversation, I have to say something that's dumb enough or clever enough to still give people the illusion that I'm saying something <laughs> useful. Yeah. That's what it's all about, baby. We're smoking mirrors up in this one. Anyway, <laughs> Blastoise is playing Cassidy, and that's not Zillion, so that is an advantage for the for Team Soda. And then we got, oh, we got Nunu! All right, let's go. Blau, Blau's on a champion, though, where he can go like 0 and 10, and then Power Spike still. So it's still like the type of champion he likes to play. Okay, okay. Yo, was that a space gummy thing? Wow, that's a sick background, bro. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a space. <laughs> that's a spaceman with a jellyfish, dude. <laughs> that's badass. I don't care about it. that's sick. I love that. Somebody, for Whoa. some of y'all that are in this yes. chat and also in Blau's chat, tell him that that's a badass background. That's awesome. Okay, no, we're in the game. You can, you can tell Blau is like trying to be a little normie because he actually has a bed frame, dude. It's probably like one of the only gamers in this tournament that's got a bed frame. It's like a you big bed frame too. To be Look at a that. normie because he has a bed frame. Do you want yeah, to see this? Dude. I'm just like living in an alleyway with a shitty old stained mattress on the ground and like a case of gamer <laughs> fuel. Like, what is he supposed to do? So like, man, if you ain't living under a bridge, like eating leftovers that you ganked from the studio. Yo, are you really even a gamer? They're saying it's an Airbnb. Oh god, it's not even his, dude. True. Oh no, dude. That, that, I was like, I was looking at that bed frame though. I was like, he's compensating for something because that is a big old bed frame, dude. That thing goes all the way up the wall. Oh, extra padded room. I don't think I've ever heard of player. compensating with a big bed frame. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Say if a dude's got a big bed frame. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we specifically asked in the caster channel before this tournament how like off the cuff we were allowed to get, and we got told dude, to just have fun with it. So, but Flowers and I are roommates, dude. You know my room takes up my, my bed takes up half my room. Like, 
Yeah, there's there's not that's... as a man as a man who compensates with a big bed, I know exactly what it means. <laughs> All right. All right. So, dude, you're just convincing <laughs> word suicide. Okay, okay. Okay, let's uh, let's let's look at what what the hell is actually happening. So we don't have perfect spectator view. So again, you're if you want to say something smart about the games, Irene, you're welcome to. But I sure as hell ain't gonna say anything because without perfect vision, what the hell am I supposed to say? I do like this bee skin for Nunu and Willump though. Like Willump just looks so goofy. He's got a raccoon tail. He's got these alien antennas. I don't know how the hell he's a bee other than the color pattern, but I'm about it. Yeah, it's like trying to figure out what he is. He's like a big bumblebee. I don't know, dude. I you like said raccoon him, pattern. The tail. He has a raccoon's tail. Look at the next time it goes to him. Look at him. That's it's a raccoon tail. That is just cheese. It's just cheese. He's got. Uh, there's all. It's. It's. He's a weird monster. But I think he's cool. I'm about it. Okay. So in mid lane. Wait. Let's see. So Zoe. Hmm, I don't know, man. Like I feel like Blastoise is probably gonna rock this matchup, and because I don't know anything about Fillion. Like is Fillion good at League of Legends? Is Fillion like solid at mid lane? Because otherwise you're playing a ranged mage into Cassidin. So eventually Cassidin just starts whapping you upside the head, and there's nothing you can do. Yeah, Cassidin's gonna do really well into this team if he gets there. Like chat's already doing the thing where they say how many levels out of 16 he is. They're like two out of 16. No, that's the most important thing about a Cassidin game. Because here's the thing about Cassidin game, dude. Until he is level 11, he's like not even a, okay. Level one through five, not a real champion. Might as well be a melee minion. Five through 11, okay, he's a real champion, but he's kind of shitty. 11 to 15, all right, real shit, it's going down. 16 plus, Ooh. cheat code. Nice kill in bottom lane. Uh, XQC just got, all right, he's gonna need some more juice. Anybody in the chat that's an XQC fans, you're gonna need to give the boy some more juice because he just got bopped. That bullet hell was uh, not ideal. Not ideal. Yeah. I mean, if, I guess technically their kill is worth a little more because it was a kill and assist, even though it wasn't first blood. So you, know, you gotta no, look on the bright side of things. We're not gonna talk about what's technically right. We are gonna go simply by emotional reactions to things. Because remember, if this- Man, he died to comment. What the fuck, man? No. Yeah, see, exactly. <laughs> That's what's important. When you're casting a tournament that the average skill level is silver or gold, you must react in the same way that silver and gold would, which is motherfucker, death was bullshit, WTF comment, OMG, lane is over. You know what is on Right? We gotta overreact. We gotta be. Oh, oh no! Top side. Buddha's going oh, in. Looking for the Mordekaiser. Slap him upside the head. Just shank him in the back with whatever that thing is for Count Caledula. Easy kill there. Two to one lead. Um, is it actually called Count Caledula? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. You know they you know they couldn't do uh pun names for the longest time because they didn't translate into other languages? Fun fact. Dude, that's why like actually that's why it's called Pop Star Ari and not Pop Starry. Well, I know for a fact that in Orn's development, Orn almost had a different name because they, they wanted a name that sounded like Nordic for Feljordian stuff or whatever. And they almost had a different name. I can't remember what it was, but the reason they had to change it was because I think in one of like the like the Southeast Asian languages, the word translated to testicles. So Orn would have been named <laughs> just like balls in one specific like <laughs> translation of his name so they had to change it because you can't have a champion oh who's just named balls why not who says you can't <laughs> man orn top dude <laughs> so there's there's a little bit of fun behind the scenes for you uh, i don't really know how to elaborate any further on it because that's about all there is Anyway, we got a dragon take coming up. That's pretty badass. Let's see if they can get it. All right, Team Soda popping. They're down one to two. We're going after the Drake. Ziver does not have flash, but we got to. Oh, sleepy trouble Ooh, bubble. Sleepy, sleepy. Blast them. Oh, here comes the Zoe gameplay experience. How many years are you ready for, ladies and gentlemen? Because it's going to be one more than 199. Just showed him exactly how interactive that champion can be. And Blau's toys has made his way to the whoa, 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 whoa. Soda Poppin survives with 200 HP. And Blau is still looking to do something. There's He's dead. No in love running into it. 1v3. We'll see you out the other side of the black and white screen. Oh boy. Yeah, the, I don't know what that was. You know, one guy dies, shows up, trickle on in. You know what? Everybody get in here. That's fine. I don't know what Blau was doing. You know what? You know when you said he's not really a diamond player anymore? I, I kind of believe you. I'm having a blast. No, like he's, he is a diamond zillion player for sure. Like, he's actually a really solid, like, supportive player, but he has more fun playing the flashy assassin stuff, but he does shit like that. So. <laughs> It's all right. Like, like, like we said, you can inch your face off. Wait, I'm looking at the tail. I'm looking at the tail. Yeah, look at his tail. It looks like a raccoon tail. 
What? This it's is stripey. Oh, wait, oh, the counter kill top lane. Wait a second. How do you get so it back? Lame. All right, whatever. He's a uh, stripey boy. Kaiser hit him on the head. <laughs> and then he died. Dude, that that is that thing is an abomination when you look at that. Uh, actually staring at that that B. Oh wait, is that... oh nice kill bottom side here. Okay, XQC. All right, now he's got the juice. Now we're talking. Has he got it? Okay, okay. Yeah, you know he's uh he's had a rough start, but he'll get there. Blau zero one and zero. You know I feel like if you're Cassidy, zero one and zero is pretty much the best start you could hope for. You know, wait, I mean. <laughs> Dude, Coming what? Yeah. Zero one and zero <laughs> sucks. That means you just fed a guy. Hey, okay, he's he's not feeding more, dude. He's not turbo inting. Well, Nunu's coming in with the special delivery. Nicely done. Enemy slain. Kill credit over to the Nunu. Of course, they would have liked to have it on the cast of him, but sometimes you just want to get the kill. Sometimes you're Chad Nunu. Blaustoys is just like hanging out here in lane trying to survive. You're saying, I'm not waiting for you to hit level 16. Chad Nunu's here to run away with the game. I hope he does like Predator full AP Ballistic Missile Nunu, even though I think it's shit. It's fun to watch. So I mean, I hope he does that. I'm telling you right now, as somebody who used to play jungle like a master's level, dude, if I see my cast and run it down to dragon and go zero one zero, I ain't giving him that kill, dude. He can go. He can go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Take the kill yourself. He can get the. He can get them later. We're gonna roll this up into the next snowball and just clobber these guys with it. That's what I want to see. All right, all right. Let's look back up here at. Oh wait, the score. Oh no, because I wanted to look at the scoreboard, but then when he pulled it up, the scoreboard's all out of order. I'm not gonna be able to compare anything. Okay, wait. No, never mind. Never mind. Okay, we got. Okay, so wait, it's Lakari versus Buddha Top. Oh, never mind. Soda Poppin's coming in. No. Nope. Okay. All right, we didn't get a whole lot about. I, I thought that was gonna be more hype than it was. That's my bad. That's my bad. What? What music he got going? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was listening to this last night while playing Bloons. This, that's a good track. That's a good track for sure. That's that. That's gonna give him at least like plus ten percent performance boost. They're going in. Dang, dude, you gotta be oh. aggro when you play in Clad. I like it, I like it. <laughs> Wait, does Blau have an anime profile picture on Discord? Is that what I saw? Probably. Here, I hold on, let me let me check Discord. I'm gonna, here, you keep talking about the game. I'm gonna check my friends list and see if his picture is a uh, is an anime girl or not. Oh man. Hold on. Be, uh, you. Yeah, like, no, no lie. I, I thought I thought I was like, what's Emeru doing in their Discord call? Like, wait, what? He's he's uh he's on the weeb life. He's on the weeb life. It's okay. my oh okay, bunny girl senpai. Okay, okay. Not that I would know what that is. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't know what the hell this is. This sounds like something that Ovali would try to tell me about, and then I would smile and nod and then just be like, eh, I'm gonna look, 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 Bunny Girl, Bunny Girl Senpai is actually really fucking good for like the first three episodes. It's fantastic, Dude, the and then it's got awful. Name afterwards. alone, I will never watch it. That name alone. Yeah, I, I wasn't gonna watch it. it either, but you know, because then if anybody ever asks you like, hey man, what? animes have you seen you would have to say that <laughs> and just saying those words feels painful okay anyway nunu's coming oh, in the pop him to give him the hug enemy slain nicely done with another gang dude he is just popping off he ain't giving his cast in anything blouse no, like, like just a crumb please He's taking all of it. The Chad Nunu, the 1v9 hero. Orange KDAs on OP.GG only. He mutes all as soon as the game begins. He's here to take kills and provide thrills. The Nunu that your Nunu wishes he was. What a hero. God. This Giga Chad Harry actually being a Giga Chad, dude. He's so popping good. off. This is so good. I'm loving it. Insane push. I am too, dude. This game, this game is actually going to be super close. It's ten and a half minutes in, and it's a poke comp versus like a hard engage composition. So this, this is going to get spicy. This is this is going to come down to team fights. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I love the fact that you bring up what the compositions are as if either of these teams is going to give a flying fuck about that. Oh, I'm just, hey, just hey, run at each other. Hey, like. some, something I always did was I would always say what the ideal battle plan is. All right. This okay, one's but, run it down with Nunu cast in with an Ash Arrow and then have Kled get everybody speed boosty on in there. And then the other one's just like, stay away, let Zoe poke, let yourself poke with Zareth, and then line it all up. So right, one like, wants but, to stay away, other one wants to get closer. 
Dude, there's there's no way we actually see them play to team win conditions in this. We're about to just see some YOLO BOLO <laughs> down here in bottom lane. Saikuno got himself a kill on the brand, just burning him down. Let's see. Are we going to go for the tower dive? Are we going to go for the tower dive? As soon as Brand's stun is ready, I want to see the tower. Okay, nope, never mind. We got the minions all cleared out. Never mind, never mind. Okay. All right, back up here. It's Chad Nunu. Now working He's on focusing on... He's focusing on realistic objectives. Yes, this is this is realistic objective gameplay. He's, he's, he's not eating himself up there, just looking for nonsense kills on enemies that he's already killed a bunch of times. Oh, baby! Is that the Lakari solo kill again? Nicely done. I mean, the guy's played Dota, right? So yeah, dude. He, he, he knows what's up, man. You don't even have to buy BKB in League of Legends. You can just <laughs> not do that. Get the monkey king Dude, bar. I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't played Dota in so long. Dota's fun as Same. fuck. Yeah, I, played, yeah, yeah. I played Wraith King, Slardar, because his name was like Skarnar. Skarnar. That was my three heroes I would play in Dota. Wind Waifu? Yeah, um, dude. Yeah. Wind Waifu yeah, was hella fun to play. I, play, I played like the, uh, the Ruby and Assassin, the guy who would just like, I played the two bugs. Yes, I, bug boy. I, I played the bug that knocked you up and then I played the bug that like stealths and runs through you for damage. So <laughs> hey, man, that's what <laughs> play the bugs in Warcraft 3. I want to see XQC hit an arrow this game. I want to see a downtown arrow just like across the map, blow people up. Giga Chad Harry, he's in the middle and he's almost taken oh, down, but oh, he flashes he... in looking for the damage. Blaustoy's going to clean it up. We got a one for one. Blau tries to stand and fight, but Soda Poppins ready to follow out. He's followed. Blaustoy's going to be taken low. Oh! XQC sets him up with the arrow to take him down and win the fight. Kled's here and this one ain't going to be stopping anytime soon. Holy cow, Buddha's squad is just massacring Team Soda, running down a three for one. Yo, the clean boys having a clean team fight there. That was sick. That was a really good arrow, too. It, I don't know if it quite saved him, but you know what? I'm going to give him points for that because he took less damage because it hit. So, like, Lakari, he's just, it's a, yeah, Lakari's just sitting top lane. Like, man, I don't know what these guys are doing. Man. What the? Team's fuck? dying. Got to do this. Sometimes yeah. all you can do is just try to get something elsewhere on the map. Got him goes bowling. Unfortunately, we're going to call that one a gutter ball. Uh, Kled's back up here. Mordekaiser walks away. Dude, just look at his face. Look at the face of that He's new, new monster, the, the Willem. That is the face of merciless slaughter. This new, new, two's, two, two, and two, been a part of a lot. Going back up here into. Oh, nope, nope, never mind. We're just going to. Oh, gonna, my, oh my God. Ball. No, dude, dude this thing is, this thing is night. Dude, he got jungler syndrome. I love this. He saw the he's crab. He saw the crab. I'm going to help my boy. I'm going to get this top lane ganked. We're going to set this up, salvage the lane state, and then the crab spawns. Now hold on one second. And then he's boom, right over to the crab. Jungler priorities right in front of your eyes. <laughs> Buddha's getting like beaten up, dismounted on Kled, like smacked down. <laughs> he's just like, I thought you were going to come help me, man. Nah, dude, crab came up. Crab game yeah. up. We're crab gaming. <laughs> Soda Poppin tries to get out, but Blaustoys is looking for the kill. He finds himself in a 1v2, make it a 1v3. He's jumping in. Blaustoys is hungry, baby, and he's getting fed. Soda Poppin falls, and Blaustoys oh makes his escape God. thanks to another beautiful arrow from XQC. He jumps oh right God. back in. He's going to grab another one. The man was even popping off in the webcam. Let's go. That ain't no motherfucking war turtle. That's a Blaustoys. Dude, that was actually sick. He went straight in, and then the arrow came up the gut, and as soon as Zoe came back, that brand stun is the follow-up. That was actually super cool. I that was love clean. To see. We got to watch that again afterwards. You know, we got to look at that. I'm going to fucking clip that myself and look at that. <laughs> Flowers potty mouth? Yes, I gotta get it out of my system because I don't get to do this on the LCS, so we're gonna yeah, have yeah. a good time. You better believe it. Especially Everybody's... when they're playing in, like the team coordination for that was super slick. You can't even lie. Oh yeah, like, that 100%. wasn't even slick for like a, a bronze and silver game. That was slick just period. Dude, I I love that. That people are like, oh, you can't expect them to be coordinated as a team. I'm like, dude, that was I, I don't I, you can't even do that in pro play. I don't, I don't see TSM doing that. Okay, well let's 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 not use TSM as our example of pro play. Everyone, let's, let's be a little bit more realistic here. Okay, down bottom, 
Ash and Brand still. We got a nice commanding lead. A nice commanding lead for Team Buddha here. 12 to 7. Blaustoise is about to make it even more. He jumps back in. Soda Pop and gets popped. He's going to get another. Oh, that would make it a double kill in the 1v3. Blaustoise trying to dip. He sees the teleport coming in. This man is a menace on the rift. He ran it down, like, just provided food to your door, Uber Eats style in that first death. Just making sure nobody went hungry. And then after that, he decided no. We're not doing that anymore. Delivery is too expensive. And he just started kicking oh. everybody's ass. Blaustoy. Holy shit, dude! I was you cast or cursed him. him. You I cast or cursed him. him. I was like, no, I've been making fun of him too much. I gotta give him proper respect. He's been popping off. We go back to his screen and it's black and white. God damn it, Blaustoy. You gotta you just gotta say it as fast as possible. So by the time, oh, by the time you're done, <laughs> it's already passed. Ah. Oh no! Now that now it's like slingshotting back on him here. It's rubber banding a little bit. I, I feel like the Cassidy is still online though. Blau is like five and yeah, he's two. He's doing fine. He's doing fine. I'm just I'm I'm upset at the timing is all. Look, I just I needed. I would have rather completed the sentence before he just threw himself to the wolves. But whatever. Oh, oh, Nunu just oh, oh, making oh, a throw oh, himself to the wolves. We want to talk about a special delivery. Nunu went for the Chad play, but it was only a bad play. F in the chat for our boy Chad Nunu. Uh, hey, hey, they're excited on Team Soda Pop in there. They're like, we're back in the game. Good. I like it when it's close like this. Yes, I do not want to watch a stomp. Give me a close game. Give me one that we don't know who's going to win until the very end, and then it still goes the other way because somebody screwed up their targeting on the Nexus. Give me something wild. Whoa, and there the arrow? Is another arrow from XQC. He's only got three letters because he made sure everybody else holds the L. He is just shitting on him with these arrows. Oh, my God. They, they, yeah. As soon as they get de engaged, the poke team got to play really far away. You see that cast in here? He's just dip, dive, duck, and dodging all over the place. He is getting right on top of him. And Blau is like. They're playing right into his hands. This Kasten has so much mobility. That's the thing. When you play against a Kasten, you're just like, oh, he's like half a screen away. That is that is still too close. That is still too close. He's level 11, and now he's able to actually just keep pressing that R button over and over again. He's going to pop off. He is like in prime position to just run away with his game. Yeah, this is this is looking like it's about to be the Cassidy special as this game goes forward. Blaustoy, it's a Blaustoy's world, and everybody else on the enemy team fucked up and picked Charmander as their starter. You guys are about to have some shitty rival battles for the rest of the game because Blaustoy's has just been fed to holy hell. This Cassidy, if he doesn't take over the game, I, I don't know what I'm going to say. I, I will have to actually legitimately flame him if he doesn't take over the game from here because the man has had an awesome mid game. Mm-hmm. Hundred percent. And. At the same time, the Nunu, you know, he's a little bit of that back, but wait, 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 wait. Oh, where's the scripts? Where's the scripts? Where's the script? Oh, the burn! The burn in the turn and XQC. He tries to get one back, but he just gets smacked over the head. Lakari's ready to go. Blau's oh, Lakari's in this, though. He's going to try to stand and fight against the power of that Cassidy. Blaustoys has to dip. You don't want to fight Mr. Metal Man. Uh, Zoe. Oh, nice Ooh. damage. Oh. But no sleepy trouble bubble connect. Fillion can't get all the way in there to finish off the kill. Blaustoys is still on the run. Plenty of charges there on the Rift Walk, so he's not able to ult away just yet. There the mana cost finally falls off, oh, wait, and the cavalry has arrived. Nunu is running down, watching this big dude just sprint towards everybody. They gotta have the fear of God in them, and they're trying to get away. The biggest snowball ever is en route, straight to Crab City. He's not after players, <laughs> he's not after kills. He's after the one thing that matters. It spawns in one side of the river every couple of minutes, and it's called I'm the crab God. you think he's going for a gank nah he's just picking up some food on he's the way he's picking up the crab he started rolling the snowball early anticipating crab spawn so he would be ready for maximum crabitude oh crabitude oh yes. dude <sighs> is that when you save the crab for your jungler you just show him some crabitude i mean if somebody tries to steal my crab thanks for the gank bro they're not getting no ganks anymore. Okay, top side. They're going. Nope. No. Oh man, I was hoping we were gonna Yo. get to see a little bit of wildness. I was. I Yo, was that... hoping we were gonna get a crazy wild dive. Mordekaiser doesn't have his ulti. He had used it bottom lane. That was the chance. That was the chance. That was the chance to just beat him up, stuff him in the locker, make him not have a good time. But nope. Dude, I, I'm looking him. at these. I'm looking at these guys' him. faces, dude. You're looking at like Giga Chad Harry. He looks like locked in. That Nunu is taking this serious. And then you see Lakari here. That's Lakari is like. 
honed in. He is like ready to dumpster this game. That's the thing I was going to say is that this whole game has been happening around the top laners not being there. When I saw him level 13 and Blau is fed 7 and 2 and he's only level 12 in comparison, I was like, wait a second. Lakari can actually beat this Cassidy. This like, Lakari is the X factor for Soda Poppin' right now. This is the Chad play for top laner. There's a time, like, and I, some people might not like me saying this. Some people in solo queue might not like me saying this. I don't care. I'm going to say it anyway. If you're playing a top laner that can carry, you need to know when to unironically say, fuck my team. You need to know when it's your job to set up shop in that side lane and just get shit done 1v9. That's how you get it done sometimes. I'm saying I've seen Lakari play high level Dota. If there's somebody in the game that can 1v9, I'm gonna say it's Lakari. So sometimes you just have to look at the rest of the map, put your hands together, think truly, deeply, and introspectively, and say, fuck my team. And just keep 1v9ing top. Sometimes that's the sauce, and I think it's exactly what the recipe calls for here. I was going to say, most of my top laners just say fuck my team unironically every game anyway. <laughs> Even if they're the 0 3 guy. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you just, oh, wait, you wait. They're they setting, they setting up for the dragon. Okay, it's dragon time. Snowball flies out, but it's not going to find much. Soda Poppin's already in the pit, stunned up by Sykuno. Lakari oh. goes in, he's gonna find XUC. his 1v1. Blaustoy's already on a killing spree, and Zerath is down. XUC's Everybody else getting is dunked! Up there, buddy, but Lakari now finds himself in a 1v3. The man might be strong, but he ain't strong enough. The rest of the team tries to fall back as Kled goes in. Count Kledula, baby, y'all want some breakfast? This one's gonna give you a sugar high. Another kill going over as Soda Poppin tries to escape. But Saikuno's on a diet and he's cutting out the sugary drinks. Everybody's falling over and we got another pop-off performance coming out from Team Buddha. Yeah, they're going to get themselves that Dragon 2 on the back of that. That was a little bit of a close team fight. That is a 4 for 2 overall, though. And it's just that engage on the back end. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh we ain't done yet. Nope, 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 no snowball. That was not the biggest snowball ever. That was a shitty snowball. That was made out of that mm. crappy, like, gray parking lot. Oh, snow that 70 it's people already sludge. drove through. It's the yeah. sludge snow. Sludgy snow. Ugh. Everybody hates that. <laughs> Riot hire this man. Hey, they actually already have, but I'm just not allowed to talk like this on official <laughs> shows. <laughs> oh, I feel God. like I would probably get a talking to for 75% of the stuff that I've said on this it show if I said it on the other show. But you know what? That's why yeah. I was saying it on this show. Anyway, next <laughs> you see went fishing. He didn't land anything. That's fine. That's fine. Just throw out them arrows. Have a good time. Look at the cooldown. It's like one minute anyway. Just keep firing those off. I have been impressed with XQC's accuracy so far. Yeah. I mean... He's got what, what he, 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 he started been... off as an Overwatch League player, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's why it's XQ, uh, XQ Cow. Did he play? Uh, XQC like, OW. What, what? What? He was a Winston uh, player. Okay, that's one of the ones that did. He played the monkey. Like, you, you didn't have to aim, right? Like you just kind of run in and tank shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never yeah, yeah, yeah. played Overwatch. I don't know. Okay, so that means I'm even more impressed because he has accuracy, but he wasn't playing one of the Overwatch heroes that needed accuracy. That means the man's got skills that he never even needed to have. I like that. I like His that. name was XQC Lol. He started off as a Lol player. Dang, we got the deep lore here. Yeah, we have some lore masters. Th these guys like aren't the... even juicers, dude. They're like, they're like, oh, dude, this is like, juicers. we have like the Deckard Kane of the XQC yeah. lore hanging on the Twitter. <laughs> Back in my day, XQC would feed in solo queue. But that's like, that's yeah. what you need, though. You need the true lore masters to be able to give you the real deal. Appreciate you guys. You're the best. That's what yeah, it's all about. Yeah, yeah. We incorporate Boomer in the chat into the show here. It's very important. Oh, and just Ooh. as we're talking about him, XQC lines it up again. Soda popping down. Yo, Blouse is, gonna keep, is gonna keep Lakari's going. Blouse is gonna keep going. Lakari's coming in. He's looking for Giga Chad Harry. He says, get on over here. But we already got a triple kill over to Blau. Harry's not gonna have a chance. Blau comes back over the wall. He tries to get away, but he's dunked down by Zerath. Meanwhile, the dive continues. It'll be a two for three trade, about to be two for floor, and Lakari hits the floor. Blaustoys is throwing up some celebrations down there in his picture. XQC looking a little bit nervous on the edge of his seat here. Got to be keeping the push alive. You're only up against one little whatever. I don't even know what Zerath is. Uh, I, I, I look at the arcane on my own stream. I don't know if I'm allowed <laughs> to say that on this stream. Well, Emmy per permission. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. I'm just going to call him Space <laughs> But that's what Zerath is, and he's I'm the pretty sure you left can. standing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can say anything you want as soon as uh, Dom commented on uh, Sanchovi's stash in, like, the first minute. 
So I, I think I think both <laughs> things are free game. I'm pr I'm sure if somebody plays Jax, you whip out the helicopter dick. Oh, I'm saying know? I am doing the full line if somebody plays Jax. I don't even care. I am. <laughs> I don't get enough chances to do that, and I am taking that chance if somebody plays Jax. Hundred percent. Okay, it's okay. 100%. Hecarim is, is hard, part of the uh, close air support division as well. If we get to see another <laughs> Hecarim game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Don't no worry. It'll, it'll, it'll be good. We got, we got plenty of games left today, Twitch chat. Remember, there's going to be a minimum yeah, 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 of yeah. six games that y'all are going to get to watch today. We're only on game number two. So there's, there's plenty of good stuff left to come. Don't y'all worry. Actually, I think the best stuff is still yet to come. The best is yet to come. Great song from the Metal Gear Solid soundtrack, by the way. But once we get... I'm serious, it is! Once we get to the best of three part for the grand finals, when we get to see the two best teams just go head to head, boom, 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 just beat the snot out of each other, I'm going to love that. That's going to be the best. Dude, it's going to be sick. And then we have the best three finals, 100%. Oh, wait, wait, here they go, here they go. Okay. Wow, he's already down. Over to toys, but here comes Giga Chad Harry. He's rolling the ball, but he can't quite find what he's looking for. There's already two kills back over to the rest of his team. Ping's coming out Baron? onto Baron. They're heading over to the big purple throw machine, but the throw machine ain't even going to work. Broker than a McDonald's ice cream order, and it means that their opponents will not be able to have any chance to steal this one away. If you give away this Baron, you are more than burger flipping it, yet it's absolutely inexcusable. Soda Poppin's going to walk over. Blaustoy's here on the guard. Going to get kicked away, but he's ready to continue the chase. Soda tries to get on out while the rest of the team's going to keep going after the Baron. Blaustoy's has the big sword charged up. He's a about to give him a full taste of the anime, but unfortunately, it's time for a filler episode and he won't get it done. Has to back away to recharge the mana. Meanwhile, he's gonna get stuck inside Lakari's doom zone, and there it is, baby. Play your last pathetic card, Blaustoys, before I send you to the Shadow Realm. Nicely done from Lakari to buy a little bit of time. God, dude, this game. Oh, is he sniping? Sniping Brent? Oh, no, nope. not going to pick up that kill. But that's the thing is, Lakari's coming up clean here. He is still playing well on the losing team, and I'm loving this. Hold on, they're setting up for that dragon. Another fight coming in quick. It just never stops. This is League of Legends. This is what you love to see. Klaus Toys is still down, so they have a chance to be able to continue the fight. Soda jumps in. The slows are going to be applied, and the boomerangs are bouncing all over the place. Another shutdown goes over, and Saikuno is killed with their own jungler, very low HP. XQC tries to jump back in, recover anything he might be able to find, but there is not enough damage. Sivir's still burning away, but she won't burn down all the way. Zoe trying to set a trap there in the brush. Make sure that XQC is not having a fun time, but no, it will not happen. Just going to farm the chickens and back away this is cloud soul cloud soul picked up for team soda now unfortunately cloud soul is usually the one that everybody agrees is not the most great to get most people would rather have pretty much any of the other ones but hey you can't be you know trying to pick everything and have the best possible outcomes when you're down 18 to 27 against a cassidy something good happens hell yes brother we take those yeah, they. I, I can't believe they like fought for that. They got the Baron, and then they just decided not not back, not completely reset, not regroup, and then boom, dude. They, that's why I love about solo queue. That's why I love about these games is it's not perfect play, and then you can kind of see where things go wrong. You know, I love it. You can kind of see where games go wrong, bro. In game number one, we got to see a hacker <laughs> kill himself on the chickens. I wasn't kind of seeing where I, things I don't go think wrong. That went wrong at all. I think that was wrong in one of those little glass slides. I stuck it under the microscope and I turned it up to times sixty nine magnification. We knew exactly what was going wrong in that one. But now in this one, we got to keep our eyes on the blouse toys because when the Cassidy dies, that's when Team Soda has a way back into the game. As long as blouse toys is alive. Hell is very real for Team Soda popping. Oh, you oh, see another beautiful arrow. Soda's going to get away from that one in time. Blaustoy's with the stasis. Here comes Lakari. Safety. Lakari's moving in. He's looking for the chance to make some sort of a play. Blaustoy's wants to get out. His Banshee's Veil's going to keep him alive. Now Lakari and Buddha here in the 1v1. Lakari brings down the hammer, and Buddha is not getting reincarnated from that one, baby. The enemy slain over on the other side as well as XQC picks one up on Soda. Now the Zerath tries to escape but there's no way home except the body bag double kills on either side it'll be a 3v3 on the map and they're pushing the bottom side remember they have a baron here still uh still too so they got her back they got to see what's up here try to clear waves okay baron just wore off i think okay baron's gone but what's the defense look like there's still blaustoys here that is still the biggest issue Two for two trades you don't like those unless you're able to take down the cassidy let's see what else they can find they're gonna lose the inhib 
Nunu chase him down. We going for Hello? the sleepy triple bubble. All right, Nunu's gonna keep take going. Nice chase him down. But that one, let's see it. Half HP on Blastoise, half HP on XQC. The chase continues. Blastoise they have cloud. has they have cloud, the ability cloud. to get in the Uber and leave his boy at the club. XQC has been abandoned at the club. Blastoise is in the Uber. He's going home. XQC sending a messages, bro, where you at? Blastoise just sends back the question mark, goes home and sleeps. XQC <laughs> is back in the fountain. Man, I, I, I wouldn't be laughing if it didn't hurt and that's happened before. But no. <laughs> <laughs> Where yet? Oh God, dude! Right now, I all the boys who've ever been left in the club. We got like thirty-two thousand viewers just on mainstream here. There's gonna be some people who haven't played League of Legends before, so I can't just use endemic analogies. I gotta say shit that resonates yeah, yeah, yeah. with people. You ever cry? Right. You ever cry in the club? You know? <laughs> me, ne me neither. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, these guys are about to be crying in the club right about now. They just put on all the sad songs, baby. It's nothing but a Drake playlist as Team Soda Poppin tries to get away from Blouse Toys. Burr, burr, burr. Here comes the new new counterattack. It's the biggest snowball ever, and it's rolling right into your face. They'll get away from it for now. But this squad, this Buddha team, this Blouse Toys Cassidy will not be held at bay forever. I'm, li I'm listening to them right now. Where are they, where are they? No, 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 oh, he wants to roll it. He's rolling it. Okay. All right, let's rolling, go. Rolling, rolling, let's rolling, go. rolling, 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 rolling. There it is. Soda pop, and he's trying to take somebody with him. He jumps in for XQC, but he won't get the kill. Wild Stoys keeps on pushing him, but Lakari has brought him into the death zone once more. The Shadow Realm awaits. Kill over onto XQC, coming out for the Sivir, and Blaustoys still alive here off to the side, able to get away from the Mordekaiser pretty effortlessly, but the rest of Team Buddha has been broken. They have to fall back a little bit, get ready. He's they rolling again? Play around Blaustoys if they want, knock up onto the Zoe there. Xerathalti's coming in, Buddha barely getting away from that one. He'll stay alive, but it's time to go home. You ain't feeling too good, gotta restock, restock load oh it just don't stop yeah this game is actually super interesting because you would assume the casting team you know he's not 16 yet he's been sitting on 15 a long time he's been trying to get there you'd assume this team is about to like take over the game but there's just been so many kills going over to the other side game soda popping they're the ones that are being aggressive right now and there's like half hp harry hasn't backed it. okay that is a uh... Nobody saw that snowball. Cut the montage. Don't worry about it. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see no snowball. What are you talking about? No such thing. The zone, zoning snowball. No such thing. Yeah, exactly. Zoning zoning snowball. Zoning snowball. It's like when, you, when you're when you actually having a snowball fight with your friends in real life. You make a big one made out of like, it's really intimidating, but you don't throw it until you actually have to. That way, in case somebody else comes up and tries to third party your ass in a snowball fight, you just threaten to smash them over the head with this giant boulder snowball. It keeps everybody. It keeps people honest. All right? You got to be able to have have some sort of a threat in those situations. Now, is Blau still 15? Oh. I think he might be. I think yep. he might be. Okay. This guy's red death note? Exactly. You take a potato chip <laughs> and you eat it. You don't just fuck around with that potato chip. You don't just show it to people. You munch. You crunch. You eat it. Level 16. Uh oh, we just had a, a, a Raffle right, Gator. No, yeah, it, it, it happened. It happened. Don't worry. Don't worry. Anyway, <laughs> level 16 has happened. Blouse Toys is now fully online here with the cast. In remember what I said earlier levels 11 through 15. Yes, he's a real champion. He's scary, but level 16, the man becomes a cheat code up, up, down, down, left, right, A, B, A, B, and you win the game. Pretty hard to lose with a level 16 cast. In let's see what they got. Nunu rolling in, but he's not able to find the target arrow? that he's looking for. Nice arrow over the wall means Zara's gonna lose about half HP, but but now they gotta be careful as Giga Chad Harry's gonna be losing about half of his own. He goes in for a massive shield, looking to channel the ulti, and he takes a bite at a crime. Zareth ain't going anywhere, but neither is Harry. The fight's already been a two for one, but now they gotta be careful about the back end of the re-engage. Lakari still alive. Blaustoy still full HP. Where is the Cassidy? What is he doing? That is the name of the game right about now. We gotta see where he's at and what the is base, the base, the base, the base, the base, the base. The Nexus is getting <laughs> fucked up sideways. Somebody go save the Nexus. You lose if this dies. Someone save this thing. Go. Both junglers dead. Nobody's gonna do that dragon just yet. And then that uh, Lakari, he's the one who's gotta defend the base here. I don't know if he has TP or not. So. Oh, yeah, you no, know, he's got TP, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. this, this is exactly what I wanted from this game. This is absolute madness up until the very end. This is the kind of League of Legends you want to see. This is the kind of League of Legends we need. This is the kind of League of Legends that makes more people want to play League of Legends. It just needs to be madness like this all the time.
good, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're so close. See, that's actually, you want to know my tinfoil hat theory? Inhibitor back. What's up? What's up? What's up? All of the stuff that helps you be better at League, like all the apps and guides and op.gg. Makes it less fun? Makes it less fun. League of Legends yeah. is more fun when everyone is stupid and has no idea what the hell Season is going on. Season one! <laughs> yes, it's the best. Stupid League of Legends is the best League of Legends, and I am prepared to die on this hill defending it. Now we got Lakari starting up with the ulti. We're already into a bit of a battle wow. here, and Black Boys dies at the time. Okay. One more boomerang blade and Blaustoise falls. Mordekaiser keeps on stepping up. He's going to zone him away. This could be an Elder Dragon. That is a massive pickup for Team Soda Pop. And Soda himself has about three seconds left on the smite. They're still being a little timid about starting this one up. Yes, they've killed Blaustoise. Yes, that's the most important player on the enemy team. But the other four are still around. I want to see him go for this Elder. Come on, boys. You only live once. Time to die like men. Get in there. Okay. Stasis from Lakari. He'll buy a little bit of time. Saikuno steps up, and he's going to take a big hit. He's very, very low here on the brand now. They're zoning everybody else out. Elder Dragon pulled out of the pit, resets, loses its patience. Does not have time for these Yo, games. They, 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 they playing it right, though. They're the poke team. They want to start it. They want to have him walk up. They want to poke, 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 not actually do it. If they get any of these little kills, they'll be good. This is too smart of analysis for this game. I want blood. I'm just saying. I want to see. No. I want to see. They scared of Nunu. In Gladiator, are you not entertained? <laughs> Are you not entertained? They gotta, they gotta watch Nunu. Shadows they gotta watch Nunu. Go. Where's it gonna be? Elder down to 1,000. Elder gets secured, and now they have to fall back. Blaustoise is out, back alive on the map. They need to disengage before the fight goes south. They're gonna pick up the blue buff. Might be a little risky. Okay, they get out there. Fine, time to regroup. This is still anyone's game. Yeah, and that's the best part, man. It's almost 40 minutes in. We got the Drakes going over. This is, this is insane. Blau, what are you doing at level 16? What are you doing dying like that? I know you might have to pay for your Airbnb, but I'm sure you get more money, you know, winning the tournament instead of uh, throwing. <laughs> I don't know who's paying him, but that uh, that last play? Uh, I don't know. All right. Yeah, the cast is saying don't fight. <laughs> don't fight, don't fight. I'm on wolves. I'm on wolves. I'm like, I've got wolf control. I, we've got control over the wolves. Nobody fight. This is this is this is the classic. Come on, Blau. You got to group up with these guys. You got to be ready to go. XQC been on the arrows all game long. Six six and sixteen. He's number one. So take the one out. Six six six. Bringing an unholy power straight to him. The man is the devil here on Ash, and he's ready to show him exactly what hell smells like. Smell that? Smells like burnt arrows hitting their target. My man knows exactly where he's aiming them. And I'm expecting XQC to have a big part to play in whatever the final team fight this game looks like. Oh, where's... He's saying do not engage the snowballs rolling in. <laughs> he's he's got to say it like five more times because the... I, I still would have rolled that snowball in on the fourth time. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it. This is this is huge. This, this could determine the entire game right here. Because Team oh, Soda Poppin wants to be able to fight with their Elder, but at the same time, if they fuck up and engage Whoa. improperly and let Blaustoys just go crazy, the fight's still going to go the other way. This is still level 16 Cassidy. This is time to int it or win it right here. Int it or win it. Let's go. What's it going to be? Here it is. Team Soda Poppin pressuring onto the first inhibitor turret. That shit is gone. Inhibitor number one, now the target. They should be able to burst this one down, no issue. Unfortunately, their side lane waves are about what you would expect for a North American game of League of Legends, and they're nowhere near wherever the fuck they're supposed to be. That means oh, so they gotta low. reach out and grab one of them side lane waves, get that pushed up before they're able to do any more. Yep, that top wave is pushing into them. I think they're losing that turret up there, slowly but surely in their own side. And now they gotta push this bomb side, like you said. They're trying to make use of this. Baron is up very shortly, so they're gonna have to swap to the other side of the map. So that what they wanna do is they wanna get this turret, they wanna push it all the way to the inhib, back, reset, get to Baron if they're actually trying to play as a team here. All right. I know I know it's smart analysis, but we that deep in the game here, dude. All and right. this team, have, this team we ain't as simple as use press Argo wins. Brain. Zyrene, what, whatever that, uh, the switch in your brain is that converts like how much of your brain is being used for smart analytics versus how much is anime booba? Turn it down from the anime booba and up to the smart analytics because this game is coming down to the wire. We've got the five <laughs> man push. Ratio. They're still in the enemy. I know it's a big ratio. That's why I had to point it out that we need that switch the other direction. Speaking of die, looks like we might get a kill here. Nope, XQC with a nice field goal. We're going to call that one three points worth because it went straight through them. Everybody else disengaging. They need Team to back. Soda popping gets out of town. Yep, they need to. They did exactly what they need to do. Full shove that bottom wave all the way to the inhib. Go to the Baron. Now what they need to do is they need to get there. They need to not int their ass off, and they need to just wait. They need to sit there and wait. Poke, 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 poke. Let the minion waves do their thing. If Blau is in a bad spot, 
Engage. Right. You gotta, everybody in this game, all nine other players, every time you're thinking about PvP, you need to ask yourself one question. Where the fuck is Blaustoys? Enemy team, where the fuck is Blaustoys? Allied team, where the fuck is Blaustoys? This is a 41 minute game of League of Legends with a Cassidy in it. The game is about Cassidy, like it or not. Everybody else, you ain't the protagonist. Cassidy. Oh, there's the TP, TP mid, TP mid. Okay. TP mid Cassidy coming in. It's Blaustoys. He's the one who's going to arrive into the mid lane, so everybody else is going to fall off the bear, and they got to be careful. Nunu oh. goes in. Nunu is He's alone. He's in He's in Happens going to be the target. Nunu might be running it down mid. Where's the ghost cleanse? Nunu falls, but the fight ain't done just yet. They're going to get a return kill. It'll make it a one for one. Jungler's both down, but Sivir's going to be cleaned up, making it a one for two. XQC is able to find another, looking right on back in. Lakari is stuck up. Four players already down. It absolutely collapses for Team Soda Poppin. Team Wait. Buddha just rolls them over. But that's not game. That's not even game. I thought it would be just done right there, but they don't have the minion waves. The minion waves are just shoving in. They'll get the Baron, but we're still going to have a game. It's going to keep going, Flowers. League of Legends. Please let every game for the rest of the day look like this one. I am loving it. This is entertainment, ladies and gentlemen. This, this is good. Yeah, God. In that last team fight, you know, Harry's just going deep. He's doing the new, new thing. He's just rushing straight in, and then they have all this collapse. Like, like I said at the very start, this is a team that's got Kled, it's got Nunu, it's got Kasten. They just want to just battering ram straight in there. And the other team was like, no, we got to stay away. Hold on, let's weaken you a little bit here. Haha, <laughs> here's a poke from Zoe. And they didn't get any time to do that. So they don't have a front line. It's just Lakari, basically. And Lakari is playing in the back right now. He is waiting to find that opportunity to actually get a primo target, stop the cast in from going in, but it's just not happening. No, I love the fact that you're making legitimate analysis of what's happening in the team fights because my analysis of this game is I can't believe it's this entertaining without any of the characters from the hit show Arcane produced by Riot Games in <laughs> collaboration with Netflix present in this game. There's no Powder, there's no Caitlyn, there's no Vi, there's no Jace, there's no Victor, but yet it's still such an entertaining game. Wowie back chest. As Saikuno gets hit by a lot of long range damage, he's gonna back up a little bit. Needs to be careful here. Brand doesn't have much in the way of sustain to be able to start. Oh, oh no! Oh. Sleepy trouble. There's the bubble. Say good night. Blaustoys jumps in, looking to get one in return, but he's got to get it immediately. Right back out. Elder Drake number two is on the map. It is a 5v4. Zerath got to be careful. He's going to be found and blown up right about now. Everybody else from Team Soda popping, trying to pile on and find the damage. XQC going to go unstoppable with a kill onto Soda now himself. A kill back onto Blaustoys. Means this could still go either way. Kled's going to get dismounted. Lakari tries to get away from XQC. XQC is on the hunt. He's looking to hit them arrows, but he can't quite find anybody to do it too. Now Lakari moves in. Now there comes a Sivir Boomerang. Now here comes the grasp and there goes the ass it'll be a guardian angel bringing xqc back to life but now the sleepy trouble bubble's gonna kill the clay xqc still up. looking for the damage but another stopwatch doing a good job trying to keep oh! him up. he'll be gunned down at the very end oh <laughs> they're all dead it's a full yeah, double yeah, but Saikuno, Saikuno clears that. yeah, yeah I that was a 4v5 this. that was a 4v5 oh my god this is what we were asking for. I, I, I catapulted know. myself halfway back into my room to yell that because I didn't want to blow out chat's ears. I hope it worked, and if it didn't, sorry. <laughs> the, 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 the mic cut out because you peaked it even there. <laughs> God bless it. All right, whatever. We tried. <laughs> we tried. Whatever. It's all good. Oh. It's all good. What a game. What a Sometimes game. We are 45 minutes in, dude. 45 yeah. minutes in. We just had a double ace. We're on our second elder. <laughs> yeah, some, some, sometimes in those moments, Flowers, it's not about what you say, but what isn't said, you know? Some moments speak for themselves. And when <laughs> everybody kills each said, other... Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when everybody just killed each other, I'm pretty sure holy shit stands as a professional call. <laughs> yes, anytime you can say holy shit back, and back, people don't get mad at you, it's a good time. Die, All right, back. now. Yo, we now, that, please, we're you. back to square one. Let's, let's take a deep breath. Oh, we gotta go in on this boys. Back to where we started. All right, back at the Elder. So much has been going down Wait, here. Wait, what's Blau doing? What's Blau doing? Pop quiz, what are we supposed to ask? Where the fuck is Blaustoys? That's the question for everybody in this game, all nine other players. It's the only thing that should be on your mind. Where the fuck is Blaustoys? Blaustoys is mid. Cassidy didn't try to control that right now. He has a flank angle. They gotta be really careful. Really careful on Soda Poppins' team to not overcommit to this Elder. 
Team Buddha doing a good job just setting up here in the Pixel Brush. This is the death of many solo queue games is one random guy getting a little bit too hyphy, walking into a brush and getting himself killed. You see it multiple times daily. They can make one of those sad animal Sarah McLaughlin commercials just about this. And the arms of the angels fly away from here as Nunu flies into there. Zerath going to get jumped on. It's a two-man collapse. Where is the counterattack coming out from Team Soda? They will not be able to save their Zerath in time. He falls first. Kill credit. Goes over to Saikuno. Yes, the sleepy trouble bubble comes out, but the follow-up isn't there for the burst. Now they got to look out as more projectiles are flying in. XQC doing a great job kiting away, but now he's going to be stuck having to deal with Lakari. He gets out of the way of the grasp, and Lakari is in a bad spot. Blaustois jumps right back in into an immediate stasis, looking to buy himself a little bit of time and drop the aggro. Kill credit again. Over to XQC. Blaustois keeps the chase alive and having he's to cleaning up. And he's able to find a lot, but Zoe turns it right back around with a couple of hundred years the fight ends up being an ace for one and team boda is looking damn good they might just run this straight down there's 10 seconds on zareth i don't know if he's got the wave clear capacity right now and i don't even know if they have to... what okay wait what's the call here what's the call the call is run it down move they say move okay they're going for it they have a lot of time it's just zareth it is a support Zerath. He's not particularly powerful right now. Okay, we're not we're not going all the way to the end. We're not going all the way to the end. Saikuna with a barrier trying to stay alive. XQC's calling for the end. All right, follow the call. Follow the call. Everybody follow the call. Whoa, whoa. Follow, the call. follow the call. Follow the call. Okay, we're not gonna follow. Okay, nobody's all right. The call is now. You know what they say? They okay, say this the game is so they say this game is so much fucking fun right now. Let's just keep it going. You know, let's just keep it going. <laughs> It'd be a shame to end it at 47 and a half minutes. Reset, reset, reset. We're gonna get yeah, reset, yeah. I love the amount of pep and meltdown in the chat right now as nobody knows what the hell's going on with the comms. <laughs> They're going, they're going, they're going at very, oh, at yeah, another throw. They'll have to VOD review this with their coach later. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, what, what's, what's Soda Pop in scoreline right now? We can start uh, I do not know. Observers, can we switch to Soda Pop's point of view and see his scoreline? Soda Pop is currently 0, 12, and 11. So, but here, I, I propose this. I propose this. For all of you who might remember, that one Worlds where there was like that 70 minute the game Medios? between Medios? Cloud9 and Flash Wolves, and Medios played like the worst Lee Sin anyone's ever seen him play, and then at 70 minutes he has the hero play to win the game. It is possible to be a 0-12 Lee Sin and win the game for your team. I have not lost faith yet for Soda Poppin, but they gotta be careful, cause Blaustoys is running amok, and he's hitting like a truck. That's he game. In. There's the kill onto Zoe. There's the kill onto Zerat. There's the kill onto Lakari. There's the kill onto the hopes and dreams of Team Soda popping. Soda himself just gets popped, and that will be it. XQC is already in the base, giving it the juice. And after 48 minutes, 49 minutes of grueling combat between these fierce gaming competitors, we will see the triumph for Team Buddha. XQC tries to pad them stats a little bit more. Pad them up, my friend. You deserve it. The arrows rang true, and it's a dub for Team Buddha. I like how XQC was the one who was like, no, you guys can end in the previous fight. Oh, and then man. there he's like, he's like, Fuck this team fight. I'm just going to end it. He just runs it straight down. He's like, 50 minute he's game. Not even there. <laughs> that was more like what I was expecting for this tournament. These long ass games. Gee, what a game. Oh my God. An incredible casting. Holy shit. It's, it's so nice to have you guys here. The Flowers is a treat. Hell yeah. He's an absolute treat. <laughs> I said yeah, fuck like you. 15 times and I haven't been kicked off the show yet. So it's a good day. <laughs> Let's keep this rolling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, say, say whatever you want. Say whatever you want, please. <laughs> Oh my lord. I thought what for you a got while there? I was team had a chance. What do I got here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What oh, you got there? I saw. These are my flashcards. Uh, oh, hell yeah. 11 times 12 nice, is 132. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have we on school, dude? <laughs> Okay, uh, we're no. going to look at the bracket now, see how the rest of the teams did. Team Buddha, 2-0. and oh. Team Soda, now 1-1. One and one. Team Esfan, 1-1. One and one. Won Ooh, their game e against Techtone. E-Rob, 2-0 and oh, against Team Mizkif. Took the win. Cutie taking the win against Team Critical. They're now 1-1. One and one. So We have Buddha and E-Rob now for our top teams. Soda, Mizkif, Esfan, and Cutie are all going to be fighting for the top two spot, it looks like. 
Wow. Yeah, I think uh, it's I'm it's surprised. looking like it might be F in the chat time for Team Critical and Team Tech Tone. I don't like based on what the schedule is. I don't know the schedule because I didn't look at that document before the day because we're just you know we're doing it with the we're doing it improv style. But yep. depending on what the schedule looks like, those two teams might already be eliminated because of a zero two start. I don't know. I'm not going to make I any mathematical claims. Yes. They have yes. to you, you probably win three. the next two, I believe. Yeah. Uh, next one. If they, if, yeah, there's if only three. They, if they yeah. win the next one, there is a chance for a tiebreaker where if they have the fastest average win time, they could still go on to semifinals, but then they have to for sure win their next game or they're, 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 they're done. Right. It has to be one of those things where the, the group score ends up being a 3-0 at the top and then a 1-2, 1-2, 1-2, and then you win the tiebreaker. Yep. Yeah, but exactly. that's always kind of monk a W. And again, whoever, I hate whoever. tiebreaker <laughs> scenarios. Thank you, twitch.tv slash Emmy Roo for making it so we don't ever have to actually play tiebreakers. Pog yeah. champ. You're, you're welcome, uh, Flowers. I mean, we, yeah, we yeah, didn't want who, that either. Whoever just won that last game, I don't think they're winning any tiebreakers time-wise, right. so... <laughs> okay, this time we can actually see the damage coming out. Uh, Soda doing less than both supports. That's unfortunate. I can't. Uh, I can't team. tell. It, Dom said he was like the middle is assists. I can't tell what Soda Pop and scoreline actually is. It looks assists. like they fixed it. They fixed it this time. They Did they fix it? This time. Okay, yeah. Paul, yeah. I, I, can't, I still can't death. tell. The middle is deaths for Soda Pop, and so yes. a little bit, a little okay. bit of an unlucky game there on. On Lee Sin, those happen sometimes. We've we've all had one of those games. That's okay. Uh, over on the other side, XQC, top in the damage charts. Uh, actually, Sure Four was the second highest damage in the game. So it was an 80 carries world, and everybody else was just mm -hmm. trying to play around those 80 carries. Honestly, awesome stuff there. And we've just been informed. We have replays. Let's check Ooh. some of those out. Yeah, wait, wait. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is an early game one. This is where Blau ran it down. Can I get this? Okay, yeah, this was. He just he just wanted to help out the team, you know. He wanted to he wanted to, to live with the team, die with the team. And then what do we got here? Okay, no wolves. I'm lucky. Right this is good. Uh, you. He he was too good. He was too fast. Yeah. Right I'm having a blast. See, that's what we like. <laughs> I'm having a blast. He's having a blast. Famous, famous words before going 0 to 12. I was going to say, he was having a blast at 0, 0, and 1. I'm not sure how he felt at 0, 13, and 11. But I feel like this is the best his KDA was the entire game. So At the, hey, at the start, he was partying hard. That's what we love to see. And down here at the bottom, let's see. Uh, this, was the, this was the Sivir and Zerath bullet hell lane versus the Ash and Brand infinite damage wombo combo. Mm -hmm. right, what do we got? XQC, a couple of shots. Bop, bop. Pop. Oh, oh the stun. Oh, yeah, that was that was good. That was good. Awful Gator getting some good damage there. And then does XQC sidestep all of these? Yep. Oh, nicely yep. done. He nice made it look day. easy. He made it look nice. easy. Okay, good stuff. Oh, and then here's insane. your counter attack. Oh Sykuno setting him up. Sykuno knocking him down. He's saying, I don't give a fuck if you're the AD carry. I'm support brand. The support is not the operative word. Support brand's the same thing as mid lane brand. You just throw damage at people. He needs that money. Yeah, he, he's dude. The combos were actually pretty good. The Ash stun into the Brand stun. The entire time. This, this, I think. I think this is the one that made me like lose my shit. Right? Is this the one where he comes back? No, no. This is not the one where Brand gets the stun over the wall. Oh, there was a super good stun over the wall later on. We actually have teamwork. Let's go. That's oh, we I missed like. the replay of XQC got a quadra kill, didn't he? On Ash, around Did Baron, he? yeah, didn't he? Ooh, there That's was a, okay. That happened. I feel, I feel yeah, bad for your producer because there's so many. Uh, there's so just many too good much. <laughs> it, was, it was a 50 minute game. There's too much to choose from. Just imagine. It. Oh sh wait. Oh no, wait. Oh wait, we have it. Okay. It absolutely collapses for Team Soda Poppin. Team we Buddha just. All right, right. we got it at the end. But that's not game. That's hey, not we, we game. got your call in there. Yeah, man, that play-by-play yeah, play guy is really good. I like this again. Let's go. kill for XQC. Honestly, the dude was popping off the whole game. Top of the damage charts. Hit the arrows when the arrows needed to be hit. MVP. MVP for the game, for sure. 100%. Kind of good. I don't know. Oh, wow. Yeah, that this from Blau. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice, because I think Lakari stopped ulting him after that. Yeah, He's just yeah, like, oh, yeah, that's that's not going to help. It's not going to work. Yeah, he spent that entire time. That was the other perspective of the Quadra. That was good. That was good. Just give me all the rest of the, ga of the games today need to be like that.
all the rest of the games today need to be like this. I don't care maybe that it was 45 shorter. minutes of nonstop action. Okay, all right, fine. Maybe we was short a couple a of them. <laughs> maybe a little shorter. Maybe a little shorter. The, final. <laughs> the last game of the final needs to be this. Yes, like, just, yes. Just, just give me this again. <laughs> Oh, I was glad that there was in the middle. It seemed like there was a, a bit of a time where Soda's team looked like they could win. It felt like a pretty mm -hmm. even match. I expected a lot of these games to be very one-sided stomps, but it's surprising to see that kind of there there is like a level of the teams actually. Fuck, I I can't speak. I can't speak. I'm just over actually coordinating. Yeah, yeah well, actually I'll, coordinating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Words so are hard. Great. They are. They are very yeah. hard. <laughs> it's great to be able to see those brilliant moments of coordination in a game because i still stand by my statement to use irene where i said i like the fact that you're talking about win cons as if the teams will play to them because they fucking won't and of course they won't that's what makes it so fun and so scrappy occasionally they'll just have this moment where like the third eye opens and they're like we are a poke comp we should poke <laughs> and you'll get to see that for one fight and that'll totally turn the game around <laughs> then but then the again. third eye is finicky it just closes right back shut nope in a ram right down mid it's perfect <laughs> Okay, we're ready to do the poll for our next game, our game three of groups. We're going to once again let chat vote on what game they would like to see on the main broadcast. This game is going to be cast again by Sanch and I Will Dominate. So chat gets to pick what they would like to see cast by our amazing casters. Okay, so can I see the groups? I know what we're voting for. Okay, see you later, so chat. round three. Yep, see ya. Our options are... Team Tectone versus Team Soda. Team Ezfan versus Team Buddha. We've got Team Critical versus Team Erob. And Team Cutie versus Team Miz. Uh, make sure to vote on which match you would like to see. It's going to be on the main broadcast. Okay, it looks like it's pretty close right now between Team Ezfan and Team Buddha and Team Cutie and Miz. Team Miz and Cutie about 5% ahead on the vote. Okay, and while we're waiting for that to finish up, we're going to do a little promo for Schooled every Monday. Make sure to tune in at 12 Pacific Time, 3 Eastern Time. Every single Monday on twitch.tv slash Mizkiff. Okay, we're wrapping up the vote. It looks like it is going to be Team Cutie versus Team Mizkiff on the main broadcast. 49% of the vote. This game will be cast again by Sanch and Dom. You guys here? Hello. What's up? What up? What'd you think of last game? <laughs> Were you that watching? That was a banger. Yeah, that was actually a banger. <laughs> Good ass game. Yeah. Oh and my the casting Lord. was insane. Like I don't know how we're supposed to. Yeah, Zyrian know. and Flowers, they are yeah. they are gods. Yeah, they're really I, I do want to <laughs> I was laughing just as much during your guys' casting. I'm excited for you guys to cast again. Definitely. Uh, different it's it's what been we do. it's been a great tournament so far. <laughs> yeah, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> it's been good stuff. Dom. Is I Dom can't muted? Dom. Wait, I'm, yeah, I was muted. Okay. No. <laughs> Definitely was not Welcome trolling back. trolling the stream. All I'm saying is like, look, I, I don't I don't know if we're gonna be able to follow that up, but the only way that it's possible is if Sanch does what Captain Flowers just did in the previous not... cast. I'll, Wait. I'll, I'll 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 do what Zyrene did, but you just have to follow Captain Flowers and, and uh, we'll be how fine. about I do what Zyrene did and you do Captain Flowers? Uh no, I'm not really feeling it right now. I think oh, you should okay. be Captain Flowers no, for this I'm one. really busy totally. all of a sudden, so Oh, oh no. you're busy. Emmy does the Captain Flowers instead. Oh no, no, no. no I'm, I'm oh, okay, okay. I don't even play League anymore. I'm a Mario player now. Did you know that? Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. That's how you're gonna get Diamond by not playing League. Oh, okay. Dom, please. Every <laughs> time, every time we're on the broadcast together, you have to bring this up within two minutes. Okay. Why? Okay. Christ. My bad. My bad. We'll change the topic. Look, I haven't seen Soda get fucked that hard since he had that sex doll in in, in the last game. But, like this was this was actually crazy. So we'll we'll, we'll transition it, and then we're gonna we're gonna go into this next game with uh, Miss Given Cutie. So yeah, should be great. Cutie. Do you guys have um, a side you're leaning on for which team you think is going to win? I, I think Miz is going to uh, take this. I mean, their their team looked like they I feel like they have the best draft for this tournament. Number one. And number two, like Cutie Cinderella already lost a match. And I believe that Miz has missed two and oh right didn't now. Miss, didn't miss no, just he, he, he just oh. lost to Erop's team. Yeah. Oh, just lost to Erop's team. Well, then then yeah. they're fucking doomed. Then then Cutie Cinderella is going to win. I changed yeah, teams. I, Cutie won her last game, I believe. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, so wait, this one is for who's gonna make it into the next round. Yes. Yeah, this this game is gonna determine who makes it into semifinals. Okay. All right. So this is a big one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here mistakes. we are again. Our our group stage, our current standings. Team Buddha 2-0, Team Erop 2-0. Then we have Soda Miz, S Cutie, all one and one. Team Tectone, Team Critical, 0 and 2. 
So these next games will determine who the top four teams that go on to semifinals. So these are stakes are high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder what comps are going to run for this this next game. I wonder if we're going to see full scaling again from from Team Miz. But I feel like if we get uh, the similar draft as uh, from game one, I, I don't see how they can lose. I wonder what happened in their second game. I wasn't watching their yeah. game. I was watching the, the no, main. No, I wasn't either. Broadcast. I wonder what, what went wrong in that game. It, just got, like, bit, um, it looked like Miz was playing jungle Cho'Gath, so that mm. might that might have had a little bit of something to do with it. They might have banned out his Hecarim. <laughs> he ran out okay. of options. I, I would say that's probably a, a big part of what happened. Yeah. So they must have banned Teemo? Sorry, what was that, Peckies? Okay, we're going to look at Team oh. Miz versus e stats, so this is what went down in the last game. Craziest, like... 25k damage on the Heimerdinger, and then it looks like on Team Miz, there was just, uh, Russell and Simply, it looks like they did okay in their lanes, and then the rest of the map struggled a little bit. Two That's and nine gap. bot lane. Mm. 5k damage on the Cho'Gath jungle as well, not ideal. Yeah. Definitely not ideal. <laughs> <laughs> Less than the Soraka is probably not what you're aiming for when you play jungle. Oh, but, I yeah. didn't even I didn't even notice that. Look, Soda Poppin Stop did me. similar amounts of damage in, in his game and they almost won. So who that knows? is true. That is true. Mm -hmm. Just buff jungle. That's all I'm saying. Right. I don't know about that. It's weak. Dom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's weak. Exactly. I feel like you just you just always say that, Dom, no matter like what the meta is like. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's just like with the mental abuse the junglers suffer, we deserve some compensation. Like, let's just get get our role at the top again. I, I don't I don't know about that. They deserve okay. the mental abuse. <laughs> don't you play? Wait, don't you play a little bit of jungle, Sanch? I play a bit of everything, but I don't know. Junglers are by far the most delusional players, in my opinion. Junglers. And ADCs, no what? offense, you know, to the two of you, but you, you guys just need to seek help. It, it's sad. Okay, yeah, yeah. Top laners definitely don't need to seek help for other things. No, okay. I feel like top, top laners, laners are, are the worst. Top no, laners don't are... you agree? Top laners are like the worst. Yes, no. 100% just look agree. At Twitter. I used to be on League Twitter. I just, I remember so much shit. I don't want to bring that up. Like what? Okay. Bring it up. Yes. No, Emmy, yes. please. No, no. Emmy, um, bring it up. Go ahead. Hey, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. That's all I'm going to say. Exactly. I cannot echo that enough. That is, that is the perfect way to say it. If you know, you know about top laners. <laughs> if Jesus. you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. We're, pr I think that what's happening right now is we're getting all the players into another custom match. Oh, they've loaded in. We're ready to go. Okay. Sanch, Beautiful. Dom. Good luck. Excited to see you cast this game. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Mr. Dominique. Okay, Mr. Flowers. Let's let's hear no, it, man. No, no. That's not me. That's not me. We're just gonna we're just gonna go through it. You know, we're gonna wing it. Um, you know, we're no Flowers and Zyrene, but we'll try our best. We got the Nasus ban. Obviously, okay. we're very scared of the. Uh... Actually, it wasn't Nasus that was played. Uh... On Miz's team, it was the other team that ended up picking Nasus, wasn't it? Or am I no, Miz, Miz played Nasus. It was uh, Simply's Nasus. He actually won off. It was Simply's game. Nasus. Yeah, he he was popping off, cracking skulls. Yeah. Uh, so they're gonna get rid of that. Okay, Miz banning the Hecarim from himself. That is mind games right there. I love it. Interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's a pick that I think is gonna be really contested in this game. It's gonna be the Vagar because. Janet plays a ton of Vagar, and then mm -hmm. in the first game we watched, it, Russell was actually smurfing on the Vagar himself, so I feel like this pick is going to be crucial in this draft. I wonder if one of the teams bans it. Yes. And I'm not sure that there's an answer for Vagar in, uh, like, at this level of play where he just gets to get away with so much and, and scales into, a, like, a late-game monster. What do you even pick into that? I don't even know what to pick into it in high elo. Like, this champion right. is just absurd. Like, it, yeah. it just always scales. You see it in LCS, like, it feels like it wins there, too. I mean... Ooh. It's gone. Okay. It's gone. They just got rid of it completely. Russell Damn. pulling in a ban. I, I respect that. Okay. I mean, he did, from the screenshot we saw, he did look a little bit weaker on the Annie, so I could understand maybe putting him there, which I guess mm -hmm. is his backup. And I think this is Myths Darius. Oh, is Myths that... Darius. Yeah, he's kind of known for, I guess. Damn. Mm -hmm. The myth Darius, okay. I, I can't say I've seen that I like the sound of before. it. No, me neither, but I, I, it, it has a nice ring to it. All right. So, I mean, w what's left up? You have the Garen that's left up right now. Right. Surprised that Nick Pollum's Jinx was banned by their team. It felt like they've been uh, 
pretty successful. It's like they banned out all their champions that they're actually good at. That's, yeah. that's an interesting strategy. It's a weird one. And also a little bit of disrespect. We're just leaving every uh, champion that Miz plays open. I feel yep. like it's such an OP strategy to just ban them out because as we saw last game on Cho'Gath or any champ that he doesn't really play, it's just a hopeless case. Bro, weren't you hyping up his Warwick like two games ago? Yeah, but he he has a Warwick. That's what I'm saying. You should ban the Warwick, ban the Teemo, ban the Garen, ban the Hecarim, okay. and then it's a 4v5. All right, all right, I can see that. Is right? it a support? Is it a support Morgana here? Uh, it, it has to be. All right. And then Annie sure. coming in for Russell once again. Mm. I like that. So, Cutie Cinderella, I know she used to be a Jinx one-trick pony. I don't know if she's still a Jinx one-trick, and that's why the ban came in. It looks like she's going to be on Ash if she is playing AD carry. I believe she's still playing AD carry, so... Maybe a little yeah. bit of inspiration from XUC's performance. Yep. That's the first yep. time I've seen an Ash be useful, I think, in, in years. <laughs> okay. Very impressive. An extra filthy. Wait, who is extra filthy? Do we actually know what, what player that is with this ID? I'm not sure. I have, I have no idea, but the Nunu coming in. Oh, that's Will Neff, apparently. Oh, that's Will. You know, Will is the homie. He's Will awesome. Act Will's the only person that's, that remembers the Gragas E flash. He, that was the first thing he ever said to me. I was just like, holy shit, bro. Like, you I actually. Mean, that's, that's just the highlight that? of your career, isn't it? That's literally my peak. After yeah. that, it's all been downhill. Now I'm casting this yeah. tournament with you. Like, yeah, it's... it doesn't get much lower than this. Yeah. Will, Will, is, uh, <laughs> Will is based. Yeah, he's awesome. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just saw someone call me an actual antique. So, yeah, I'm wow. really motivated to not get this channel banned. <laughs> um, please, man, please. Okay, okay, it's whatever. It's fine. We want to host another one of these eventually. <laughs> well, I mean, look, I'm, I'm telling you, this is the way that you get big on Twitch. We get one ban in 30 days. You oh, come true. back. Oh, you my God, we all missed you. Like, and then yep. you just get a three, uh, a 30 day vacation. You just say, oh, I couldn't stream. I really wanted to stream, but unfortunately I couldn't. And then you just get 30 days off. It's perfect. Um, you know so much. I could learn from you. Like old and wise. That's what they call me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Heisa. Okay. A little bit That's, AP heavy so far. Yeah. Very AP heavy, but um, could be a traditional, like, old school Kaisa ADC build. Where they stray away a little bit from the AP path and just go full um, Kraken and everything. Okay. But, I could see that. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of Kaisa these days. Yeah. I think that people are just bored with playing Jinx and Aphelios every game. Yeah, Jinx, Aphelios, and Zeri, it's just very boring. Yep. So now we have the Kaisa coming in, but it's normally used as an AP, like a poke champion. Yes. Okay, so Warwick is banned. Oh no. No. That's that's why you gotta get the priority on the on the one tricks. But oh, still Jesus. got the the Garen open. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a Garen jungle here. I mean, it can't be that no, hard, right? I mean, Garen jungle actually did get buffed to the point where it is possible. But I feel like it, it's viable. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, please, God, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. God. Why? <laughs> Not the Kha'Zix. <laughs> I don't think it's Miz knows lost. what Kha'Zix does. Hell no, he doesn't know what Kha'Zix does. He just doesn't right. want to play Cho'Gath. Okay. What if he thought that Kha'Zix was Cho'Gath? Because that's a real possibility. Holy shit, wait, because they are both Void characters. They're Void and they got like two names. Okay. Oh. Oh, is it a Kha'Zix top? Wait a minute. We can win. This or they could be an swapping. insane pocket pick. Because Kha'Zix top was a thing for a little bit. I don't know if you remember with Comet, where he would just poke you down and heal from his W. Um, on the minion wave. Yeah. Have you ever played with the uh, Nidhog jungle Kha'Zix with Comet and W evolve? I've played with his E evolve and he just likes to jump around and then lose the game. Um, but yeah, no, a lot of different Kha'Zix builds. It's definitely an interesting pick here. But I, I wonder if they're going to... Oh, it, so it, it is going to be Kha'Zix jungle. Okay. So... So Miz is going top lane. It's a roll swap. Yeah. I like that. All right, all right. So it's gonna be simply, I I presume, on the Kazakh jungle. Not but bad. we we haven't we haven't addressed the the Vi top. Comp. Yeah, is that a Vi top or is that a Nunu mid? Uh, Oriana top. Not really sure. I feel like it's just a Vi top, 
and then everything else would just slot into its natural role. We've mm -hmm. definitely got some uh, some interesting ones. Looks like yeah. the teams are really pulling out their their secret strategies for this crucial <laughs> game. Yeah, this is a bust win, so they're just really putting it all on the table. Um, yeah. It's gonna be a banger. I can feel it. I like that, uh, <laughs> that background. background? Is. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. Jesus, that's some motivation right there. I'm getting a report. He's got to do it for her, man. Yeah. Who did? So it is a Hail of Blades Vi top. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're already in. Um, very interesting. Interesting. I mean, I think producers might have to change uh, the stream. Remember, no restreaming of Cutie Cinderella stream could get us in trouble for sponsors. Mm. They will 100% try to... There we go. Ah, oh, thank God. <sighs> Much better. Close one. <laughs> Close one, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, all right. So Will Neff, wait, so he is a jungle main. I know that. Mm -hmm. The Nunu jungle coming out. I feel like Nunu is one of those like great champions for a game like this because you can just like you don't have to worry about jungle pathy or anything. It's just you have your W up, you go and you gank a lane. And when yep. you're playing with people that are going to be trying to just play their lanes, probably not tracking the jungle oh, the most. Miz, what are you doing? Oh, no, he is just AFK. Blows his flash right away. Will there be a follow up? Myth follows up with a flash. That's a flash from Will as well. And Holy they end up getting first blood on the Ash. Miz gets caught sleeping. That's the most respectable thing I've ever seen. The flash auto attacks from it. Vi and Nunu just beating yeah. his ass. Like, let's Amazing. go. Cutie flash as well. Okay, so three flashes. Mm -hmm. that, that was incredible. And we're going to get a replay here on this. Uh... Okay, this is an insane replay. This is... Mommy! Oh my Complete purchase. Wait. <laughs> what is going on? I... I heard I heard so, someone call her mommy. I'm pretty sure. Uh -huh. Well, there, there's your replay. Oh, she's All gifting right. a, a hundred subs. Okay. Wait, to Russell? To Russell, I guess. A, is that a payment? For the win? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is that is that a payment? Oh, bro. Oh, she oh paid for God. first pick. We're being told. Um, a okay. hundred gifted. Like that I is... knew, win trading was like pretty rampant in North America, but this is At a little bit absurd. High. Yeah, this is this is getting out of control now. <laughs> It's just shameless. <laughs> Absolutely shameless. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the words. Oh, okay. uh, we got another replay. We got another replay, except it's not a replay. This is live. This okay, we replay for oh, production. They, they my 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 brain is <laughs> is melting right now. Holy shit, I'm having a Peppa meltdown. Okay, so that that's actually a pretty smart gang from Will, if you think about it, right? Yeah. Like they blew the Garen's flash, and then he yeah. level two gangs top, knowing that the flash is down. Pretty five head. That's what I like to see. Jungle intelligence, smartest, best looking, highest IQ, youngest players in the game. Yes. Other than the last part, this is all true. <laughs> okay. Tried to sneak that one in. I yeah. Didn't work. Not having it. No, sir. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. Happens, bro. Bot lane activity here. I'm not really sure how this 2v2 works. This is kind of a... Watch for the I feel like anti-synergy yeah, with the Kaisa Morgana, but I guess it could work later on when, when Kaisa gets her W upgrade because she just gets guaranteed... Um, you know, W hits once the Morgana Q lands. Yeah, and I don't think Soraka was banned, so I think that this might have been a Soraka angle again. Soraka pretty good into Janna, just heal yep. up all the poke that Janna doesn't land, so definitely could have been that. Or the Sancho v. Sona. Right. I could have seen all of it. Okay, here's the question. has How does Cutie have 9 CS? Because I swear, since we've been looking here, she hasn't got one. Oh, uh, well, she... She's kind of just getting poked down by this Kaisa. MP's really putting down the pressure, uh, landing those Ws. Okay. And uh, holy shit, I thought that was me for a second. Uh, <laughs> you thought that was you? All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, I just looked at the screen and got a little confused. But oh, uh, Will Neff with an. I mean, he's all over the map. This guy is all over the map. Look, it's just jungle diff every this game. This is man. a jungle kingdom. It's just absolute kingdom for Will Neff here. Wow. That's what I like to see. Uh, the synergy all across the board. Now he's going back to his jungle. Is he going to actually keep on farming? He can at this low HP he because can. of his Q. Yep. And we are back to Cutie Cinderella missing more CS. Perfect. Yep. Drunken Hunter, thank you for the five gifted subs. Okay, okay. Giving him the shout out. That's what I like to see. 
Calling for the help? This is, see, this is what I need out of my supports. Supports coming to help me do, oh my God, he's gonna go down. No, no, okay. Oh, almost pulled a miskiff in game one. Holy, you think but he's just doing that to, to taunt? He's just, he's, he's just, just trying to the I mean, he is a, he is a, he's a showman. Okay, I, you know? I, I believe that this was intentional, guys. Yeah, that, it's just what he does. Man, how come the the other casters they get the fifty minute banger back and forth, constant and we fighting? Get this. <laughs> we get people dying to the jungle camps on cooldown. Like, what is going on? I mean, jungle is hard, so you can't really blame them. It is. It is true. He's probably oh. the, the hardest part right here is him having to deal with his teammates verbally abusing him while he's trying to do the golems. <laughs> That's unironically the toughest part of jungle. Okay. I mean, Miz is really far ahead in experience, it looks like. Didn't, yep. didn't we just see Garen at level four? Oh, no, uh, he just at level five, but he's basing yep. right now. He's going to miss a ton if he actually recalls, but he doesn't. Yeah, Cancels the wave state will lane. not allow him to base right now. I like that Myth recognizes it and does not yeah, decide to push. Okay. This is this is good stuff. Make sure you watch your I mean, yeah. top lane is more about wave management than anything. Yep. So... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not I'm getting like arrested. Seeing you're out of myth. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just saying, like, those are two things that top leaders have yeah. at <laughs> the top of their minds at all times. <laughs> Take it away, Sam <laughs> Jimmy. Um, so, <laughs> as I was say. saying. Will sitting on 1,500 gold here. I mean, you just got to wonder, when is it that you're going to have enough, man? Just just go buy some items. Right, right yeah. Need some items. Probably picks up the Bobby Cinder here. Some boots. Yep. Oh, I don't have no. Oh, and he flashed. Oh, wait, hey, I, I thought I was joking with the not getting Emmy banned earlier, but who knows? No, you're you're going for it. I respect it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was, we're really spending it at this point. Oh, My God. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's outside <laughs> <I don't, mid. laughs> Did you see that flash though? Like, okay. I saw the flash. Everyone's cheering me on in chat, saying, "Okay, Sagebrush, nice flash, man." Guys, that is not me. It's <laughs> not him. This guy's playing significantly better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. A little bit of bot lane POV now. We're just all over the map. I kind of like this. This is more active um, than game one, definitely. We're getting definitely a little more bit active. Of, yeah, I'm liking this game. The pace. Yeah, the pace. The, action. Is the, the Nunu just ganking all over the map. We haven't seen mm -hmm. much of the Kazik so far, so I wonder when if yeah. he's just power farming or if he's gonna do dragon at six. What the plan is over here? Yeah. Okay. So farming bot. I'm starting to look at both comps. I'm trying to think about who's gonna scale better. I feel like this uh this left team is is, is looking pretty good though. Like having mm -hmm. a Janna in a game like this, I feel like it's super nice. Got the Oriana as well. Yeah. So we'll have to see if like they can do something mid, potentially an Annie and Kazix gank. Oh, but Will Neff, it's just a jungle diff every time. Oh, he's just going for it. Okay, I tried. Maybe that'll confuse him. some of his letters. Beautiful snowball. Oh, the new new combo. Perfect. Looking to level we, up the ability too. I love that. Yep. 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 I mean, Will is just all over the map right now. Uh, NMP decides to take a tower oh, shot for no reason okay. and gets killed by Cutie. Yeah. And oh, Cutie and cleanse? cleanses absolutely mm -hmm. nothing. So this is oh, this cleanse is common. Been nice here. Yeah. No, this is common by AD nice. carry players. So I, I always yes. talk about it. Even at the professional level, no one knows if they have cleanse or heal. It's just a mystery. So you just use it as a heal, and then sometimes it heals you, and sometimes you just have that little explosion over your head, and nothing happens. So. Yep. That's the classic right there. Love it. Loving this Absolutely play from Will, it. though. Deciding to take the dragon when he just killed mid and bot lane got a kill as well. So it is a free objective. And on Nunu, a champion that kind of falls off uh, compared to other junglers, you want to be taking those objectives early. Yeah, Love for it. sure. I've I mean, Will has been actually impressive this game. I mean, he ganked yeah. top level two. Then he got a, he got a bot gank off, ganked mid, took the objective. Like it's just yeah. a jungle kingdom. This guy he is, is making too it good. happen. Yeah, this is this is amazing. Yeah. Love what to about this it. top lane advantage though from uh, Myth up two levels on Garen? Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, we're seeing a little what? bit of lane uh, kingdoms now only uh, one level up, but significant health advantage. He's going to be able to crash this wave. I think he's going for a Bork here on on he's... Vi. I don't. I've never seen that before. Okay, Bork Vi. I mean, look, he he can build whatever he wants when he's when he's winning the lane like this. Wait, what? Women's it's a a shield bill. Nah, that would be that'd be too crazy. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I, I wonder if Miz actually knows what Fi does. Like, has he ever played against this champion? Uh, I mean, he. I I remember him jungling against it as Warwick, but when I guess when you jungle against the champ, you don't directly 
like interact with it until maybe mid game. So he probably doesn't know what Vi does exactly. Okay. Janet stealing the cannon down here. Nice. Very nice. That's classic. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Oh, this could be Eclipse, actually. Yeah, that that is true. This could be Eclipse. Ooh, Eclipse. Ooh Miss silencing the Vi Q. Oh my god, Myth trading back. Wow. Actually, isn't going out. Oh my god, oh, he's going he might in. be able to pick up the kill here. Miz with the ignite. Oh, he flashed away with he the guy dead. He's dead to minions. No, that is a Miz solo kill. <laughs> that is Miz getting the solo on Garen. I don't believe my eyes. Followed yep. up by a Rift Herald, so there might, oh, they might be able to get this Miz. whole thing. <laughs> Please not the turret. I'll, I'll take oh. that. Okay, so Myth okay. does have TP, so he can yep. get back up here. And look yeah, at this jungle. Will? Covering the wave, what a homie. I love that. Taking the whole wave because he just he's punishing his top laner for <laughs> misplaying. That is peak jungling right here. <laughs> yep, this is exactly what you have to do. Wait, so, so Myth, Myth did have the TP, decides not to use it, and yep. now he's going to be in a world of trouble. Definitely. Yeah, because... Uh, that's about two to three stacked waves that he missed and gave up a, a kill's worth of gold to Miz. It's going to yeah. be very hard to play the 1v1 now for, for this Vi. And Sancho is in the mid lane getting turret plates on the Orianna. <laughs> That's what you love to see. <laughs> the fact that you can cast this... Oh my god, he's back at it. I'm doing it all. Sand. God damn, the fact that you can cast this well while playing at the same time. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> impressive. Any missing could be running but I doubt it. This is clean uh, mid lane gameplay though, about 9 CS per minute on the Ori, and the uh, good CSing, this this doesn't look like below plot to me, I don't know, I'm just saying. Yeah, and Cutie Cinderella balling here with the 1 CS a minute Ash, that's what you like to see. Now this looks like below plot to me. Okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Going for plates? <laughs> okay, Oriana with the gank top, use the ult. I don't know if mm -hmm. Miz flashed it, or how he got out of it, but... It's a decent timer with the wave crashed in. Uh, Miz is locked in. Look at look at the focus in this man's eyes. I've never seen him this focused before. Yeah, I've, I've never seen him spend this amount of time without glancing at chat before. Yeah, this is this crazy. Is crazy. I, I'm about to get blue. Okay, yeah, that's not even mission. He's not even farming good ones. Like this is next level. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No old 68, so I'm just chilling. I'm gonna keep the push on. Big <laughs> callouts here though. The comms are incredible. On the oh, oh, the ash arrow connects, arrow. but I think Ori just might be too far. Yeah, but there's also up. no no ulti from the Ori, so can't really right. kill. But yep. all right, I mean at least it hit. Yeah. Oh, Ori sitting on a lot Look of gold here. I would just take the reset personally. But um, Will has different ideas in mind going in for the oh. snowball. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, got the flash out of the Kazix. <laughs> Yeah, not bad. Ah, hey, oh, it's worth it. Okay, jungler's forcing bad fights when their laners have a ton of gold. Perfect. Classic. Ooh. He is everywhere. This Will Neff guy is a menace. He's all over the map. I mean, I have i can't remember I, uh, the last time I saw such a jungle kingdom. Yeah, this is like a season five T TLI will dominate type game yeah. right here. Well, no, this it's is... nothing like that. But yeah, this is it's complete domination. Good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's the opposite of that. Stuff. This is watchable. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> this doesn't make me retire. <laughs> Never He's mind. Going again. <laughs> Dude, calm down, Will. Jesus, let him breathe. Oh Take the drink. He's feeling it. He wants that MVP. He he, he wants it. I'm up hell money for the plates. Darren Slow is is on CD now. Man, and that that second dragon's coming up. So you gotta you gotta think now. With all the gold that they are sitting on, they're kind of delaying the the timing at which they can start stacking those dragons. So oh, the if, if I'm on that team, yeah, not, not a bad play. Oh, the kiting! The, we're playing RuneScape standing still. It's turn-based combat. Zero kiting whatsoever. We are just standing still and auto-attacking, but it works in the end and a little dab for the crowd as well. Holy wow. cutie Beautiful. Cinderella. Beautiful play. Taking names. <laughs> Miz gank mid lane. It's not working out so far. Yep. Oh my god, and Will is just back mid. And then they're gonna take Drake oh, afterwards. Too close. <laughs> nice, okay. Yeah, get Very okay. well played, honestly, from uh, Team Cutie Cinderella. Wait, so Cutie's just 6-0 right now? She's just chilling? I, I guess so. 
Oh my god. Well, I mean, it's looking great for them. They have, they're yeah. ahead, they outscale, they have two drakes. Mm -hmm. Doesn't get better than this. Surely nothing can go wrong. Surely. <laughs> yeah, surely they close this game out perfectly. Yeah. We never see throws in the North American region, that's for no, sure. That, come on, come on. They're way too far ahead. Yep. <laughs> They're way too far ahead, and the kills are on the right person. Cutie Cinderella. Let me just look up right now. Uh, Cutie Cinderella, P. Uh, okay, yeah. On a bronze 125 LP, AD Carry, you know that the game is on lock. Yep. Expecting a flawless performance. Gale Force coming in. I like it. And look at her. She looks confident right now. She looks like she, she knows yeah, yeah. That, it's, that it's in the bag. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's gonna waste so much time. I'm gonna make him believe that, like, he's got. Oh, there's a little bit of a play happening in top lane with Kha'Zix. Oh, Miz following up with the flash, and he's got an ult, but he doesn't use it. Oh, oh, the turn for Myth with the outplay. And he is hype. He is feeling himself. Hey, what a beast! Wait, did you you see his comms? He actually had a, a warden. He saw the cast in the bush. Said he was gonna yeah. waste the jungler's time. He baited it. Then flashes into the turret, ults back in, gets the, the double awesome. kill, essentially, if Will didn't just it steal it. Come on and turn me up. I respect that. I mean, Will is just unkillable <sighs> at this point. He the is so arrow. tanky. Doesn't it land the, the E stun or root, and so his ult is wasted, but he eats Tibbers, gets 50 gold and 500 HP from it. And now he's full health again, running at the Kai'Sa. Oh my god. And this Nunu is unkillable. Boys. What a beast. Honestly, Will Neff is the hero of this game, man. He is. I mean, it, it, it's been all Will Neff this game. Jesus. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. Okay, on to the objective. Rift Herald spawned. All so, right, a little bit of a uh, disco doo doo. I, I mean, Herald, but that, it is what it is. It's a, it's a difficult mechanic to pilot. It, it happens, man. He's hitting the yep. champions. Doesn't need yep, to hit that's, the. That's all that matters. Yep. Rift Herald as well. That's right. All good. Yeah, I mean, they have this game just on lock. It's a wrap. I mean, it should be. Surely. Surely. <laughs> okay. So you think he's going to buy boots at all this game? Or you think he's just going to... I mean, he's literally running around the map killing everyone without boots. So does he even need them at this point? Is the I real don't question. think so. He's just been resetting with 3k gold every time. So it's just so tempting to buy a full item. So I can understand where he's coming from, but... Well, all I'm saying, boots are for insecure junglers like myself that want to yes. be fast and are, oh, I'm going to be afraid of, like, the enemy champions. I'm going to have to run away. Like, no, dude, he's a fucking Chad. He's going to W in and kill them. Like, he doesn't yep. care about that shit. What a beast. And I'm loving the comms here, too. I mean, they're just all enjoying themselves, which you, you love to see it. It's not every day that you get to see someone play League and enjoy themselves. Yeah. Oh, my God, what happened to Will's camera? It's, Holy it's, Lord. I think he... Uh, he was too hyped. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I've seen similar camera placement on LCS broadcast, so doesn't matter. Happens sometimes. I have no camera. And uh, he's once again sitting on 3.2k gold, but it just does not phase him. There's no way he's buying boots off this. It's another yep. full item. Yeah. This is this is a respectable camera angle right here. Yeah, he's fixing it. Ah, uh, come on, man. It was perfect uh, the way it was. It's just showing off the guns at this point. All right, okay, man, we get it. You work out. Like, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> oh, he did end up buying boots, but it's Tavi's. Okay. Not sure and I feel a dead about man's plate. <laughs> What's he against? He's against a Garen top, a Kha'Zix jungle, a but Kaisa. But then there's the Annie, the Kaisa, and the Morgana. So I feel like True. tenacity could go a long way. I think he might actually have legend tenacity, though. Hmm. I think that's a, that's a pretty common Nunu build, so potentially he could actually have tenacity anyway, and this could be optimal gameplay. Yep. Turn me up, turn me up. Come on, turn me up. Turning you up. Here we go. This is where they're setting oh. up a play for top, but uh, Myth does not have mana for ult. I, I think he just realized oh that really late. Oh my god, the Nunu is drunk. <laughs> this is a disaster. <laughs> Holy. Miz turning it. Miz might be looking to turn. Oh, just <laughs> rage ults with that full HP. Yep. Not gonna be able to make it happen. Okay, setting a message though. I like the flash yeah. in and then the the ulti on the full HP target. It's That's gonna stuff. let him know. Next time they're gonna think twice about ganking him. Oh, and NMP. He's just running uh, it. 
that, that this was a transaction. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if we see 100 subs come into NMP's chat, you know, sometime why. soon, yeah, that CUNY yeah. Cinderella definitely uh, fix this one as well. And Will having a really hard time hitting these neutrals <laughs> with his snowball. <laughs> right, move, move the camera and hit a bump or something. I don't know. My man's tweaking right now. They're one dragon off soul, and this is an ocean soul on a pretty tanky comp. So you gotta imagine that once they get that, they're, they're gonna be completely unkillable. Yeah, no, it's it's going well. I mean, it's another stomp. Maybe every game we cast is just gonna be a stomp this whole day. Yeah, this is just uh, pretty unlucky. But still I mean, good games. It's it's good to watch. You know, we've we've had yeah. enough enough laughs for for the game at least. Oh my yeah. god, it's a transaction for sure. <laughs> it's such a transaction. Yeah, it is a complete transaction. <laughs> <laughs> he just fucking that was merciless right there. He didn't even try to hide it. <laughs> it was shameless. <laughs> She's us. He's trying to end up on a force within a Excel sheet. Yeah. <laughs> and the Nunu ulti coming in. Yeah. Oh my okay. god, oh. man! <laughs> oh, they surrounded. Oh no, the FF. That's an FF. Is that an FF twenty? Okay. That is an FF twenty. My lord. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> what a banger they, uh, of a game! Yeah. Oh, what? If you see if you see them with a oh, WX dear. name, like next to them next next week, Sanchovies, you know you know what's going right. on. Right? Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. All right, what just happened, bro? I mean, what was that? Uh, oh, we're getting the Wolnef POV. They must be very excited now to go to semis. Wow, I did not expect to see a surrender today from any of the stomp. teams. It was well, it was pretty rough. Mm -hmm. We do know that there was at least one teammate paid off, though. At least one. Yeah, there was definitely two. At least. Yeah. We, we saw what at Nick was two. doing. Yeah. yeah. At least two. Could have been. Could have been more than that. Could have been more. Yeah. I mean, it's unlucky. Uh, they they started so well. This gift team started so well at the beginning of the day, and then. I think yeah, they just, just ran out of ran out of juice and energy as time went on. Yep. It happens. It happens. Yep. Hey, they made money. Look, what was that? If it's a, if it's a thousand sub or two hundred subs, thousand dollars, that's like a third place prize, pretty much. In, that's in this true. Tournament. That's true. Yeah. Not bad, honestly. Yeah, Cutie definitely wanted to secure getting into the semifinals. She will be now. Uh, how many games do we still have going on? We can check out some of those games while we wait for everyone else to wrap up their games before we move into semis. I believe that Pecky's is setting that up. But we don't have that ready yet. Okay, wow, what a game. That was a banger. Yeah, I also was told by our production team that there's over 234,000 people watching this tournament throughout all streams. That's wow. That's crazy. That's like <laughs> more than LCS finals normally, unironically. Yeah, <laughs> that is. Oh god, Jesus. are variety streamers of Twitch gonna become the new LCS? I mean, unironically, this tournament feels like what watching Pro League used to feel like when it was just like fun, you knew all the players, like games weren't so stale and rigid all the time. Like I've I've enjoyed this so far. I've been laughing so much watching this tournament. Oh, and here we That's have good time. the stats from the last game. Okay. Oh, yep. That's a PayPal gap in the AD carry department. If wow. I've ever seen 10, one. Zero 5 on this ash. <laughs> the zero six zero. Carry. Yeah. Carrying she did her carry. Own. She really did carry. Okay, wait, so what, what items were actually coming in for this uh Kaisa here? So it looks like we've got a Muramana being completed, but then we got a random recurve bow in there. I think that's for the Nasher's tooth, but uh um, ah. mm. he almost got there. He almost got there. If this game lasted close. like thirty more minutes, maybe he would have got there. It's just the thought that counts. Wait. And then he's got the, the hammer thing. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It, it, he was paid off or something. Yeah, I don't know. No, 100%. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Wait, are, aren't you supposed sure. to be like as the host, you know, be like, oh, of course he wasn't paid off. You know, like it well, was this, just... this is not this is not a, con a conventional tournament. OK, well, while we're waiting, we're going to watch Team Buddha versus Team Ez fan the end of their game. We're going to catch up and see how it's going over there. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a complete stomp. Right into the action. And uh, I gotta say, I'm tired of Akali, man. 
This champ is so disgusting. Oh my God, <laughs> it's actually good against most of your champs too. It's that's the problem. It just destroys my entire champ pool, and I don't know. It's got a thousand dashes, got pure uh, invis, and it's, it's just not fun to play against. Just yeah, remove unless, it. Unless you play a tank, unless you play like a Gragas or a Scion, and you just beat her with grasps, and she can't do anything. That's when it feels really good to play into Akali. Yeah. At least ending. Oh, uh, looks oh, no. like they are. XGC popping off again on the Ash. I oh guess my this God. is his, uh, his comfort. Is Ash just too strong right now? We had uh, Cutie Cinderella There's so much Zero. Ash this tournament, huh? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it is a classic champion. Yeah. Did you ever play with XQC when he uh, when he was playing League? No, I I only started playing ranked in like Season 7. Oh, uh, okay. I think he was Master in like Season 5 or something like that. Yeah, this guy typed so much. I loved it. Really? He was the homie. Yep. Apparently he was uh, really good. Because back yeah, then, I mean, Master, it wasn't, you know, yeah, it's, it's not, not like what, it, what it is today. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, if Master, you Master was like, it's like top 700. It's like pretty much the equivalent of GM now. Yeah, crazy. And look at the spacing here. Solid. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. He's got the mechanics. Now, that's the thing about when you watch XUC play. Like, you can tell that he still is mechanically good. Oh, and we've got an error. And air. we're gone. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did, did XUC dodge all the... The I guess he did. He's alive. Yeah. All right. Okay. Survived. Got it I out. I thought he was dead for sure, but it looks like they're ending the game now. Hey, man. These are just twenty-two minute games, man. So yeah. after after we saw Team Soda Pop and versus Team Buddha, if we if we know that Soda Pop and wins this series, those two teams are looking kind of like the favorites for the whole tournament. Yeah, I, I agree. When you look at all of Team Buddha, like there's no player on it that's a weak link. You know, like some of the players have, some of the teams have bronze players and like silver players, but I'm pretty sure like everyone on this team is like at least gold level. So. Yeah, this team is stacked. And I mean, if everyone, like everyone, like you said, is at least gold level, but there are some players that are a lot better than that, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. I mean, XUC is easy diamond if he grinded the game. Same yeah, with I agree. And Blau, Blau. as well. Yeah. Yep. 100% agreed. Okay. Well, that's going to be it. Oh, we casted that one for a solid minute and a half. Yep. Good shit. Good shit. It's the classic right there. Hey, do we have games still going or are we ready to move on to semis after seeing the standings? Okay. There is another game still going Tectone versus Soda. We're going to go watch that soon. And then after, we're going to do semis and then finals. And then Let's hope we'll Soda's having a more. better game than last. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. It's been stomps across the board. Okay, we're getting yeah. into the game now. They have it ready. This guy just has donations on in his ear, flaming him <laughs> while he's like, what a, what a respectable man. And chat overlay over all the information in the top right. Yep. Holy, what a beast. He's just playing Trundle with a Titanic Hydra. Trundle into the least it looks like. Mm -hmm. Soda, I, I like a lot that, you know, he got stomped in the first game, went 0-13, and 13, but had the confidence to pick Lee Sin again. Yeah, I, I like that. It, yeah, okay. Next time I pull out Lisa on your team, I go 0 13. I'm pulling it out the next game. No, as well. I said I like that from him. You know, I don't like that from you. <laughs> okay, all right. So, what he gets in your games, he can do well, it. He, okay. I, don't, I don't think he will. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you heard it here first. If you go 0 13 in Sanchovi's games, just run it back, and he'll be really happy to be streaming. I mean, that's what people do anyway, it seems. Oh, Soda with the, a little bit of a sneaky flank here. He's looking for the kick angle. I want to see the mechanics. Yeah. Pull it I, out, I would love to see a little insect. I want to see Mid the Chinese jump. insect. Ward hop. The flesh. Yep. yep. The flesh. Ward hop buffer. Kill shots flying all over right now. Not a single one of them connecting. That's fine. Happens. Is that S fan on the kale? It's got to be. Wait. No. S fan is not in this game, I don't think. Is he? Who's on the kale? Uh, is it. I mean, this. This is a VTuber game, right? I'm gonna flash oh, is it? Isn't this the... Can I just flash yeah, this is the... This is Tectone and four VTubers. Okay. Nah, I'm, I'm just surprised to see Kale. It's such a... Like a niche pick, but it's such a good champ. Okay, no. Okay, number one, it's broken, and you play it, and you it's can't... It's not broken. Anyone. It is it's so broken. It's literally... 
It, how can Kale ever function in the top lane? She can't. Uh, okay, okay, so let me tell you, every game in North America goes to like 30 minutes. No one okay. ends these games cleanly. So how right. is Kale not just broken when you get to this point every time, regardless? Well, that's not the Kale player's fault. Okay, so it's just, so it's broken, but it's not actually broken. It's just Yeah, one of those it's things. only broken because everyone sucks. Ah, yes. This is mental yeah. gymnastics. I told nope. you, Dom, top laners. Holy nope, this shit. Is yes, this is top laners no, are no, ill. No. Yes. <laughs> Like they should be tracked for multiple reasons. Like something is wrong with them. <laughs> oh my god, okay, relax, relax. If you know, you know. Oh, These guys on a list. Mm -hmm. What kind of list, Dom? Oh, now you want to get banned. Oh, so you really want to get banned. Yeah, okay. No, I'm, I'm just testing the waters. I'm just seeing how, if you're going to live up to your promise or not. I don't know. Whatever list it is, they should be far away from schools. So that's all I'm saying. <laughs> that's, that's the list. <laughs> like, all right. Okay. What do you want me to say? You're setting me up for this. Like, you really yeah, okay. want to be banned. Okay, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord. Okay. Was that our last game wrapped up? I think so. I'm yeah. Okay. I'm waiting to hear from production so we can move forward. Okay. They said to stall. They're getting the graphics updated. We are about to move into semis. They're gonna also be a best of one, and then we'll do finals, which I believe are gonna be a best of three. Uh, Ez fan has joined the channel. Ez fan? Hey. Hi. Uh, I was just saying, hey. How's it oh, going? <laughs> what's, yeah. what's up? What's up, Ezfan? You guys you have doing a fantastic job so far. Thank you, Ez fan. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, did you guys just see our game? Uh, yeah. Uh, we no, well, I don't we're, think we. We're, no. Yeah. Been, have these guys, have these scumbags been banning away your kale every game? Oh well, here here's the truth. N none of these people are are any good at the game, right? I mean, if they were, yeah. then they wouldn't be resorting to dirty tricks and dirty <laughs> tactics. You know, that's just what it comes down to. Um, do I need them? Do I need kale to win? No. Do I want kale to win? Yeah, because it's about the style. You know, it's about the finesse, the physique. You know, going in there with charisma. And really winning games with, you know, just with a little bit of extra spice, a little bit of extra Tonys on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Tony. yeah. So uh, yeah. so what is your record right now without the Kale? Um, Currently? We've won every game. Curiosity. Oh, <laughs> okay. Interesting. Yeah. We've heard otherwise. Mm. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, I went out there and, um, I mean, man, we, we, we whooped Buddha's team's ass. Let me tell you. Stomped them? I mean, just... Well, yeah, look, I'm saw. smoking that Buddha pack. I'm smoking that Sakuno pack. I'm smoking mm -hmm. that Blastoise pack. The whole thing. XUC <laughs> pack. I, every pack there is, I'm smoking it all. That's what we like to hear right there. Uh huh. Okay, we're going to welcome back Zyrene and Captain Flowers for this next part of the bracket. Okay, we're gonna look at the standings here right now. Oh, oh, never mind. We're just all gonna be together like a family. Hey guys, what's up? Hey guys. Whoa. It was nice. It was nice flowers just chilling. Yeah, 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 you're on camera. Flowers, flowers. <laughs> flowers, you're in the wrong channel. <laughs> Get bring your him, bring up him up here. here. He's in the wrong <laughs> voice channel. Oh flowers, no. I can't hear you. Wrong voice okay. channel. Okay, flowers, hello. Okay, we can hear you now. Channel. I was yeah. in channel two. I was supposed to be in channel one. Shit. Okay, <laughs> back. Okay, so our standings now, Team Buddha 3-0 and Team Erob 3-0. Wow. Team Soda and Team Cutie both 2-1. and one. Those are our top four making it into semifinals. And, uh, okay, we're just not going to comment on the other teams. Okay, so this is what the bracket's going to look like for exactly. semifinals. Team Buddha versus Team Cutie and Team Erob versus Team Soda. And then we're going to go on to a best of three finals, and we're also going to have a bronze match. For third and fourth place, which is a best of one. But the bronze match is not on the show. I asked about this behind the scenes because I also didn't know this. I've got, I got to inform you guys in Twitch chat. The bronze match is happening at the same time as the finals, and we're watching the finals the whole way through. So the bronze match will be off stream, and then y'all are going to get to vote on which one of the two semifinals you want to watch. So 
Pick the one that's more pog. Pick the one that's yeah. probably yeah. going to be closer. Because poor Dom and Sancho over here just been having to watch these stomps all day. Like, they already put a thread <laughs> on Reddit about me making fun of TSM earlier. So now I got to do it again. Dom and Sancho just watching TSM TV yeah. out here. Give them a real matchup to watch. We got to get these guys some, some action. And I just want to say for clarification, the bronze match is like a third place match, not like a replay of TSM playing. So it's it's not a, oh, a no, actual dude. bronze player oh, match. Lord. It's just third place is what you guys should be thinking of. Yes, yeah, third third and fourth place. You and me are gonna get a cease and desist from Reggie or something, bro. We're gonna. Get I mean, <laughs> hey, look, it is what it is. Like half of those are fake anyway. I mean, we saw most cease and desist, and That's true. the same one. Oh my god! Oh, we use the same so much league lore. Hello, oh, where are oh, you god. at? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ! The non <laughs> League viewers are so confused. It's it's if you know, you know. It's fine. Mm -hmm. They know, they know, they know. They're Twitch viewers. They know. <laughs> no, they don't know. I don't think they know. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh. All right. Okay, uh, we have the mods preparing the poll for our semifinal match that's gonna be on the broadcast. Chat gets to vote on which match they would like to see spectated and casted. This is gonna be by Dom and Sanch again, and we're gonna have Flowers and Zyrene in the finals. Okay, it should be popping up any time now. Okay, it's there now. Which team do you want to watch? Cutie versus Buddha or Erob versus Soda? And my poll is stuck on one vote to zero votes. So Ooh. I guess Cutie Cinderella oh. has won. Well, <laughs> let me tell you what, buddy. Cutie <laughs> versus Buddha currently has 75% of the vote. So yeah. it's not much different <laughs> than what you got. So. Okay, while okay. we're waiting, we're going to do a short promo again for something we're very excited about otk spring collection merch coming out march 26 10 a.m central time you can get it at otknetwork.com this stuff is going to sell out very fast so if you're interested in it make sure to be there on time 10 a.m central time yes bat chest exactly <laughs> Exactly. Okay, it looks like 72% Cutie versus Buddha and the poll's about to end in five seconds. So it looks like we're gonna lock in. Team Cutie versus Buddha is going to be our semifinals match on the main broadcast here. Cast by Sanchovies and Dom. Very exciting stuff. All right, good luck, everybody. See you later for finals. Bye. Yep. Okay, see you, flowers. <laughs> All right, are you guys excited for this one? I think I'm that this will be more. Uh, this will be a high octane game. I think. I think that this this game has some of the best players in the tourney for sure. Yep, so we'll it's gonna be some new new gaming. We got two new new mains playing against each other in the jungle. So true. We'll see who gets new new. Are they both yeah. one tricks? They're not. I don't, they're not. I don't think. Right. I don't know. I, I think, think Will is. used. I think Will mm. used to actually like play league. Play league. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. We'll we'll see who gets new new, and if that's the team that wins. Okay, Team Cutie Cinderella, we have Stans, Will Neff, Cutie, of course, Chocobars, and Myth. They've been doing amazing so far, 3-0 so far. Harry, Blastoise, Buddha, XQC, and Saikuno. And I'm sorry, I meant to say 2-1 for Cutie's team. They are currently second in their bracket. Who do you got? Okay. Who do you guys think is going to take this one? I can see... Team Buddha just steamrolling the rest of this and like winning every single game. Wow, that's, zero, that's one way one. to hype up your tour, your tournament. <laughs> 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 well, Honestly, I mean, it's kind guys, of fun to watch, isn't it? Look, all, all I'm saying is you guys shouldn't even watch anymore. Like, it's obvious who's gonna win. Buddha is gonna win, so just just turn it off. You know, yeah, you <laughs> might not even show the <laughs> games on stream. <laughs> Why do you have to <laughs> frame it like that? Just turn it off ourselves. Holy, you asked me a question. I gave my opinion. <laughs> I was that your opinion? You didn't, you didn't dress it up at all, you know, like back your way into the opinion. You just let it just let it all out there for everyone to, to just know I mean, automatically what you're off. thinking. They've been popping off. That's all I'm saying. I expect okay. that it's going to continue. They're on they're on a train now. It's going to continue. All right. Yeah. What about you, got, uh, Dom? Who you got? I, I think I think Team Buddha is uh, going to Oh, wow. It. Same opinion. After wow. You shit on me for my opinion, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, but the thing is, like, if I flamed you for your opinion already, then people forget that it's also my opinion. You know, I just I don't know. They, they don't forget. No. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and you uh, okay. say thoughts. Opinions? I'm going to go for Team Buddha just because there's not going to be any transactions this game. Like, I, I saw mm. some good things out of Will, and I think he could carry if he gets the champ that he wants. And I'm going to be rooting for them as underdogs. But I don't know about that bot side. It would so be hype yeah. if they ended up winning. It would be yeah. hype. Yeah, I yeah. don't know if Cutie has anyone on Team Buddha's side that she can buy out. It's yeah. a possibility, but not 
not very likely exactly i think it's tough they got a bunch of huge streamers on that team you know like you think mm -hmm. you think 100 subs is going to do it for xqc like maybe 100 thousand subs like yeah. <laughs> then you're talking i think he i think he wants those bragging rights though i don't think he cares i mean i don't think a lot of the people in this care about the prize pool too much they just want to be able to say that they won and beat all the other streamers yep it you is what it, it is I mean, XUC didn't do the most winning in Overwatch, so this is his time to actually... Oh my goodness. Okay, we're bringing <laughs> that up now. <laughs> Holy Dom just goes... He just goes everywhere. No, it's There's fine. No it's fine. Look, XUC <laughs> was banned from Overwatch. I was banned from LCS. It's, it's all right. good, you know? Like, it, we yeah, were just okay. victims of the system. Uh, right, right. Vic victims, right. Yes, right. Okay. victims. Okay, Dom, victims, sure. Yes. Part of, like, growing miserable and old. You just kind of... He, he's <laughs> aging like a raisin, so he's taking it out on everybody else. Sure, I got the ring. Oh like the camera, God. the camera's far away. You can't tell how much gray hair I actually have, but like, it's kind, of, it's kind of uh, upsetting. You know, you look at the mirror, you're like, Jesus, like, I really am old. <laughs> oh oh wait. Lord. Oh God, Dom. <laughs> you, you invited me here. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You signed up for this. This is exactly what I wanted. What do you mean? I feel like this is like the perfect League of Legends player setup. The vibes are perfect. Like this is exactly what I expected and All what right. I wanted. All right, that that's perfect. That's good to hear. We'll keep on bringing yeah, like, it. You're you're one of the faces of league for me, Dom. Like you just you just represent what a league player is or what what they should be. I think. Okay, nice. Yeah. Wow, that's that's the worst thing anyone's ever said to me. Yeah, <laughs> you're that's yeah, you're there. welcome. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Okay. Like, it looks like we're getting my... into the game of. I'm um, go on. No, I was just going to say, when my teammates tell me to to end my life, that's honestly nicer than what you just said. So Jesus, like, okay. We'll wow, okay. okay, um, we're, we're gonna get into the game on that note. Perfect note to get into our next league game. Okay, actually, we're waiting on one player, and then we're gonna get into champ select. We're gonna look at the draft for Team Cutie versus Team Buddha. Wow, this, uh, this event is going great. Yes. Huh? Why would I say that? <laughs> I just, I think it's going great. I mean, I think we're ready to rival LCS, honestly. I think that the sponsors are going to be rolling in after hearing all these comms and casting today. Yeah, that's... Yeah. <laughs> that's well, definitely They're going to be lighting up. <laughs> they're going to be very excited. Get sponsored oh, by the Lord. FBI after this one, maybe. <laughs> that's the only one you're going to have. Well, come on, doll. Okay, you started this. You started this. Oh, my God. Okay, we don't have any of those players in, in, in this tournament. Oh, yeah. Lord. True. Right? Yeah, right. True. Right. That is fact. <laughs> Sanch, how you doing over there, man? <laughs> I'm good. Over. I'm just enjoying the show. You guys are going at it. I don't, I don't have to do anything. This is cool. <laughs> he's, just, he's just watching. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Oh, my goodness. Apparently, we have 400k viewers on the league category. Oh, my goodness. My God. Games. That's more than oh. LCS and LEC combined. <laughs> OTK. It's very sad. Oh, OTK my Lord. Championship Series. Can't OTK wait for it. Championship Series. Oh, Lord. Okay, looks like we're loading into game for picks and bans now. Dom Sanch, take it away. Excited to see you cast again. Good luck. Me. Have fun. Awesome. Let's get it. All right. So, first things first, we got the Ash ban coming in. We saw that XQC had been playing quite a bit of that. Also, yep. Cutie had played that in the previous game. So, high priority taken away. I like how these teams have strategized for this very moment. Yeah, the Alawi ban coming in as well. Um, and for Buddha's team, the Darius taken away from Myth, the Hecarim taken away from um, Will, I guess, and the Vagar taken away from stands okay. so the Nunu is still up right now that's yep. going to be crucial mm -hmm. in this game the twitch ban from xqc so they're targeting xqc's champion pool a bit but that yep. means that giga chad harry is going to get the Nunu here which was definitely highly coveted in such a matchup yes so as a jungle extraordinaire what would you say is a great counter into Nunu? like what, what would you look at uh, up here. Having human teammates is normally the best oh, yeah, counter to Nunu, mm. from my experience, that don't die to ganks. But, you know, if not, you have a couple options. You can go the route where you try to just, like, out farm it. You could go something like a Karthus. I don't know if we'll be seeing that from, from, uh, extra filthy from Will Neff here. But, yeah. I mean, you could also try to match the ganks. 
We'll have to see. I mean, it seemed like before he was a Hecarim and a Nunu player, so I don't know what his third option is. I don't know if he's played anything else in this tournament so far. Hey, if this set gets locked in, I'd love to see something like a Trundle from uh, from Will, where you can just pillar the Snowball away and, and ult one of the two tanks and yeah, take all their work. stats away. That would be a great pick. I could see it happening, too. It works well, too. You have long-range AD carry like Jinx that can poke off the pillar. Yep. Really nice. I wonder where this set is actually... Is it just going to be a top lane Buddha set? It probably will be, yeah. Or it, okay. I mean, it could be set mid, but I'd be very surprised to see that. All right. So the Vi coming the in from mid. Vi. Yep. The Eclipse Vi. What a beast. Like, who else would play Eclipse Vi top as their main pick when Darius is banned? It's great. Yeah, I, don't know what else I'm, I'm a, I like I'm off meta picks in the top lane. It just spices things up because I feel like it's just such a boring stale meta. Mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm loving this Vi pick here. Which is why you play like Camille and hmm. like Vladimir and all these really off meta interesting picks. Exactly. Perfect. Camille's not meta right now, man. Okay, it's not meta right now. It's only been meta for like the last five years. True. Yeah, because Riot messed up their items. Any whom. Okay, any whom we have the Yorick ban and the Kassadin taken away from Blastoise. Yep. We saw an Orianna last game from Sanchovies here. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> maybe he runs it back. It does not get old. <laughs> but you do. You <laughs> yeah, are no, I, getting old. I, I mean, I'm ready old. Yeah, I'm not getting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take away getting from that, that yeah. statement. Okay, so the Orianna <laughs> ban as well. Yep. Okay, so we're going to have to see them pushed a little bit out of their comfort zone. No Nunu, no Oriana. Let's see what else they play. The Vi could be a flex pick. Probably it just go be. on top, though. Yeah. And the Ari. I'm surprised we haven't seen any Ari this, this entire tournament. Or maybe we have, but just not the game that we've watched. But Ari is just a really, really strong character right now. And she's not really that hard to pilot either. Oh, insta lock. Yeah. On the uh, on the Yasuo, this guy just doesn't care. I mean, this is his comfort, right? And and that's a good matchup for him too. Yeah, it's really solid. Expecting... Not the best into Vi though. Vi is a champion that normally shuts down Yasuo pretty hard. There's no real yeah. like wind walling or outplaying a uh, Vi ult on a Yasuo's face. Yep. Is it on the... Gonna be the Sivir, the Varus, and the Misfortune. Okay. So what is that? Is that a Lux Misfortune bot lane that they have? All right, solid. And dude, look at this guy, man. He's already, is this UGG? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Or what is it? Doing like, all the research. My God. My man like literally is just, he's just straight up sweating for this. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a Comet, press the attack. Wait, no, wait, it's press the attack or Comet? Okay, never mind. He, he doesn't like the Comet. He... Oh, there, there it is. All right, PTA. Going for the auto attacks, and they have dodged. quit out. Okay. No, they didn't. Happens. It's, 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 it's a good thing. It's a real thing. What do you mean? Nice. So I assume that they're just going to repick. Maybe some people didn't own the champions that they're Yeah, uh... something must have gone wrong in the draft. They're probably just gonna run through quickly, just pick what they already had, and then we'll get started. So what do you guys Perfect. think of the draft so far? Uh, I mean, we, oh, we okay, ready. someone didn't have a champion. They are purchasing it right now, and then we'll get into the game. Okay, Riot not providing the creator accounts. Kind of weird, but yeah, right. Yeah, maybe next time. Classic. Okay, what Classic. Myth didn't own Sejuani. He's buying Sejuani. We will redo the draft and then get into the game. Damn, so Will Neff is going to be... Pulling out the Sedge. See, he just your classic tank jungler. Looks like he's playing pretty much bruisers and tanks. Interesting. And those are the like best it. junglers because they, they don't they don't have egos. You know, they don't try to carry games. They don't try to 1v9 it. They'll just play for the team. They're team players. I respect the hell out of Will Neff for that, to be honest. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah. That's a little personal. <laughs> what, I mean, what? Dude, I literally play Sejuani every game. What are you talking about, man? Or do you, no, Dom? Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm, right. Yeah. I mean, Hecarim, Sejuani, pretty much the same champion. They're both animals, kind of. Perfect. No, Sejuani is the woman that hey. rides the animal. But she's what riding. What are you trying to say? Okay, whatever. I, never mind. I should have brought this up with the cosplayer. You know, she's just going to. Oh, answer. shit. Wait, <laughs> like, wait. What does that have to do with anything? I'm just saying, you're going to be like, actually, I've cosplayed Sejuani, and she's, she's actually, the lady on top actually, of the book. Actually, I haven't, but okay. <laughs> 
Oh my lord. You, you could actually do a really good Sejuani cosplay. You could have like uh, Miz be the boar. And you could just be. That's actually a, an idea right there. If somebody comes up with that, they are winning the cosplay contest. <laughs> um, Jesus. Oh my god. Okay. So uh, are we getting into the game, Peckies? Okay. They're back in picks and bands. They're just running through it really quickly so that we can get the game started. Okay, so anytime right. now we'll get started. Perfect. Yeah. I forgot the drafts already, so I can't really tell you who I, I got, but Okay. <laughs> let, let's let's do so yeah. you're gonna have the, the, the boomer memory come in. Okay, so we've yeah. got oh, we've no. got MF Lux uh on one side with set oh, Nunu and what is the mid laner? Yasuo. Right. Yes. So, so that's gonna be the line, team here. A lot of knock up for the Yasuo. I really like not, that. Not much AP damage though. Like Nunu doesn't provide that much. I mean, if the Lux gets strong, that's something, but they are yeah. pretty heavy AD overall. Into a Sejuani could be a problem. Look like some free tabbies. Oh, okay. I think the, the Nunu could go Sunfire. Do a little extra magic damage and then, yeah, play for bot and try to get the Lux ahead so that you get the, the damage going. It's true. And I think they just, will be playing. I mean, they have been playing for bot every single time. We saw those uh, XUC damage charts. Yep. It's kind of been the, the focal point of this team. Yeah, and they, they play for lane with all these supports as well, right? You have like a brand coming in every time, like, you know, brand, Lux, like all these types of champions are just super high damage dealing supports. So pathing to bot, playing for bot, leaving boot on an island top. It's been working so far. Mm hmm. And what was actually the last pick? I don't think we got to see the last... Oh, no, it was Vi. Yes, it was yeah, Vi. Yeah, it was the Vi top. Okay, the Vi top. We'll see how this goes. I mean, I feel like Set, theoretically, would just completely clap a Vi, but Myth was doing pretty well into Garen, which I don't think would be that great of a matchup either, so... Well, maybe Myth just got it. Miz. Okay, but, like, did he get soloed, or did he solo himself? Ah, uh, yeah, that is true. But who's... You know, who's to say that he won't solo himself again against Set? It's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. Could definitely happen. No pressure. Yep. All right. We're going to be loading into game in 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested. To, I'm interested to see if we can have as much jungle pressure coming out of Will Neff as in the previous mm -hmm. game, because Nunu, it's really easy to spam gank, but Sejuani normally needs to farm a lot more and just like it, it takes longer to actually get into your ganks than for a Nunu. So I wonder if he'll be able to have as much of an effect. Uh, on the map early, especially when he doesn't have like a melee in mid or a melee in bot. It's pretty hard to proc the Sejuani stun consistently. So might see like two different win conditions for enemy teams. Like we'll have the top lane for Myth and Will Neff. And on the other side, XQC will probably be path to in the bot lane. Yeah. And if I'm uh, if I'm Will right now, I'm saying... Guys, if we just don't die for the first 10 minutes of the game, like, it, it, this game's really free. But, like, yep. everybody has to be on the same page, because if, like we saw last game, if Nunu gets rolling, he just completely dominates the map. He's everywhere. Bro, is he not buying a... Oh, my God, this is the most alpha thing I've ever seen. He doesn't even have uh, pots. Oh, never mind. There we go. Yep. He remembered them. Perfect. <laughs> and the trinket automatically spawns once he hits the tier 3. Boom. Yep. There it is. That's a tech. Even diamond players don't know that. That's crazy. You know, I, I get um, people in my chat always yelling at me for not buying trinket. Yeah, or like spam pinging you on your yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. That's a classic. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Oh, Psycho. Oh my god. It's a good flash. I these early invades in this tournament. Yeah, they've been going for it like every game. They just yeah. don't care. And they get advantages every single time. Mm -hmm. Kuno getting picked off. That was a good flash. We're not going to drop a ward in that jungle, though. It's confidence. Mm -hmm. Like, if you already know the enemy jungler's pathing to a T, what do you need the ward for? Yeah, I guess that's true. So, honestly, it's the Giga Chad move. Okay, Cutie Cinderella with a refillable pot. Okay. I think she's on her second monitor right now trying to pay someone off. Yeah, she's, I can see uh, it. Not really paying attention, but that's fine. Just trying to figure out what XQC's PayPal uh, address actually is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but actually, Will Neff's team does not know that their red buff is being stolen right now. Yeah. 
pretty rough for Sejuani getting invaded. I mean, Sejuani doesn't really have the ability to like fight Nunu that much early. Like Nunu could pretty much disengage whatever fight he wants. So this is going really well. And most likely Sejuani is just going to end up down camps because of this. Yeah, I mean, this is great. He doesn't even settle for the red. He goes for the race as well. And he's going to be able to get away with it because there's just no vision whatsoever. And Will has no idea. Yeah, so the, the five head move now would be Nunu crossing over into his own red side here and denying yeah. his red side but it looks like he's actually wow he's, he's just, just going for the entire tag. top side yeah. okay man all right never mind <laughs> forget everything i said like fuck what i just said he's, he's just... trying to fuck him over <laughs> all the way okay, okay man he's gonna get a top gank off after this that'd be perfect <laughs> that would be insane motherfucker well, sigma as hell there's a reason his name is Gia chad harry Using the W for like yeah. 20 damage here. I'm also well. sure about that with the wave state of, of Myth here. Oh, Myth. Myth is, his, his seems like he's is not looking too hot. Yeah, it looks like Myth is kind of aware that he could be getting ganked. Yeah, and here comes the Nunu. Snowball coming in, and he's got flash. But well, well played. You. Yeah, very nice. Good angle. Is it? Oh, it's a 2v3. It's a 2v3, and they turn it. Actually, see, you hitting a minion just oh for disrespect. Nah, bro, he's just stacking up his uh, his W. He's making sure oh, that he gets the proc on his W. He's too good. Of course, of course. That's what he's doing. is this going to be a triple kill? He has no flash, so probably not, but... Wow. I mean, that's really good. Two for zero, 2v3 scenario. Oh, well, I mean, sure, surely we won't get to cast three stomps in a row. So I'm, I'm assuming, yeah. I'm assuming that this game is gonna, you know, swing back no. into QD's favor soon. Right, of course. <laughs> there would be no way that it would be that unlucky. I like the D blade start on the Yasuo here. It's very alpha. Ooh, this is actually a really good gank coming in from the yep. Nunu as well. You gotta imagine that's gotta be at flash at least. Yeah, Blastoise can keep on going. Oh. Oh. oh, well, Neff oh, is they, here though. They win this. Yeah, they win this hard, and I think Will oh, Neff has no, no. flash. Oh Will no! Is just in so much pain right now. This true, true. Got all of his camps up. But come on, Sanch, let's be let's be realistic. There's no yeah. chance that we're gonna nah. get another stomp here. So nah, this is not a stomp. Yeah, I'm sure that they can recover now. The the Nunu the Nunu is gonna be up about 11 camps to three by the end of yes. this clear. But once everything respawns, it's actually gonna be higher level. Right on Will Neff's side, and he's yeah. gonna power level over the enemy jungler, be like level six to five, completely carry the game. I'm waiting for it. Oh, oh the W flash. Just a little late. If he had gotten that prediction, that would be an amazing play, but unlucky. Yeah. I mean, when you're on that Buddha, you know, sometimes delays your reactions a little bit. Mm -hmm. Happens to the and best of us. Opting to stay. Bro, this Buddha has, has a, a real chance to turn this. The W? The W is oh. going to take out the Vi. A little triumph proc, and he can really just keep going here, but size not to. I think that was a conqueror angle and just being yeah, as Johnny as ass, but you know, that's all good. Yeah. Going to fix okay. the wave. <laughs> and uh, yeah, surely we're not going to cast three stomps in a row. Yeah, definitely. Surely. No. I mean, this is like right where right where it turns because now there's shutdowns built up and because right. of Riot Games design, there are more comeback mechanics in the game than ever before. We've got objective bounties. We've got champion bounties. The bounties are ridiculous. We've got CS bounties. So mm -hmm. uh, honestly, I'm, I'm thinking that this is actually an intended strategy from Team Cutie Cinderella here. Getting down intentionally early to activate these bounties. Yep. Yep. And then one big payday, one good team fight, cash and everything in your head. That should have that should have went to her 100. She was in range 100. I'm telling you. <laughs> I like hearing XQC rage about the Q not uh, oh, bouncing. I like carry. that though. It's like he, he's uh, up so much, but he's still not satisfied. You know, he he wants more. He wants this yeah. to be a complete stomp. Like he's trying to play as clean as possible. I respect that. Yeah, actually, he's like trying Kuno to. The the Q hits the binding, keeps the E on the floor for the slow effect, and gets a flash right. out of it. Very clean. Clean Lux mechanics. Oh my god, they killed the Janna off that as well. Oh. Okay. Okay. The top lane is looking a little bit doomed too. The set could actually yeah. probably solo dive this Vi if he wanted to. Yeah, this guy easily. Is and worst case scenario, it's a, it's a one for one and Myth is going to miss the wave. all of that wave. Yep. Huge. But let's see if he actually goes for it. I believe in you, Buddha. Come on. Uh, he's just going to back off. Right, it, you playing know it safe. It's... I really like it because you know the game's already over if you think about it. True, true. So why take the unnecessary risk? 
Very I mean, I guess you could say he didn't see the Sejuani, so he didn't want to opt into a dive, potentially trade one for one unnecessarily. Oh, oh. Nunu is here too. Oh my god, Will Neff just like that. Oh, Will Neff is dead. He is, uh, Will Neff is having a... That Bayou landed on the Ari as well. Yep. Oh, and it's a dive and, top. Wow, great roam timer there. Oh my god. Uh, it's nine, it's nine close, it's seven minutes. Close. But, I mean, there's we no way this. that, there's no way that Emery would have us cast three stomps. Like that would just be a waste no. of our time. She wouldn't do that to no. us, so. Yeah, she would I would not I do that. I would yeah. not do that. Thank yeah. You. So this is all part of the script. You're gonna mm -hmm. see an epic comeback in this game. I can't wait. I can't wait to see how it turns. <laughs> Well, uh, Team Buddha right now, pretty far ahead. Yeah. I mean, look, they've been looking really good in some of their matches. I think the the main hope here is Team Soda popping. Maybe Soda picks something other than the Lee Sin. Right. Turns it around. I feel like that game was close. It was definitely losable. Definitely see it happening again. Yeah, the Nunu taking away the enemy Gromp and the blue, the respawn Gromp. Oh, this hurts so much for Wolnef. Really hard it's to play the game from this a, point. A Nunu's tournament. It seems that every team that picks Nunu just gets complete jungle kingdom. I'm I'm inspired. After this, I'm queuing yeah. up some Nunu. I will be sure not to queue up. <laughs> I was just gonna say, like, hey man, like you should. <laughs> you you want a duo? No, I just yeah. broke both of my wrists. Sadly, just now. <laughs> okay. So unfortunate. Wow, that's horrible timing, man. How did that happen? Oh, Blau gets the solo kill with the tornado. Oh my god, the fadeaway. Very clean. I wasn't even gonna look. Sanch, bro, what are you doing mid lane this one? <laughs> You're running it, my man. A little bit of trolling. Jesus. You gotta focus on the game, bro. Yeah, that's that's my mistake. Yeah, They're gonna fine. get this early objective with the prior they get from the solo kill mid. Very clean macro all round. You'll have to see it, man. I feel yeah. like the, the best play in this tournament has come from junglers, which is for cool. sure. Yeah. Yep. I mean, they're just, I mean, we already went over junglers in general, but you know, after watching that mid play, I thought that, I thought you were joking when you said you broke both of your wrists, but it looked like you were actually being serious. <laughs> that Ari combo was not it. So I'm hoping we get to see here the dive that we didn't get to see earlier, but again, Buddha not giving us the content. Just come on, have some fun, man. It's 10-0, have a heart. Bro, Lang Buddha would dive this. That's all I'm saying. I know. Look how oh tiny my God, his cursor is there, I just noticed. <laughs> Wait, what is Did you that? you see his cursor? Oh, he's not going for the flash E. Oh, here we go. Oh my God. All right. Oh. oh. Will he live, though? Okay. Look, may, you know, maybe maybe we don't want to see the dive, after all. <laughs> maybe that wasn't it. He just R'd straight into the turret. God, God the damn. We wanted. He was stacking his grit so he could get a big W off. Come on, Dom. Oh, is that the move? That's how it's supposed that to be is, played? That, that is I mean, the move. you're the top laner here, so. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll let you clue me in on those mechanics of solo take diving. as much damage as you can, because the Vi is already so far behind. He's not going to do damage. So you need a little extra help from that turret so you can get that big W off. That's what he did. Yes. yes. Just didn't crunch the numbers enough, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is what top laners actually tell you, and then they say they're not delusional. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. All right. Well, that's one way to play it. 12 to 1. That is yeah. absolutely brutal. Keep flash. I'm going to come top again. I mean, look, the saving grace here, if we can just get on one last hit of the Copiums. Like we what said earlier, it? this team doesn't scale that well. MF Yasuo set lots of physical damage, not much magic damage. If they do make a mistake, the Sidwani stacks up some armor. Could mm -hmm. be rough. Yeah. I'm going to fucking overdose soon. Holy shit. You're, you're dying. Yeah. <laughs> and not just from old age. My yeah. God. <laughs> All right. I, I would like no to see Nunu go for a Herald here, though, because you, you're just all your lanes are dominating, and you can really just 15 play at the enemy team. Yep, for sure. And right here, it's actually the perfect way to go into the Herald. You don't really want to do the Herald unless there's a crab right next to it, and you can just take the crab, and then you look at the Herald, you're like, you know, I might as well take this as well. It's yeah. right here. See? That's a jungler's brain right there. This is good stuff.
Dude, my mana is going down so I have to see it. So I wonder if this will just end up being used mid because there's, I mean, top top is going to die probably anyway, and yeah. bot lane is going to die as well. So maybe they can just like break the bot turret, rotate mid, and solo kill from Blah coming in means that yeah. you could easily drop the Herald potentially as well. Looks like they're looking top for a kill on Myth though right now. Here we go. Okay, the driving. Very nice uh, drive by. Gonna pop the Herald. Okay. And that's gonna be turret, but. Oh, oh my god. Wife. Oh my god. Goodness. Smithy, XUC bro. with the movement. X Smithy is playing in this tournament. I thought it was just golden under. Oh, oh that, my is, god. that is amazing. Oh, that is no. amazing. That is a beautiful play. Sidestepping the Sejuani ult, managing his mana, getting the ult off, and it's another three for zero. Oh, Jesus. I mean, at this point, I'm just. If this happens in my game, I'm just getting my pizza. I'm just getting the hell out of there. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not. Dude, Sanch is not staying for one of these. Like, if you no. got Sanch on your team, enjoy oh, your 4v5, dude. Even if it's in a tournament, I'm out. <laughs> yep. Now, we've seen Twitch rivals before. We know you're not lying. Yep. But that was dirty, man. What a play from XCC. Yeah. He smurfed it. That's going on Reddit. 100%. Yep. What a beast. That's my juicer smurfing on silvers. <laughs> okay, Ben, why'd you have to downplay it like that? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Like, man at the play of his career, and then you're just gonna blame him. Like, for what? Okay, Giga Chad Harry running it. <laughs> Bro, we were just hyping up Will Neff before this game. Now you're just gonna call him a silver. What did this guy do to you? All right, this uh, might I be a little. Will. Oh, yeah, I mean, it, it has that's a little two giga chat right, right there. Oh, we are forcing yeah, down yeah. mid. I love it. It's ARAM mentality. We are just trying to end the game before 15 minutes. Maximum this humiliation. Morning, this morning. This morning. And uh, Will is just looking lost at the moment, man. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty it, hard to play jungle in a game like this. He's yeah. had no camps pretty much the entire game. Yeah, it's very, very unlucky. But you got to give credit to the Nunu for drawing up that play as well, though. Because that, yeah. from that point on, the game's pretty much over. Um, isn't it just kind of sad to see Set and Vi in the same game? It's just like, they're the same champion, except one was released, like, eight seasons later than the other. Yeah. So one is just completely broken, and the other is just meh. I feel like Vi just makes a, an appearance, like, every season for, like, a week. Yep. Yeah, a little, there's been a little bit of pro play Vi. We've seen some some Vi Ari. Oh my God, Will Neff. He's had enough, bro. He's had yeah, enough. Yeah, he is just sprinting it down. It really is a transaction. Uh, this is what happens when you're a jungler. Like, you're allowed to mental boom at this point. If it's 19 to 1 and you've been counter juggled all game, like, like, you should just get a pass. You can run it down. You know, we, we were expecting this to be a close game since it's the semis and all. But, um, yeah, we just didn't get that at all. It, it's just another stomp. Unless... Yeah, unless. Unless. Wait okay, this is, this is what I like to see from Myth right myth. here. TSM Mythical. Oh, wait, he's not and TSM anymore. He's just going to get blasted. Never mind. Okay. Nice try, man. Just Jesus. a team gap. Yep. Yeah, so you're just you're just coping for the top laner, like always? No, it's not his fault. <laughs> okay, yes, it's just never the top laner's fault. It isn't. <laughs> top lane doesn't matter, guys. So if you run it, it down as a top it laner, it really doesn't, doesn't. Tell me this. Okay. Tell me this. If Buddha was on the other team, would he have won this game? Oh yes, yes. Tell yes. me. He, 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 that's a good argument. No, he wouldn't have won this game. Top lane okay. is useless. I agree. I see. I see a useless. new light, man. Top lane is useless. You have been yes. stunlocked. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> You're just stunlocked. Yeah, I literally just got a migraine off that <laughs> that one comment. <laughs> Holy shit, man. <laughs> your debating skills are a lot better than your RE play, I'll tell you that. <laughs> You're taking it slow, though. Dissecting the map, taking turret after turret. I like this, though. You know, we're not going for inhibs because it's really early. Just going for each uh, outer turret so that you can get free reign on the map. This is a clean play, man. Very clean. That's good. I mean, uh, to be honest, like we've been seeing pretty good macro play yeah. from this tournament, unironically. Like, I feel like people have gotten so much better at understanding the map, even yes. if they're like not 
challenger or whatever the amount of times that they're taking dragons when they actually have good times to take dragons taking rift herald when they have good times for it has been pretty good in this tournament it seems like they're coming to a lot of the correct decisions it just happens that there's like some players that are a lot better mechanically than others yeah and, that, and that's something i noticed i was about to point out is that like players are evolving i feel like even lower rank players they they know what to do a lot more often than they used to definitely true like as yeah. somebody who like i mean in season one for example if i like started a smurf account like the players literally like couldn't even find the minion wave yes. like they were just like yeah. running in circles like it was actually atrocious how bad people were but yeah. now like silver and gold players are nowhere close as bad as they were before like yep. they're they're generally a lot better but they just have really really weak mentals most of the time mm -hmm. <laughs> somebody said we haven't seen their games then <laughs> okay <laughs> all right fair enough He's Oh, 21 to 3. We hear the other match is actually pretty close. So maybe if this one wraps up quickly, we'll, we'll hop into the other one and we'll see. Yeah, sounds good. How the E-Rob match is going. Don't think we've caught an E-Rob game so far. Yeah, but I mean, his team, I don't think they haven't dropped the game, right? Aren't they 3-0? Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing pretty well. I mean, that that should be interesting. I mean, which, whichever team comes out of that, most likely going to be playing Team Buddha in the finals. So... I have a question. Since this game is pretty much over, why do people spam L every time E Rob is mentioned? Like, I don't know the lore at all. I, I don't really. Oh, what? he's why just a walking a L, man. He's just walking. That, Everything's an L. The, dude, the the biggest W he has he had recently. His daughter is a big W. She's yeah, a big W. Yeah, but outside of that, it's like all L's. Okay, fair enough. I thought there was something deeper to it, but he's just an L kind of guy. Yeah, he's just an L kind of guy. Okay. Like, to know. Is it one watch out? You get sad? Lil Emmy's a W for sure. I got the laser Actually, I was doing some some research, you know, before we cast this, and I mm -hmm. saw Emmy playing the the piano. His 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 little daughter playing the piano. Pretty good. More talented than anything he's he's ever done so far. So. Jesus. <laughs> like it's in, it's pretty he's good. Right. We can get the point before he gets it. No, guys. Fuck. I mean. Okay, though. No, okay. Okay. Rift Herald, this is like one of those heralds, you take it, you're just like, can we end the game with this? Like, do we actually have to finish, like, normally? Oh my god, he's just rolling in. My man does not care. Close with the Lux ult. I mean, if I'm on the other team, I'm just opening. <laughs> end our yes, misery bro. already. Oh, obviously. You Myth would be the engaged. Game. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, I would be going. I'd be out of here. <laughs> yeah, what are you saying? Uh, if at this point, like, bro, you're gone at like 12 minutes in one of these. I was gone 50 minutes ago. I'm already eating. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. Good. All right. So set just taking top in him while this is going on. Dude, yep. fuck it. Just chase. Who cares? Just chase. Like. LS has taught us one thing. This inhib is actually a misplay. It's a, a complete blunder mm -hmm. from Team Buddha here taking this inhib. So they setting themselves up for failure. Of yep. Oh, it's that beautiful bad. combo with the Lux ult. <laughs> that was actually clean. And they're going to get the mid turn it. off this? Yep. Uh, will they? Goodness, bro. Bro, I like that Buddha laugh. <laughs> yeah, Classic. That was funny. <laughs> Guys, I got fucking backdoored there, Demon. I got fucking, I got entered. Feels weird, man. I go, what? Wait, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> he just said he got backdoored. He said he got entered. Oh my <laughs> god. It feels weird, man, right after. <laughs> yeah, here, man. Good comms, good comms. Uh, XQC is the goat for real. What the fuck? <laughs> I love that shit. Oh my lord, oh my word. Well, it happens, bro. Sometimes you get entered. Like, right. It's, it's okay. Yeah, it happens to the best track, of us. Track, Look, if I had 96k now. viewers, I would let them enter me too. It happens. Hmm. I'm just saying anything tonight, Dom. <laughs> yeah, we really are just going for it, man. We got to make these games entertaining somehow, like right. self-deprecation, -depre like all that stuff. <laughs> uh, this is going to come back to bite me. I can already tell. Yeah, digital footprint, I think is what they call it. Yeah. yeah I think I'm not very good at that either. Don't worry. Yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see. Yeah. My kids are going to be embarrassed. That's yes. for sure. Uh, Wait, are you still have kids? Uh, yeah, I'm. <laughs> I haven't gone through menopause myself, not yet. That's good. That's good. Good for you, so, man. I mean, I I watch your stream every now and then. Get 
turned off to the idea of having kids, but you know, then I stopped watching and what the desire comes mean? back. What I'm does that bro? Like, mean? if you're my kid, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if I still want him. Like, <laughs> okay. I mean, is it a Baron call here? I, I think it should be. Like, we should just Baron. Or should we just dive the base on, on repeat? I, mean, I don't mind this oh either. It's entertaining. God, oh, just doesn't care. <laughs> Disgusting, bro. You're fucking disgusting. Holy shit. He is locked in. Bro, he's going for it. <laughs> oh my, my god. god. <laughs> the highest ELO rider that's ever existed. Well, what about the one guy? Um, Galaxy Smash, I think his name is. Oh, the guy who tried to get Pike. Dave Mon Bent? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trying to get Dave Mon Bent. <laughs> Oh man! Okay. Shout out Dave Mon, by the way. Shout Just hit rank Dave one. Mon. You saw that? Yeah, what a chat. And hit He's rank amazing, one. Bro. Pike mid only. Rank one yesterday. That's insane. I'm like Pike mid. Does it. it really doesn't Pike, make sense. I mean, Pike mid is, is terrible too. Like it actually sucks. terrible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he just hit rank one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go Baron, go Baron, go Baron. And he's like, go. he's like, he's a good guy to play with, you know? Like, mm -hmm. always pretty positive. Never flames really. Yeah, he's just like me for real. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> he's really like you, man. <laughs> Positive influence to have on your team. Correct. All right. Baron coming down. Oh! Will, Close. I mean, I respect the hell out of that attempt. That's you gotta least. go for it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. You have no other choice. Mm -hmm. They just have bottom and hip, and they have a wave. They can just go to bot lane right here with Baron. So reset for a bramble. The game winning ah. bramble vest by. <laughs> You need the Bramble to close this one out, that's for sure. Yeah. Yes. Stop the enemy healing. Doesn't really matter too much, though, because he's got the snowball. He's zooming. Yep. And uh, some clean macro here going for the last turret, last in the hip. Going to buff up all those waves, hit the Nexus turrets, and that should do it. Yeah. I mean, they have, I mean, they have everything they want. Carries are fed. Oh, my God. The Flash E, and they he ults off it instantly. This is I mean, Yasuo play... This is textbook Yasuo stuff right here. Yep. I've seen Mo do this before. Yes. Oh my god, LH the Kingpin. movement. Oh, here we go. Cutie with the desperation flash. He's not going to go anywhere. It's an ace. This game is over. All right. RIP Bozo. It's over. <laughs> yes, the, the cutie pack has been smoked. Pour one out. Yep. She is on a t-shirt. <laughs> she is on a t-shirt. Yep. Perfect. Well, was that about what you expected? Dom, you were shitting on me for saying that I thought Buddha's team was going to stomp. Yeah, but I've been shitting on you for everything this, this uh, tournament. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, I don't okay, know what that all means. Right, all right, fair enough. <laughs> all right, fair enough. Yeah, I've been also checking uh, E-Rob's game during this. Is they're going? They're, yeah, they're currently 10 to 13 against Soda's Ooh. team. So their, their match is super close. Yeah, we're going to check right. on that game right now. Okay. Right. So jumping right into Wait. this one. Wait. E Rob is playing Nidalee? That's There's crazy. No shot. There's and no he's shot. Smurfing he's and he's smurfing too. Nah, 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 nah. E Rob's not playing Nidalee and smurfing in this <laughs> tournament. I just refuse to believe it. It's... Okay, see, let's he's see. He's a it. W. Okay. Okay. Almost hit the trap on the buff. Yeah, You'd like to see that? Bad. Night Harvester. Okay. LS is rolling over in his grave. Perfect. Yeah. With a Sona and an Annie as well. Holy. Finally, though, we get to see some Sona. I'm excited about that. Okay. I mean, the Sona oh. scaling going to compensate for the Nidalee being useless later. Yep. Like to see it. You know, I, I think uh, Poke might just be the second or tied for the best AD in this tournament with XCC. I've seen them play together. They've they've do it a lot. And uh, mm -hmm. Poke's really, really clean mechanically. So he's 0-4 and 2 right now in this game. What do you think went wrong? The other um, AD carry that he's versed right now, 5-0-3. Yeah. It was probably just a jungle gap. Ah, uh, yes, blame the jungler for no reason. Yeah, that makes I mean, sense. That's how it always goes. <laughs> okay, so you're just blaming Erob. So you said Erob was a W, now you're flaming him. Really okay, don't know I realize now that Erob is the jungler, it was the support gap. Ah, it's a support gap. So it's the Sona yeah. that you've been asking for. Okay. Oh my... Did you see that NASA's damage? Yeah, that Q. <laughs> Almost like on his head. Coconut, yeah. Jesus. Soda popping, giving the, the Lee Sin a little bit of a rest here, playing the Kane instead. I like that. 
Yeah. Much easier champ to pilot, so... Definitely, and I mean, I just think generally going to be better for a tournament like this. I mean, Lee Sin is extremely hard to play, even at a high level. It's hard to play pretty yes. much any level, so... Kane, kind of brainless. You should be able to get your form, and... Yeah. They might fuck up here. Lakari on the Mordekaiser again, so you gotta imagine Trendemir set and Gwen were banned because uh, those are his comfort picks. He seems pretty good on the Mordekaiser every time that, or yeah. I guess the time that we saw it before. Yeah, he's a solid player. Yep. Oh, you were asking me about a player that's older than me. Lakari. Right. That's one right there, baby. Let's go. How old is Lakari? I think he's 32. I think he's like six months older than me. I met up with him. I was like, yo. Like how is old he, he really? Yes, he, he's got me beat by six months. What? I never. Yes. The thing is with you, like I look at you and I'm like, yeah, nah, he's old. But Lakari, I never knew. Yeah, I mean, look, wow. it is what it is. Like, oh. I'm. I mean. Well, good for him. <laughs> Bad uh, for fuck you, you Sanchez. <laughs> fuck you, man. <laughs> like, you're just a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I know. Here God we go. Leading it, it up. <laughs> I can't tell who's winning this game. Yeah, I was just too busy trying to like recollect my self confidence. Couldn't really pay attention to the fight. Too busy coping to pay attention to what's going on, so I'll just take over. Okay, yeah. So what exactly happened in that last fight? I'm not sure. I was too busy shitting on you. <laughs> oh, we both have our priorities, I guess. <laughs> well, yeah, Lakari says he's playing so bad, but he's six five and five and yeah. completely perfect. I mean, that's I guess just, the, that's just humbleness coming from, you know, your average tall plane Chad. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's carrying, he's taking over, but still a little bit of a uh, humility, if you will. Just yeah, just tall plane stuff. You wouldn't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so top top laners are sane for sure. That's right. And humble, and handsome. And hum okay, and you're you're pushing it. You're pushing it. <laughs> and young. <laughs> and young, and don't have mustaches. Okay, perfect. <laughs> you only hate on the stash because you can't grow one. Let's just. Okay, that, that might be facts. That might yeah. be facts. Yep. But like, I mean, I mean. Well, there you go. Still go to your school, so you know, little trade offs. <laughs> so, do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Like, <laughs> that's what it is. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is Nasus is low key out of control, though. Yeah. So, okay. Nasus versus Zoe. I mean, he's going to completely 1v2 this, isn't he? It's not even close. Yeah, it's definitely a 1v2 angle. Yeah, All right. Oh my god, did you see that one Q on the minimap? This Q literally kills. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh my god. He's alive? Oh, okay, he's, he's alive. drowsy. He's sleepy. He's sleepy. And it's going to be now a 3v1, but I still think he can win it if he plays it. Uh, Wait. It's too late now. Wait, who's oh, here we go. We're in, we're in Brazil. Is this Darion on the Nasus? Who is on the Nasus? Bro, I remember Darion used to be Diamond. I remember he was a Diamond Fiora player at some point. Really? Yeah. So, it's one of he's definitely going to be one of the better players in this tournament. Man, they had sent four people to deal with the Nasus, and at the same time, they're just losing Baron. So, it's looking actually pretty rough at this point. Yeah, top lane looking very weak at the moment. Yep, just buff top lane. Yeah. But um, this is one of those really rough matchups for Mordekaiser where you can never really kill the Nasus. Um, and he outscales the hell out of you. It feels very, very bad to play against. Yeah. If you ult him, he um, just ults and beats your ass in the death realm. Yeah. There's no real counterplay. Sucks. I mean, I guess top lane is just weak. Nothing else yeah. to say. I don't know about this top lane build, though. Look at what darion has got. He's got a dead man's spear visage. Is that a, 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 a Negatron and a Bramble? on his character that's i like it though because he's amplifying all the heals and shields that he's getting uh from okay. the sona as well not that he should ever be grouped with her but you know in the event that he might be okay I i'm more of a, a frozen heart enthusiast on this yeah. champion also kind of good for the mordekaiser because reduce his attack speed actually valuable valuable even though the mordekaiser builds ap yeah 
Lots of value here, but it's looking really, really good for Team E-Rob now. Now they're grouped up. They got the Sona late game. They got the Nasus late game. Jinx is scaled. Mm -hmm. They're chilling. Oh my God, it really is LCS. <laughs> what happened now? Jesus. One hour long pause. We have a landlord issue, apparently. <laughs> Darion's landlord is at his house. <laughs> what a sec, Darion getting evicted. <laughs> 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 Crazy slick just hitting him with it. What the hell? <laughs> I know Darion just moved in. You can see his room. He hasn't he hasn't got any furniture in there, bro. That's the that's the <laughs> Chad lifestyle right there. <laughs> Eviction notice. <laughs> what do you think happened? Uh to be honest, I have no idea. But everyone's just guess. taking a break now. Yeah. FBI came knocking. Yeah. Anyone playing top lane in this house? All right. Okay. Uh, we heard somebody was playing Nasus in here. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Nasus players have a pretty good track record, though. Yeah, it's true. Nasus players are. And my boy Search has. Crick. <laughs> All right. More the the Aatrox is that tend to. Uh, let it Draw pass. Attention. Yeah. <laughs> let it pass. Let it pass. Okay. Right. Anyways. All right. So we need an update from production at some point on whether Crazy Slick was giving us accurate information. But we do have word from production that they should be unpausing shortly. Probably 30 more seconds. Yep. Probably 30 more seconds. All right. Perfect. What are you guys thinking? That means 30 seconds of quality time with you, Dom. What do you want to talk about, man? Bro, I, we've been talking for three hours. I don't want to talk to you anymore, man. Like, we, all right. <laughs> all right, let's just sit here. You're going to call me old again, man. Like, that's I all you do. I won't. You're hurt. Okay. What the hell? Yes, bro. I'm taking this I'm taking this with me, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I woke up today. I looked in the mirror. I'm feeling a little bit young. I'm looking, I'm looking maybe 29 today. <laughs> Got on. You're like, God damn, you're fucking old. You're older than dirt. If I looked in the mirror and I said to myself, I'm looking 29 today, I would just go back to bed. <laughs> yeah, that was just the end of your day at that point. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Are we back? We're... <sighs> Not really. Yeah, that's a long 30 seconds. Okay, I see, I see Darion in the background. Yep. Bro, that house looks clean. Yeah. I actually like that though. Having not much furniture, kind of the minimalist approach. It's simple. It's like stress free. You know, you don't have to worry about breaking stuff. And yeah, yeah, I like that too. Yeah. But I feel like it's it's just a guy's thing. Oh yeah, bro, you yeah. should have seen gaming houses. My God, we had nothing. We really? literally had nothing. Yeah, it was. <laughs> I didn't have a bed frame until I was twenty six. All right, that was an accomplishment for me. I'm like That's crazy. <laughs> I got that bed frame. I was like, I'm living life. This is lavish over here. Yo, five gift the subs. What is light without dark? Thank you, brother. Yo, what up, everybody? Okay, five gifted subs. That's big. Thank you, bro. That is a uh, that username was sending me into. Yeah, that was a deep one. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. What is light without dark? Like <laughs> questioning everything right now. <laughs> Holy moly. Yeah, show my Perfect. Love. Get you my dog five gifted. Okay. I mean, I don't know. Darian's grouped right now. I think that he could probably go bot lane here. I think they're just going for the ARAM and end strategy. Yeah, this is a classic. This is the yeah. North American special. That's how we yeah. do. But I like it a lot because they do have this level 12 Sona with items. Mm -hmm. So it, it just becomes really, really hard to win any kind of team fight, especially with yeah. that mask too. And I think the, the thing that Anastas provides here is it gives you some frontline, whereas if you look at the other four champions, when you have Annie, Sona, uh, Nidalee, and Jinx, no one can actually provide any tankiness at all, so it's pretty yep. easy to get engaged on and die. So if you have the Nasus there, instantly your team fight becomes a lot better. All right, yep. got the readies in. Going to be hopping go. right into game. Hey, man, fuck you. All right, all right. <laughs> 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 Wait, what happened? Hey, we're back. <laughs> I'm not sure. Who did Darion say fuck you to, man? <laughs> <laughs> Heard that Sanch was casting. Come on. All right, let's see one Q on the turret. Let's see this. Oh my God, seven hundred. 
Nah, it's Pops too much. Ulti. Oh my oh god, my. where's Morgana nah, going? It, this is just the NASA show right now. Wait, did you see the spear from Erob? Kind of clean, yeah, actually. Yeah, that was very nice, yep. But, um... Why didn't his team heal him? Soto's kind of popping off. Wait a minute. Yeah, I mean, the Varys is actually really around strong. And they got aced. Oh my lord. With the oh Soto late game. Yeah, who would have thought? Damn, that's tough. Zanya's still up at the end. Probably wouldn't have done anything in this situation. Let's I mean, this Soto is... Varys. 9, yeah. 0, and 10 on the Lethality Varus. Yeah, and Lethality Varus normally wouldn't be that strong into a champion like Nasus, but it looked pretty good there. Okay, Soda almost hitting the, the W on the crab. crab. Yeah. yeah, happens, bro. It's the way that We've Riot has trained it. NA players to get better is our crabs just move different. Let's yeah. fucking go. They're going to grab this Infernal, which is a huge third to get on a, on a poke comp. Yeah. Yep, it's their third Drake, so now they're on sole point. That's exactly yep. what Soda Poppin needed right there. Yep. So I think the, the one thing that needs to go differently is I think that Nasus has to prioritize being threatening to the Varus. I think if Varus is free hitting in this fight, probably not going to be able to win that easily with him being like 9-0. So yeah. I think they're going to have to put more focus onto the Varus, or at least be aware of when he can deal damage in order to win this game. I mean, if I'm Team Erob here after that last fight, we just recollect and re like strategize. I think the Nasus has to hit the side lane because the team fight, if it didn't work while they were up that much gold, it's gonna work even less now, in my opinion. So I, yep. if I'm if I'm Nasus here, I'm just hitting bot lane, drawing pressure uh, to the lane, and then TPing to potential Baron fight with a man advantage. Okay, yeah, it yeah. is true. Could work. Also, the Sona is not as strong as the Sona would normally be. I mean, this is a Sona with the Shirelias and not even like a Putrefier yet. So, yeah. lacking on the ability to, to team fight. But I mean, did you mm -hmm. see how many stacks Darion has? 700 yeah. stacks on the Nasus? Like, my that, god, this guy does damage. Yeah. Probably needs a little bit more armor, but he's pretty fucking strong right now. Yeah, he's making this tournament look like a Solar Renekton only video. He's just farming up. The, the normals. Come on, bro. He's got a little bit of hair. Can't be doing him like that. It wasn't a hair joke, but you you, you went there. I mean, I, I'm trying to follow you, follow what you're saying here. But, uh, <laughs> okay, they're all grouping mid. The ARAM again with no objectives up. I think this is the classic. I love this. Yeah, we're just running it back. Yep. They do have flashes up now, so things could go differently. Yep. And this fight is going to be all about the Nasus, all about Darion here. Yeah. If he can ever get onto this Varus, the Varus is getting two shot. So Yes. They fight front to back. I mean, it didn't go that well last time. I think it's kind of hard for Nasus to threaten that much at a pure front to back. So we'll have to see how they approach the fight this time. So a whole lot of cardio right now from uh, both teams, it looks like. Yeah, it's true. I wonder how strong the Jinx is, because eventually I think that this team comp will outscale. The Jinx Sona yeah. with Nasus, like, they gotta outscale at some point, but I feel like Jinx is still a lot weaker than Varus at this point. I think we just got a glimpse, and, and Jinx is at three items, and that's, like, her spike. Yep. Where, where she really becomes relevant and, like, something to be afraid of. So if she can get one reset off the, the Nasus popping off, <laughs> it could be a possibility. I think it is kind of difficult, though, because he is playing into, like, he doesn't have a Last Whisper yet or Lord Doms, yeah. and he's playing into a Mordekaiser that has, I believe, a Thornmail and a Zanya's completed. Yeah. Also, you have Death Dance and a Chain Vest here from Soda, so he doesn't do too much damage to the front line at this moment. Yeah, that's true. Now, 37 minutes into the game, the Death Timers are getting a little longer. Baron's coming up. We're... Setting up for what's probably going to be the uh, the climax yeah, of this game at the Baron. Yeah, I think whoever's going to win this Baron fight is going to take the entire oh, game. So yeah, I can see it. See what happens. Wait, 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 wait. This could be Everyone's grouping for it too. Looks yeah. like Zoe's just catching the top wave. Now, I think it, it, it's a little bit interesting with how both teams want to play because it feels like both teams are going to end up in a front-to-back situation, but it's kind of unclear who that favors based on the last fight we just now saw. So yeah, until someone fucks up or until I, I really didn't expect the uh, yeah. team up to lose that last one. Okay. Yeah, for sure. So we'll see. And it's kind of it's kind of interesting because the Zoe and Varus and the Lethality Varus have this like poke comp that in theory would be really good before the fights are engaged but when you're playing into nidalee and a soda you actually don't have that much poke like a lot of it just gets sustained right off so yeah that's very true 
you can just run oh, not the easiest fight for either team it's gonna come down to just mechanics in the moment mm -hmm. we could we could win, we could win the 4v4 and that's why i think poke is going to be the the standout here let's see his mechanics are going to take over i i believe all right eyes on poke for this fight and here we go he and gets and flash dead. ulted and by he's dead. but if he's got the movement he actually does survive this because oh yeah he definitely have... survives yeah, yeah. You... okay okay well Gets the flash from the Sona as well, and that's Makari like ending the game. making the game-winning play. But one reset is not going to be enough to stop this Nasus. Two resets might not be enough to stop this Nasus. So yeah, I mean, here. he already ulted, though, to kill the inhib as fast as possible, yeah, so... That's true. Good dodge hey, the bow. movement. He's going to get a second uh, oh. inhib here, probably. Yeah, this is a smart play, oh, going for the second inhib. This is a great movement here. Okay! Wait, Darion's kind of... Wow. He's kind of a beast. He's kind of doing it. Yeah, he's sturdy. Okay, dodge the Q again, bro. <laughs> this guy just can't... All right, never mind. Oh. Dead. Wait. Never Is he dead? He... From a Zoe. he took zero damage Wait. from that Zoe Q. Guys, I think this is a below platinum tournament. All right. He's just below platinum. <laughs> oh, and he's dead. <laughs> okay, and he died. I guess he blast coned over right into four people. I mean, this Baron, it's not that easy to win with because, like, you're going to have two lanes of super minions coming in. Yep. And there's no one right now that can 1v1 the Nasus. So if Nasus just kind of, like, stalls their time, I don't think this game is that over for Soda Poppins' team. Yeah. I'm full build, so. Yeah, let me take this. Oh. Yeah, I mean, they I think Poke did get the Infernal Soul on the, on the Poke comp, so that's going to help a little bit with what you said. If they can get some healing reduction as well, I don't know if they've already built that, but they can definitely make something happen if they do group mid. Yeah, I could definitely see healing reduction being crucial here. I think that the problem now for Poke is that he needs so many items. Like, he needs a QSS for this Mordekaiser, yeah. and then he also needs a Last Whisper. Once he gets both of those, then they can maybe win a team fight. But up until then, I think they have to play only split push. This Nasus just yeah. has to, yeah, pretty much carry. And it looks like they're going to all group bot. They have TP from the Ooh. Nasus. And this Nasus Crazy Slick is just melting just... the turret. Oh, Soda Pop is going to get gets one shot, off. but gets the clutch ult off on the Sona. Yep. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, it's an what absolute was that? disaster. <laughs> Did you see Poke's HP? Yeah. Are you got hit by a Varus or something? That was crazy. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> kind of fucked up. I think they probably had to wait out that Baron 5v5ing at this point with the, without yeah. your Jinx having items yet. Like, or the items he needs. Yeah. Super hard. Should be able and, to just uh, end like right here. Looks like top lane mattering once again. Ah, yes. As the top lane is weak. back, Nasus at the mercy of his team. Mm -hmm. What a shock. I don't yep. believe my eyes. <laughs> the Riot Games logic. Yeah. The Nasus is losing a plat game. Better buff the roll. <laughs> 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 Jesus, man. You are just traumatized. Uh, this game ruined me, man. <laughs> you used to be a happy person. I don't know what happened to you. I, I did. I did. That was, that was a long time ago. <laughs> now you're just bitter. <laughs> <laughs> and you're old. Yeah, it's um, fine. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, well, I don't even know what this is called. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I, I don't even care at this point. It's fine. <laughs> we push top now. All right. I think why everyone wants to see is an elder. That's me. But will the game oh. go far enough? Oh, I thought you were talking about. Okay, never mind. Oh. Okay. Oh, that, that's, that's clever though. Yeah, elder. Yeah, that's good stuff. I tried to do it. You didn't catch it. Yeah. Now, yeah, now no, we just I, move, now, now we just move no, on. Right. Yeah, let's just move fast. That <laughs> out. God damn it. I tried. I tried. Next time. Next time. I'm telling people they didn't want to see me this whole day. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> My God. All right. Yeah. So they didn't actually end off that. Only mm -hmm. took one in him. This is actually a fine spot still for now. But the problem yeah. is once this Elder Drake actually spawns, then you have the, the same situation where it feels like Poke's team really needs to fight that. Like, team Erob here needs to fight that, but they can't actually fight without Poke having the items, which he shouldn't be able to farm by that point. So they're in a weird situation again where they need to 
try to split and maybe do the same play they did before with having uh, the Nasus top just taking in him. Yeah, and if there's one, you know, bright side about this is that, like we heard in comms earlier, Surefire was already at full build uh, before the fight even broke out. So, mm -hmm. yeah, they, they got a lot of gold, but they, can they even spend it? Yeah, I guess that's the question. Oh, oh my god! Jesus. Top lane is just weak this patch. Top lane sucks. Oh my god, they're ending the game on they're the other side They're ending of the, the game, the gates are open. <laughs> Uh, there's Soda's resetting, but he gets what stuck by the minions. No way. Nah, nah. There's no chance. There's no nah. shot. Yeah, they. It, it's over. Oh my god. And and Eron and now right if there. does have the TP, he's gonna be able to end the game. It yeah. Look like he does. You saw Erob just pulling uh, the classic that we've seen from his brother, just getting lower and lower in that chair <laughs> every single time we see him. <laughs> the the oh, one slouched. <laughs> Look at him there. There Jeez. he is, bro. All the way down on that chair. Yeah, bro, that's like four or five games in of a losing streak for Tyler. He's, he's normally right there. That's the classic. I, I yeah, thought it was sweet. just a Tyler thing. I guess it just runs in the family. <laughs> Respect. <Yeah. laughs> Don't be scared. Okay. Surely we end here. Just hit tower. Uh, we definitely Rob, end. Looking to make a stand. Three seconds okay. on his Nathas. Pops the but shit. it's not going to be enough. All right, jungle is ruined. That was actually a good game. Yeah, definitely a Compared much closer the, game. Yeah. I'm kind of hyped, though, to be honest. I'm, I'm looking for the rematch right there. Yeah. From, rematch, uh, true. From groups. Yeah. Soda popping, playing against Team Buddha. Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. Yeah, yeah I was okay, going to take XQC. a look at the bracket here. Okay, so for our finals, we have Team Buddha versus Team Soda. And our bronze match for third and fourth place is going to be Team Cutie versus Team... Okay, we're switching the thing. Team Buddha versus Team Soda, finals. And again, our bronze match is going to be Team Cutie versus Team Erob for third and fourth place. Our finals are going to be a best of three, cast again by Captain Flowers and Zyrene. Perfect. Same level of play by play that we had the last game. You know, it's going to be excellent. You know? Right, of course. Uh, so the first game, a uh, bit of a stomp versus Buddha and Cutie. First game um, was boring. I'm just going to say game. it. Okay. It was boring. <laughs> Chat was complaining what? the whole time, being like, "Why are we watching this one?" It's like, it was guys, such a stop. you yeah. voted for it. <laughs> yeah, also, I I need to tell Chat there is no giveaway. That is a troll command added by my mod, Courtney. I'm sorry, <laughs> you fell for it. Please. I mean, okay. that's something that somebody that was actually having a giveaway would say. To be yeah. honest. Yeah. Okay, you got me. I just I just don't want too many people to enter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a false scarcity thing, once again. Here are the That's stats. That's for Team e Rob versus Team Soda. 44 minute game. Sure for, holy shit, 15 18 on that the was lethality crazy. Varus. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, oh. Varus is popping off. What the yeah. hell? Not a meta pick either. Like, yeah. I, I was not expecting the uh, Varus to pop off. It kind of smurfed but... in the, the game versus. Uh, Team Buddha earlier in the day, like up until one of the last fights. I mean, wasn't he like five zero on the server? So guys having quite a good tournament. Yep. Performing well. Yeah, and then Darion trying to put bring it home on the Nasus wasn't able to do it quite yet. He had so many stacks. The game went on so long because of him. Yeah, he had yep. over eight hundred at the end of the game there. Like all I'm gonna say is it was a landlord diff. Like it just really like he was yeah. in a perfect frame of mind, and as soon as the actually, landlord came in, everything just was ruined. So pauses are demoralizing. <laughs> they actually just throw off the game completely. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Very true. Yeah. Fucks the mindset. Absolute landlord diff. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, we're gonna welcome back Captain Flowers and Zyrene for finals. They're gonna be casting our. Finals matches, it's going to be a best out of three. Are you guys excited? We're Yo, back for the I'm same excited. game. <laughs> yeah, this is the same game we already did. We're running it back. Yeah. These two squads were born to fight. This is it. This tournament has been divided into two equal halves. All the games that are not these two teams going head to head, 
and all the games that are these two teams going head to head. There was eight teams in this, and me and Zyrene are only casting two of them throughout the whole thing. I want blood. I want guts. I want people splattered all over the floor in this one. I want PvP from the start. Okay. No. Nice. This is like the same as when Yo, Sancho Harry was called it boring. To with that, like what? Yeah. <laughs> this guy is so amped up. Twenty four seven. That's what you gotta be. I'm ready. I'm ready. Go, man. I was hey. I was a little bit concerned. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The last game had the losing team with an 800 stack Nasus. That's a recipe for a 70 minute game. I was planning on almost going to the store and getting a burrito. Luckily, I didn't. <laughs> We're here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're glad to have you here. Do you guys have predictions for how these finals are gonna go? I think we're gonna three get games. three games. Three games? Three games. I'm calling three games. First time we saw him play was so damn close. It took 45 minutes to even blow up a Nexus. I'm guessing we're three gaming it. Zyrene? If we go to the third game, I'm also I entering agree. your cosplay contest live on the stream. No, no, no. Okay. <laughs> no, no, okay. no. I look forward to it. Now I'm praying for that. You Yes, it's cosplay Skarner, though. Nothing else, okay? Dude, I don't have any purple oven mitts. I can't do that, but I got a okay. you, you, we have, we have crab claws. Over. We have you crab claws. Your house. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I think uh, I've been favoring Blaustoise's team a little bit here with XQC, Harry. I think Harry's been playing really well, too. So mm -hmm. I, I feel like Buddha's team uh, is doing fantastically, and I think they have the, the recipe down for how they want to play. You see, like... Yeah, if Blau gets a Kali, the game's fast. If he ends up getting, you know, oh, any of his other champions, broken. they still don't have to. I know, right? Yes. Like, All right? They have to ban him out. Kali's so. got two KDA skins. Mm -hmm. All right? Kali's kind of broken. <laughs> She's going to stay broken. Bullshit smoke. <laughs> Like spammable AOE. Look, look, flowers, flowers. When you play Skarner, everything is broken. All right. Like, okay. Look, ninety nine percent of the game to you. Every time I got to play against a Kali, I just know my ass is about to get turned into a lobster bisque. I'm just sitting here hoping that the soup tastes good. Like that champion is busted. <laughs> Sorry oh, if I derailed man. this a little bit. Uh, uh, this this ad paid for by Nerf Akali 2022. Captain Flowers is so hyped all the time. I remember I we, were flowers, doing, man. we were doing tracking the pros. This guy was this hyped the whole time. It's like, man, we are watching solo queue. You were just born ready, man. I'm like, mm -hmm. Jesus fucking Christ. This is the EUS solo queue and you're this hyped. Bro, EUS yeah. solo queue is lit. What are you talking about? You got some guy raging, some dude running it down. Some guy's playing support. He remembers his AD carry from seven games ago and he owes him an int. That shit is drama. That could be a soap opera. EUS solo queue is fantastic. I need to uh, look. Uh, we need to find a way. H how much would your rate be to be a personal hype man? Just follow me around during the day and just hype up every like. I just want to be like making a sandwich and just have like flowers casting that shit behind me. Like that would All be right. so we hype. For Jack, we got a little mozzarella. Which one's it gonna be? We know he's trying to cut a couple of them calories out, but the man still needs flavor. I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, holy shit! Shit together. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Look, yeah. hey, I, hey, I know Riot doesn't doesn't pay the biggest bag these. Day, so maybe we can work something out. Like, let's see. <laughs> no matter what, Dom will always find a way. Like he's zigging and zagging through the maze, and at the very end, he just Riot. pulls out the op headshot on Riot real fast. Yeah, randomly. Oh, okay. Oh, Mark Merrill, where are you at? Where are you at, Mark Merrill? Like, just, you're getting oh one through the door, and we're getting back we're chill, from the we're we're like, oh, Let's go. Like. <laughs> Jesus, oh, God bless you, man. <laughs> It's been a joy to have you, Dom. I'm just a hater. I wake mm -hmm. up to hate. That is my main motivation. <laughs> You're <laughs> miserable, man. Yeah, I really am. Bro. <laughs> just I over really here. am. <laughs> nice, cool glass of haterade. Just sipping. Yeah, just, just sitting. I'm just like, ooh. <laughs> just sipping. Uh, damn, it's a good day to hate today. <laughs> Lord. I still uh, hate a collie more than Dom does. I really hate a collie. Nerf a collie 22. It is true. <laughs> all right, all right, Zyrene, what do uh, what do you have to say? Oh, I already talked about the game, man. I'm just waiting no, for that. No, I'm talking was... about the game, bro. The game ain't on the screen <laughs> I was, yet. All I right, was told you, you ain't yourself... got nothing to say that's nice. You, you say nothing at all, man. Play by play mode. Play by play. <laughs> if it ain't on the screen, I don't know what you mean. All right? We're just talking about whatever bullshit happens to be going yeah, yeah. on. And right now, we're the only people on the screen. How do you feel? uh well i was gonna say that i actually like this twitch chat a lot uh when I, we were like chilling in the, the waiting room and shit like that i was like dude this chat is better than lcs chat it's not like stupid yeah. copy pastas and stuff yeah, like yeah. that you, you people are like spamming different friend. streamers they were like spamming like different streamers memes and shit i was like mm -hmm. i was actually loving it it's like 
it reminds me of old school LCS, like way back in the day. It does. So, nope. It's a big it's sad, so dude. Nostalgic. It's mm-hmm. been so fun today. I've been laughing so hard, muted, just sitting in this channel listening to all yeah. you guys. All amazing, incredible. I feel so lucky to have you guys. You're the perfect four people for this. Like, this is exactly what I wanted. You're all fantastic. Thank you for being wait, here. We have to do the pop oh, friend you. pose. Okay, wait, let's see. Yes, you have to have please. your hand, please, your hand please, is <laughs> open. Up, up. Okay, so right hand like this, left hand like that. Nope, I've got to turn this. Um, Sanch, please. Friend. How do you do okay. this? Okay. Pop friend. We pop, pop, pop friend. friend. All right, pop nice. Friend. Nice. There we are, my friend. Excellent. We're all pot friending here. <laughs> God, I, I always felt bad when I killed those guys because they just explode in a bunch of blood, dude. And loot. Yeah, yeah, but the as blood is like it is gratuitous. As long as part of the blood is loot, it's fine. This is like the rule of any video game, dude. Oh no, I got decolons for that. Come on, chat. No, Some I got hostile. For that. You just go. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got word from the producers that the teams are currently picking sides. I believe it's being determined by rock, paper, scissors, and then after that, we're going to be ready for our first finals game. Wait, is it being determined by rock, paper, scissors? All right, I'm putting on the... That's that's what it said in the run of show. I don't know if that's what actually ended up happening today. But I your rules. The lies of of the deep state streamers. I was told behind the scenes in the Discord that Cutie Cinderella bought 100 subs last game in exchange for first pick on blue side. The entire thing. The entire thing, ladies and gentlemen. There's always somebody pulling the strings. There's always somebody pulling the strings. At least that's what I heard. Jesus. And that was true. We had the evidence. We showed it on stream. Yeah. So just in case you missed that earlier, I had to throw that out there. Yes, yes. See, we got the Illuminati out here. The Illuminati <laughs> are very particularly invested in the OTK Rift tournament here. They, oh this my is God. a top okay. priority. Oh no, they're here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh God. I, oh, that that a- I want to live. I am having a good time. This is a great time. I am here. If I disappear tonight, it was not my choice. <laughs> okay, we just got word that the matches are starting. Zyreen and Flowers, we're so excited to see you guys cast again. Very excited to see how these games play out. Good luck. Have fun. Have fun, guys. Thank you. Always do. Let's yep. do it. Oh yeah. my god, I'm so excited. All right, Zyrene. Here we go. I was, I was, I was going to say, do you need the axe from the kitchen and sleep with that so the Illuminati keep you alone? Like, leave you alone the Illuminati. No, I don't want the Illuminati. I'm going to get Gotti. We don't want that shit. Absolutely not. Leave me alone, Illuminatis. Go away. You have other stuff to do. Now, <laughs> let's see how this draft looks. Because Soda, once again, has written stuff down on this notepad, but the text size is so small, I can't read it. Blaustoy's staying hydrated. You got to get one of those big water bottles. I got one of those, too. It means a lot, because then you can keep your ass plant it in your chair and not have to go get more water while still having enough water it's op yeah now Dude, i actually really like my water bottle it's a gift from uh my girlfriend she got me this it's got the paladin icon and my name on it dude because all i do is fucking play Wait, is that wow the one all day with the booba on it no the booba one i don't think she approves of the booba one so i use this one instead <laughs> I mean, the booba one's pretty sick. Uh, I do have a booba cup. I do have a booba cup. <laughs> All right, so, oh, hey, they did what you wanted them to do. They banned the Yasuo. Blaustoy's just got double target banned round one, dude. Yeah, and they got, rid of the, they got rid of the Nunu, too. I was sitting there in, in the other channel, and I was like, dude, they this Nunu... He seems unstoppable. And I remember playing against Nunu's. I was always like, dude, I just hate this. I hate this so much. Even if he's not like the one carrying the game from a score perspective, he's the one who locks it in place if they're winning. He's like, no, we're not moving from this position. We are going to keep winning. It's just this fucking wall. I hate that champion. Look, all I'm saying is I'm excited to see what Blau Stories breaks out now because we got to see the Kassadin. We got to see the Yasuo. What's it going to be next? I don't think he's going to go zillion mode on us. I think we're probably going to get another one of those like flashy style of champions. Zeri's banned out. Kane's banned out. Gwen's banned out. A lot of, a lot of anime bands there on the blue hey, side here hey, in this it, one. They, they ba- so Twitch is the one thing. Twitch was the first ban in the first game between these two teams. It was number one in all caps on Soda Poppin's like little like notepad last time, right? And Twitch is the first pick here from blue side so is that xqc little rat oh xq he could he could i mean wait hold on let me think here because we got 
Bakari's really good. What else are they going to combine with this? Oh, wait. So, wait. Here's. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, Giga Brain. Giga Brain. Okay. He's okay. playing Twitch. Twitch is a rat. He's up against mm -hmm. Bakari, who plays Dota with Admiral Bulldog. Admiral Bulldog okay. is known for playing Rat Dota. So they're going to play Rat League of Legends to beat Rat Dota. The entire thing is a mindfuck designed to mentally dismantle their opponents before the game even begins. Uh, it's working on me. I couldn't follow. So I am mentally dismantled now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As the Akali ban comes out. <laughs> I was just collateral damage in this. <laughs> but I'm done so too. <laughs> all right. All right. We're into the second half bans. Akali is banned away. They are targeting Blouse Toys. This red side team saw a Blouse Toys on the enemy squad and these motherfuckers pick Venusaur. They're saying no, 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 no. Just Vine whooping his ass, making sure he's knocked down a couple of tiers on the list. What will even remain for Blouse Toys to play? God, uh, I gotta go look him up and even check, dude, because they they decided not to pick his champion early at all, even though the Zoe was locked in. So. Oriana, no, no, whoever in Twitch chat just said Oriana, no. If Oriana was a flavor, she would be flour. If Oriana was a type of ice cream, she would be vanilla. If Oriana was a. Whoa, 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 you got a problem with vanilla ice cream? It's basic. Oriana is basic. Vanilla is a flavor. It is, it is not plain. Oriana, but vanilla yogurt. There's a reason her nickname is Oriana, dude. Oriana gameplay. This isn't about Oriana anymore. This is about vanilla ice cream. I thought you were about to say this is about vanilla ice, and I was immediately invested. And as soon as you said cream, I was immediately uninvested. I was like, how does vanilla ice play into this? Where does he enter as a character? He named himself after that flavor because it's good. No, I'm pretty sure he named himself after that flavor because he's white. No. And he was a rapper. No. Whatever the fuck her name is. Yeah, just go Lowey. Just go yeah, Lowey. Okay, you're like, probably right. But, but. He's <laughs> he's <laughs> <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Some people in chat are saying no. Some people are saying yes. Nah, it doesn't really matter. It's all good. Anyway, back to the game. We got a Lowey in this one. Zyrene, you like um, you like anime. You're a big tentacle fan, right? Yeah, yeah, I like it's a tentacle. <laughs> that's that's the biggest disappointment here in the finals to me is I think we only have one VTuber here. Not <laughs> I didn't I didn't get oh, yeah, past the VTuber all day except for Philly and VTuber names. <sighs> oh shit! I was doing my research. I was very invested. Like as a caster, you're supposed to research the people that you're gonna cast, so you have like background stories and stuff. I was I have a whole VTube list, bro. But you know what? It's in the trash can now. But the, the research was worth it. Would do would do again. Ten out of ten. Well, they do have a lot of CC. Yeah, just Philly and. I don't think we we have. Oh, hey! By the way, I looked it up. Yo yo. <clears throat> while they're while they're finishing this draft, here's here's a little exposition on the storyline. I mean, we have Saikuna for. Pay. Shortly afterward, Van Winkle started battle rapping at parties, and because of his rhymes, his friends started calling him. MC Vanilla. However, when he became a member of a breakdance troupe, Van Winkle's stage name was Vanilla Ice, combining his nickname Vanilla with one of his breakdance moves, the Ice. Hence, Vanilla Ice. Wait, his name is kind of right. His name starts with Van. It's best of three. Best of three. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's where they got Vanilla Ice. He's Vanilla Ice. You think it's a he's Van Winkle? Yeah, he's Van Winkle, right? Just playing hmm. the game. Van Winkle, Vanilla. I don't know, dude. I, hmm. Yeah, it's gonna require more research later. Anyway, we're into the game now, though. So let's see what we got. Blouse Toys will be piloting the Irelia this time around. So similar to Flashy, not quite an assassin, but it's flashy. I like that. I respect that. Yeah, I mean, X yeah. Ridiculous oh, whoa. What tombs they got? I'm just jamming. I'm, I'm vibing. Are you just cat jamming? Hold on, I gotta go post my jam emote in the chat one second. Uh, <laughs> uh, hold on, I need three of them. If you if you only post one emote, you aren't actually even posting. You gotta post all three of them. So hold on, jam, jam, jam. Boom. Is there it we really go. Spam? Now we got now we got some Skarner jams in. There. Dude, your 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 spam your like emotes got pushed off so fast. Yeah, I know, dude, because we have forty thousand three hundred and forty seven people best. watching. This is the best. That shit is gonna disappear. Now they're all jamming. Now everybody's ready to go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking uh, about, dude. Look at oh, that. They, they go in for the... Uh, yeah, they just go in for the the bottom side start here for both teams. They're going to go play top. Mm. What Twitch skin is this? I don't I, know. 
I don't know if I've ever yeah, seen I, this I before. He looks like an Elden so, Ring monster. So so here's the part the, about like League of Legends that like I took a break from League of Legends for a while. And then when I came back, I was like, I don't none of these champions look the same. Like there's like some Lee Sin skin that looks like Ezreal. The Lee Sin skin like that Ezreal. looks like Ezreal tilts me yeah. so bad. And, and like, then there's a set allowed? skin. There's like a set skin that looks like Lee Sin. And I'm like, if they're both on the same team using that skin, I'm like, what, the, what am I even playing against? Also yeah, like dude. noise. God, dude. I, the, I'm sorry. I'm a person who uses audio cues a lot. So like the Jarvan flag coming down, making the metal sound like the ch right? That for me is like, okay, I got to like look and dodge. And then if he's like playing Dark Star Jarvan, it's like whoosh instead. And I'm like, okay, I have to learn all the fucking sound effects. I can't, I can't handle it, dude. Man, the difference between a thwack and a whoosh, sometimes I'll just break your game. In the middle of a team fight, bro? <laughs> yes. It, how many times are you going to react to a Lee Sin cue by listening for it? Uh... I don't you listen for a Lee Sin Q. What are you talking about? <laughs> you you process audio cues like 35 ms faster than visual ones, so you actually get brain lag. My brain you, runs uh, on like a permanent lag of 200. <laughs> what the fuck does 35 matter? It's like okay, now you're only hey, pro, marginally pros dumb instead of hey, totally hey. dumb. Pros complain about playing with like 100 ping, so imagine your 70 is now 105. Guess what I never was. A pro because I'm a Skarner <laughs> guy. There's no shot. Like, <laughs> you were number one Skarner at some point. Yeah, you know what that's worth? About as much as being number one thousand Skarner. It doesn't mean shit because it's Skarner. <laughs> Oh, all right, all right. Well, let's get back in the game. It's let's one to one. It's one to one. We got a one to one game. Nice and even here. Early on at the start, XQC's playing Rat Dota. He did really good on Ash. Twitch, now, of course, not, not even lead the charge as much. Got to rely on the team a little bit more. Unfortunately, the team is just getting absolutely shibbity shibbity shit on. Lux gets absolutely demolished there in the 2v2. Nice plays coming out from the Leona and Varus combination. XQC is playing without nameplates on, so I don't know what the hell to call him. I'm just going to say champ name. Yeah, I mean, playing against Leona Varus, that's going to suck real bad for both this Twitch and this Lux. Like, this is not going to be a good game for them at all. No, this is going to yeah. be a little bit rough. Remember okay, Sure4? Sure4 sure 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 played Varus last game, and he was the guy who had, like, the 35 KDA or, like, the can't divide by zero too good. Yeah, it's uh, that's a little bit of a rough one there. By the way, chat, yeah. for all you guys who are dirty KDA players, remember that each individual game, you're allowed one freebie because they always divide it by one anyway. You can't divide by zero, so you don't even mess well, up. Why'd you go back in? XQC. Woo, just barely staying alive. We're getting spicy here at bottom lane. Mm -hmm. I'm loving it, dude. All right, go back, Raffle Gator. Go, go, go. Get out of here. All right, all right. Hey, when people overstay, like, that's one of the things I've noticed here in like the big difference between pro play the biggest difference i'm noticing here just from a casting perspective is i'll be like watching a team fight and 15 seconds will elapse or like while people are posturing and then i see somebody who's got like one third hp off on the side and i'm like why the fuck hasn't that guy backed in the last like 25 seconds to get back here like they just stay out so long i mean I was going to say yeah, the biggest difference between this and pro play is when, like, Hecarim dies to chickens and stuff. But, yeah, I guess yours is a pretty good answer, too. We got a 2v2 up here in top this consistently. I see this consistently. Okay, okay. I guess I guess that is a little bit different hey, than if we're going people have died. People have died to chickens in Look, dude, we don't talk in about the, uh, the, the unholy, like, Dignitas Renegade situation anymore. It is, <laughs> it is faded into memory. You just unearthed some, like, that's my Pandora's box. <laughs> God, that game. All right. Okay. Hey. Okay. What do you... Uh, all right, Zyrene, let, let me ask you, what What do you want to see the next kill? Where, where's the next kill going to be? Give me a Give me a prediction. Flex Flex those brain muscles for me. Show okay, me that you worked gonna, out at the library. Okay, it's going to be on XQC in the bottom lane. Mm, it's going to be XQC? No. It's going to be one of these two in the bottom lane because Leon is going to engage. Okay, it's Lux. Okay, I think Lux it'll be is Lux. Gonna die. That's Irene's call. Granted, yeah. he kind of cheated because he was watching this instead. Okay, where's the uh, snipe? Oh, XQC barely hanging on. 100 HP remaining, but the man manages to somehow get out of town in time. Yeah, yeah. well, I didn't think she was going to die right there. I was saying it's Lux because the way she's positioning this entire lane. I was like, it's one of these two bottom laners is going to die to a Leona engage because they're just, they're not playing the lane well. 
Yeah, I'm honestly liking this Leona Varis, dude. Like, Surefire and Raffle yeah, it's, it's a little dirty. It's a little dirty. Yeah, they're setting them up. They're making this happen. Oh, Kha'Zix stuck in the back part of the pit. Took one auto from the Dragon. Remember, Mountain Drake's autos are pretty slow compared to the other ones, but they hit harder. Mountain Drake is also tankier. So the one auto from the Mountain Drake is going to... It's going to thump you a little bit. And that means they're able to chase the Kha'Zix away. That means they can secure the Drake. That means these guys are not only feeling good about the kills, they're feeling good about the objectives. Damn it, Zyrene, they're playing some League of Legends. Mm hmm And I mean, here's the thing too, is you're they're the team that lost last time, Team Soda Poppin', right? They lost to Buddha. I feel like when you lose a game, you adapt more and you think about that one a lot. And when you get that rematch, you're kind of just like, if it was super close, you're like, okay, what could we have done differently? And I think Soda, just just, you know, I'm gonna take a wild guess here. I don't think he's gonna int his fucking face off this game. I think he's got they you know what, just I would bet on it. You know, just call it a hunch. Well, hold on. Seth's going for the ulti here, but allow he's responding with a little bit of tentacle power. Woo! Him slapping him down. There it is. Hey. Do not try to engage on Alawi like that. For, for those of y'all who might not know, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a spoiler here for everybody that's not familiar with how Alawi works. Look at think of every Alawi pop-off montage, whatever clip you have ever seen in your life. How do they all start? Somebody running into a Lowie and starting a fight, and they don't understand that they're about to go to Hintai City. That's what you have to understand. Every time a Lowie pops off, she does it because somebody else does not know what she does. That is what this champion is. She is the definition of I'm the only person in the game who knows what I do. You don't know it, if they were trying to go to Hentai City, though. It is a very good destination. I'm going to let that one sit there. I'm gonna change the subject. This You're is gonna leave me out to dry like this. You this is one of the situations where you should not say yes and to your co-caster because <laughs> the only thing you can say yes and to about the hentai comments is yes and I'm out. Back to the bottom lane. Do you know how Alawi is farming minions? Do I know how Alawi works? I know that you do not go after her if her alt is up. You just let her walk around. She can't do anything unless you run into nah. her. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nah, you, you're, you're fine actually. On. So like the the big thing about Alawi is if she misses her E, because her E is what makes her tentacles uh, keep slapping. So if she yeah if she misses her E, uh, that's actually so much better than like if she has R, they'll slap once. She'll R and then she'll W and they'll slap once. But if you have an E up, then it'll, they'll keep slapping. So yeah, if she hits her E on you, you want to get away. If she misses her E, you can actually go in and fight her. Good. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, so we'll, we'll keep an eye on the ease here, but I'm I'm still of the belief. Still of the you get like an extra slap you, in there. Yeah. St I'm still of the belief that Alawi can't do anything unless you let Alawi do something. So we'll see. We'll see. It's only nine minutes into the game. There's plenty of game left to play. Remember the last time these two went head to head, it took 45, 40. 9.50 minutes to get done. We got a gank coming in. We got Kha'Zix looking to start some trouble here. We got Zoe locked up and beat down, and we got Blouse Toys on the board for the third time. Yeah, they're probably chilling in there waiting for us, I bet. They're probably chilling in there, exactly. Yeah, yep. They're just chilling in there. Yeah, they're, they're just just right there, man. Holy shit. All right. We got that gone. Alawi just threw out the tentacle button and it missed. So now Set would have the opportunity to fight, but unfortunately for him, he's already half HP, man. He's not enjoying this lane up here. Oh my God, dude. Yeah, Alawi's never a fun lane. And look at that, down bottom, the Twitch dice. It just, this is just a lane that you want to keep visiting. Leona's level six. You're just going to keep just slamming this bottom lane. This, this is a ticking time bomb for them. Just popping off and having a great time. That's the way to do it, man. The That's the way to do it. Like, you know, back him up. Okay, Zyrene, we did not get to see your prediction about the Lux come true. So sometime during this game, you're going to have to... Uh, uh, okay, a little bit unlucky there for Blastoise. I mean, it's okay. Sometimes you got to give your monitor a break and have it process less colors. It happens. Just go back into the... Going back to the good old shades of gray. And anyway, what I was getting back to is you got to make me some sort of, like, mega mind prediction by the end of this game. Okay. Uh, ooh. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, I, I want to see the. I want to see the brain muscles flex, man. What do you got? What do you got? Give me. Uh, oh. Oh, nice kill coming out. They're about to make it two. Shut down over to XQC. He just put two in the back pocket. The man is profiting. I didn't see that coming. I was too busy doing other shit, trying to think, and he just popped off on him, dude. 
That's exactly what they needed, though. I, I was not expecting that, especially in that lane where they've been getting dumpstered like pretty much the entire time. Like that Leona Varus matchup is brutal. That's that's the most important thing. That's actually what I think is one of the secrets to being able to climb in League of Legends. It's like the games that you're down in, but you know people haven't yeah. surrendered yet. Like there's one enemy guy who's popping off. He's ten and zero or whatever. That ten and zero guy is going to be an overconfident motherfucker. And you get one shot to kill him for free. Ooh. And this now, is, this, this is bold. We got, no, this isn't, bold. they're all ready to go. This is, this is a three-man yep. play. Come on, boys, let's see it. Jelly just contributed some damage here. Harry's going to tank two turret shots by the team a little bit more time. Nope. An attempted outplay will not be enough. And it's another kill up here in the top lane for Team Buddha. Yep, not quite the right direction for the ultimate there, but that is exactly what they need. Oh, he got executed. Did you just say, oh, he got executed? Ooh, 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 ooh. No, no. What in the f... What if I did say, ooh, 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 ooh? Uh, is Dom still here? Can we... I, I, gotta, I gotta get that. So because I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, Dom come cast with Zyrene for five minutes while I question my <laughs> existentialism. Okay, we got. Uh, they're coming bottom. Get out now. now. We got. Out, oh out, boy. Out, 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 out. I, I will not do it. You're, you're... <laughs> <laughs> Shit, dude. All right, I guess we're. Uh, I guess I'm stuck in Uwuville. All right, Zyrene, I trust you that you didn't say it, but now I'm also Monk of W the whole time, wondering. That it really happened and i wasn't aware but you know what i'm really enjoying is the fact that we've got a bit of a back and forth here yeah it's a seven to four lead so there is one team that does seem pretty decidedly ahead but we're seeing both teams get a little scrappy and that is my favorite part of this that is the best part yeah i love it this these are the guys who went that 50 minute game right so yeah don't worry about it, it he got he got the red he got the red Okay, so we got the red. The chat, don't worry about the little UI glitch that happened right there. Just ignore it. That didn't happen. We're all cool. Everybody's mm -hmm. cool. We're just going to play some League of Legends. Now back Ooh, in the wow. mid lane, Blaustoys is playing some League of Legends, and Zoe is not. Five and three. Here on the Irelia, Blaustoys has more kills than a whole enemy team. Zenith Blade flies out from Leona, but it's not going to find the target. Kha'Zix makes his way into the bottom lane, looking for the kill onto the Varus, but he will not secure the damage there either. He flashes in, he's underneath the turret. He'll grab himself a double kill, but now he's gonna get the hell out of town. He will go down. A little bit of vengeance here in the bottom lane, but Blaustoys is moving in. He don't even need to, it's XQC to make it three. Oh my god, they're gonna start running away with this game here. They have the Aurelia super fed. The top lane is just pushing in. They got all those plates earlier, and now they're gonna get those bottom plates on top of it too. So they are just swimming in gold. I wish we could see a gold differential, but I imagine it's pretty, pretty big now. Yeah, I have no idea what it is, but we're vibing. Let me think about We are vibing indeed. What do you think it is? Dude, that requires math. I'm sorry, but I can I can make up a number if you want me to. I think it's about probably somewhere between 690 and 4200 gold, but that's just my uneducated <laughs> guess. Like, I straight up have no idea. This is not my uh, this is not my expertise. We do have some. Uh, we got some dancing in the chat again, though. People are vibing. It's a good vibe. Good vibe. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. What do, you, right. what do you think XQC does now? Because he, he already got that bottom turret. You think they swap him top? You think they do an LCS play? Or you think they just keep pushing bottom? They got to push bottom, right? Yeah, dude. Like, what's the point of doing the LCS play when you can keep giving him the juice in the bottom lane? Let's go. There's the right play, and then there's the fun play. Fun's over months. That's the motto. You got to do what's fun. As long as you're doing what's fun, you're following your heart. And when you're following your heart, you can't go wrong. This might be why I was never actually able to make it to Masters, because I would just always do <laughs> for fun shit. Follow your heart, please, Garner. Follow your heart. Straight to Diamond <laughs> 1 Elo hell that you'll never be able to escape from. Build Chad, oh, wow. build Chad. Wait, I actually realized that on the casting team, because it's you and then Dominate and then Sancho, I'm the only person who's never been Masters on the casting team. I'm the piss low. <laughs> Jeez. Chance literally saved you. Jesus. I can go That's... Oh well, game. whatever. <laughs> it happens too. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of aware, oh, aware, aware, aware. Oh. <laughs> well, we got a nice dive here, and now, oh, oh baby, God. it's already going to be a one for one. Blaustoys is out of the picture, but that doesn't mean the team can't avenge him a little bit. Giga Chad Harry.
showing up to try to make sure this team ain't falling behind even when their opponents look to make a move. Yeah, that, that Lux Q actually was insane. Saikuno has hit some like ridiculous skill shots this entire tournament. Like when he hit that brand one over the wall in the previous game we saw and that one right there. I, I just like I I don't get it. He's he seems really good at these skill shot champions like randomly. He's got those moments of brilliance. All right. All right, Saikuno. Okay, we got the Saikuno point of view now. All right, let's see, let's see if he can land something here. All right, E just throws it out for a little bit of poke. He's got the laser. He's got the Kamehameha ready to fire. So I really just want to see a QER just kaboom on somebody's health bar. We got a Drake spawning here in 15 seconds or so, which means we are getting a fight for this. I absolutely believe it. There's no way Red Team just decides, ah, oh, you know, we're going to give this away. Come on, fight for it. Fight for it. Go for the, go for it. Burger flip that Drake. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, Raffle Gator looking whoa, for an engage. Whoa, whoa. Buddha probably glad that he didn't get it, to be quite honest with you. You don't want to engage on a Lowy. That's what I'm always talking about. Soda nice. Poppin' goes in, tries to steal. Not a chance. Yeah. Shut down by Blaustoys, and the Drake goes over to Team Buddha. Remember when I said he wouldn't int his face off this game? I, I meant next game. <laughs> you meant next yeah, game, huh? Yeah, yeah. Just move, move my prediction over one game. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Thanks, thanks. Right, appreciate Zyrene's, it. Uh, Zyrene's changing predictions a little bit here. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to uh, we're going to allow him to subvert expectations here. Can't be worse than Game of Thrones season eight. So now XQC is going to farm up some chickens. The Twitch is continuing oh God, to scale yeah, forward. Nice. Remember, if we can see Twitch it's hit like so three items, power, yeah. get a Runance Hurricane in there, get some, I don't know, maybe like an LDR or something. I XQC is going to turn yeah, into a blender and just make a smoothie out of the whole enemy squad. But of course. The last yeah, time around, I'm not, I'm not, it was playing, Team Buddha that won, but it was Team Soda Poppin that put up a hell of a fight from a hell of a deficit. And I want to see a little bit more of that. Blaustoys, looking to see if there's a play to be made, of course, has to immediately run back away. There's a lot of people off the map right now, if you're looking at the vision for Team Buddha. Yeah. So Team Soda has the ability to get the drop on him if they overextend. And Rift Herald up too, right? There's a second one, if anybody wants to pick that up before it uh, despawns. Yeah, 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 exactly, right? Got to get down there in the next uh, minute and a half or so. Oh, don't hit it for the demolish. Oh, oh R.I.P. I would, I would agree it for it, and I would have died. <laughs> That's the fun play, though. That is the fun play. That's the important part. All right, let's see what... Uh, okay, so Kha'Zix is level 11. What did he evolve? Oh, he evolved Claws and Wings, wings which are... Funny enough, this is exactly the opposite two things that you would see in a pro game of League of Legends. Because in pro, you have to evolve the Rockets to poke people with, and the ulti so you don't just insta-die. But in solo queue, Claws and Wings let you do 1v9 pop-off montage web wub They're more fun. More so they're, they're yeah, you just get to you get to play pogo stick Kha'Zix where you jump in, bonk somebody on the head, and jump over to the next guy. It is more fun. Yeah, here's like here's the difference. Oh, okay. Maybe he should have evolved those. Maybe he should have, but that's a decision from another time. As we've already got a one for one and a double kill back over to Blaustoys, making a three for one. Blaustoys is popping off. The stun comes out and he'll be shut down. Now Lakari's going for the big haymaker play, oh, the but it will not work. Call that an ace for two for Team Buddha. Bruh, Saikuno with that Q with the double hit there at the end just to kind of lock him down and finish the job. Man, this game, 20 to 9, this, this is one where you just got to spend the rest of the game going, how are we going to get back in this? We got to make some ballsy plays. And if you aren't going to do that, then you just got to be thinking about the next one because this is a view of three. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Chat, what is the... Okay, I feel like I'm missing one of the Twitch chat extensions because... People keep typing the same things, and I assume Seven they're supposed TV. to be emotes like the like the pain and the Giga Chad, and people are saying broadcaster, and I don't know if they're complimenting oh, yeah, us yeah, yeah, or yeah. flaming us. Yeah, no, 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 that's that's flaming Emmy. Oh, that, that's flaming Emmeru. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's Seven TV. If you don't have Seven TV, it's kind of like a, it's like a, a BT TV, except the gifts are higher quality. Oh, so you're you're yeah. able to do like bougie shit posting with this? Yeah, okay. basically. Yeah, I downloaded okay. it mostly because they had better booba emotes. So, of course you did. Okay, I, so I, I actually did. My my my. This is my stream requesting it. They were like, put this one in. I'll try it. So yeah, I'll blame okay. my stream. Well, at least we uh, at least we know that one now.
And Chad is now, of course, back to their, their usual spirit. At least I can see this one. Anyway, let's see how this top play breaks down. Now is Soda Poppins going to get jumped on yet again, but it's Giga Chad Harry that gets traded back in a one-for-one. One. Looks like we're going to get a two-for-one in favor of the team that's been down so far. Nicely done there, Team Soda Poppin coming out on top in the trade. But now we got to be careful. XQC is on the hunt. He's still got just the one completed item, so not terribly strong just yet. If he reveals himself in the wrong position, He's just going to get absolutely smacked in the mouth. He's still got the stealth for now. Still looking for the shot. He's got his own ally right next to him. There's the Lux. There's the Binding. Here comes XQC looking for the damage. Zenith Blade comes back out to give Leona an exit. Not really a chance to burst down a Leona like that. So she'll be able to walk away. And there's no counter kill for XQC and the boys. Crazy. I was, I was trying to see what, he, what XQC was saying. He was flipping out there for a second. I'm coming, Blau. We can win. Coming, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. Oh. Uh, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. I just heard, I'm coming, Blau. We can win. Blau's always backing away. Oh, it's a dragon fight. Dragon, 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 right. dragon, 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 dragon. Okay. Dragon, dragon. We've got the dragon. <laughs> but remember. That's the internal monologue of the casters yeah, whenever we're on. <laughs> yeah, I just, especially if it's one of those games where nobody will fight over anything. I'm like, just please, dear God. I don't even dragon. care if you give me like a Fortnite ring of death. Just make these people PvP. Now. Okay. Zoe Trouble Bubble. No mark on that one. Not getting a whole lot of poke just yet. Remember, they can't engage on Alawi. If red team engages on Buddha, it's 100% lose. 100% lose if red team engages on Buddha. It has to be somebody not named Buddha. That's the check we got to be doing. Is the guy we're hitting named Buddha? If yes, stop hitting that guy. If no, okay, keep it up. Cool. All right, there you go. Buddha now going to be in the middle of a couple of different targets. Buddha going into the middle of everybody. He's going to be focused down, bursted down. One for one trade. It's going to be Zoe for Buddha, but the problem is... That means that Buddha was the first to die. The focus was elsewhere. Lucari looking to tank and spank and try to do whatever he can, but it will not matter because Blaustoise is there to cut him down. Three Woo! for five. Team Buddha takes the fight. Team Buddha takes the objective. Oh, man. XQC just opened up there. Empty the clip on him, dude. That, that was just one of those plays where you live for as a Twitch. You're just like, I just got to get all this damage off across the entire team. And then it's just, it's completely hectic too. Cause everybody's kind of looking for you. And then all of a sudden, if they start focusing you, oh, here comes the Aurelia in from the flank. And that's what they're aiming for here is they're aiming for those multi-pronged attacks, dude. That one was, that one was nice. That was keen. Even though the Aurelia set up at the start, or sorry, the, uh, the Alawi set up at the start, uh, a little, a little, I would call it suboptimal. It happens. It the rest happens. of it was nice. You, you have a little bit of damage. Didn't they triple ban Blaustoys? Yes, to the person in chat asking that. Yes, they did. Yeah. Yasuo, Kassadin, and Akali all banned away. And Blaustoys says, I did miss looked, I searched, I delved, I scoured, and I still cannot find a fuck to give. He'll just destroy him with the Irelia anyway. Did Mizkif just resub for tier one for 10 months and just say, I'm gay? I, need to As I don't message. know. Chat's going too fast. <laughs> man, I can't man, see it. Man, I guess, nobody would see this. Chat's going so fast. No one will see. That was pretty clean. Guys, I really need more gold. Well, yeah, but the well, casters, the casters do. So. Okay, I think you should well, since it. since Emmy Roo's not, her voice isn't live on her own channel right now. Just a, and thanks, Ms. Kiff, for resubscribing for ten months. Hell yeah, welcome back, buddy. <laughs> All right. Now we've got uh, we've still got a game that's honestly pretty screwed for Team Soda Poppin. There's not really a whole lot of ways I see back into this game, barring a major malfunction from their opponents. Team Buddha's got a really solid spot. Team Buddha's doing really well. Blaustoys is set up 11 and 5 here in the bottom lane. Pog. Yeah, man, it's looking real nice. And then they get the split. They uh, they're just three man in this. Yeah, yeah, get the Alawi in there. But there's there's no read on oh man yeah, i was like there's no read on the other team they're just kind of buying time for the bot side here they actually trying to play some oh. good legal here Ooh. they are they're moving Wait. in it looks like we might lose the allow okay, she, she will get she will get bursted down in time xqc trying to pick one up off the back of it here uh the dot might Not kill down. leona yep okay nicely done xqc picking up one there that'll make it an even trade one for one blaustoys is still alive that is so important because the irelia has almost as many kills as the enemy team 
With Blaustoy still on the loose, that means that Team Soda Poppin really has to be careful with whatever they do. If they can try to get a pick onto him, if they can make something happen, look at the team composition. Barring the Alawi, a lot of these are very squishy targets. This is Irelia with Divine Sunderer and Blade of the Ruined King. Yes, she will be incredibly artificially tanky if she's allowed to stand and fight you and hit you in the face over and over again. A dedicated burst from a team is going to kill her instantly. Yeah, yeah, she got that, like, the sustain. So... Oh, yeah, we were talking about Kha'Zix earlier with the evolutions, dude. The, the, the evolution of, like, R, W is anti-fun for the other team. And then going Q, E for you is the fun one. So I, I respect it. I respect it a lot that he's going for that. Even though it's not optimal. What do, what do you think his last evolution is when he, if he hits 16? Um, probably the W. Because the W gamer? Kha'Zix well, the W, R is the hardest Kha'Zix to uninvolved use. W feels so bad to use. It actually just feels like a little dinky caster yeah, yeah, yeah. minion thing. True. Like, it, it shoots in one shitty straight line. It heals you if you right next to it. It doesn't feel, like, that impactful when you hit enemies with it because the damage isn't high. The oh, super wait. Oh, slow is great, but now we got a fight already, and now we're starting it off here with the damage down onto Lakari to kill him first. Beautiful team fighting coming out here so far from Team Buddha. I hope y'all are ready for that black and white screen because you're 50 shades of gray with how bad you got fucked in that team fight. Team Buddha, <laughs> five nothing. Thank you, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got I got recovered. Holy shit. Oh my god. That the Saikuno did such a good job there. He set that up with the perfect fight. Oh, oh, Look, dude, I had to say it here. I'm never gonna get to say it on LCS. Just let me do That's it. That's true, you gotta get it out of your system, Mr. Lick in the bush, you know. <laughs> oh shit. That's your job. Oh man! Plus, that's the one that feels like it kind of just broke the game, you know? Like we're 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 done here. We're done here. Let's let's pack it up. Let's pack it up here for game one. I I think we're pretty done after that one. Yeah, I, I feel like that's where you you know improv you go scene because I don't think the cast is gonna get any better than that, and I don't think the game is either. So I think we think we peaked <laughs> with the Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> this is my life. It's all good. We're vibing. We're vibing. We got Baron Jeez. on Team Buddha. We got all 10 players on the map back alive, ready to go, locked and loaded here yet again. But that's uh, that's not going to stay the same for long because we got a Drake spawning here. And I, I feel like if you're on Team Soda, you're just like, okay, we have a 0% chance to win if we just sit in our base and wait. We've got a 1% chance to win if we YOLO burger flip the dragon. So, like, get your spatula. Let's go. We're signing up for the Krusty Krab. Let's see it. Let's see it. This is this could be our, our last fight of the game. Zenith Blade not going to find anything. A little bit of poke flies out from the Varus. That's not going to connect either. Saikuno. Nicely done. Saikuno with the Goku cosplay. Just blasting their faces off with the laser. Now we got to be a little bit concerned for XQC. He'll die to Lakari. So at least one picked up in return here. It'll be a two for two trade. So far, actually. But now we got a little bit more breaking out as Blastoise is still ready to clean these guys up. That I, I didn't see the ulti. What ulti? I don't even think he pressed R. Doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. It's Irelia versus Varus. I can tell you exactly how this matchup goes. And it goes about like this. Sureforge is trying to get away. Trying to execute himself before Blastoise is able to collect the money. I might die, but you'll never kill me. <laughs> Enemy executed. Still the same result once it's all said and done. But now we got a Lowey back in the base trying to fight the Zoe. Zoe a hop, skip, and a jump away allow he's gonna chase Ooh. after him but this is it's not really favorable for allow because you can't go anywhere near zoe unless she completely screws it up well there we go a little bit of damage ah! no, you can talk now oh man just what a way to die there at the end the vessel into the oh, the slap bro <laughs> Uh, you can tell how this game is going when the Zoe tickles you with a paddle star, dude. That's uh, that's basically the entire game in a nutshell. All right, little um, little, little break there. for you, little break for you, little little unlucky there. That's uh, dude, Saikuno, Psych low key, Saikuno is shitting on them. Like, his his binds have been really good. No, his accuracy has been solid the entire uh, the entire time. Okay, now we got a little bit of a scrap. Soda popping again in a rough spot. 
Trying to get away here, hit that blast cone. He'll barely escape with his life, but no, Buddha gets that final little bit of damage to take him out. Kha'Zix tried to tank for as long as possible. It's actually a two for one. This fight has gone the way of Team Soda popping, but it will equal out at a two for two at the end of the day. But remember, look at the base. Look at the base. The Nexus. There's minions at the Nexus. They're kicking in the front door. They will not leave. They are knocking on the door and they will not take no for an answer. Which now finding oh, a kill potentially onto Sure 4 here. Okay, they got to protect him. They got to try to keep XQC alive. Can't play Rat Dota without the rat. Base continue their split push. What? <laughs> Just hit the Nexus, Blau. Just go hit the Nexus. No, no, no. They're fighting for honor. They're not fighting for wins. They're fighting for glory. Now Blaustoys on the Raffle Gator looking for the kill onto the Leona. Should be able to find that one with one more auto attack. And he backs away as the minions are cleared. You got to pad the stats. It doesn't matter if you win. It matters if you look good doing it. Nope. I can respect it. I can respect it. See how much longer it's going to take them here. Oh, God, they are just destroying them. Probably not going to take that much longer at this rate, my friends. Probably not going to take that much longer at this rate. There we go. Uh, okay, those lasers, man. These Lux lasers are hitting like a mid lane Lux who gives no fucks. Lakari tries to stand and fight, and he'll take one with him, and a beautiful extra cleanup from Sure4 as well. Nicely done, but now Lakari's in a bad spot. Here comes Giga Chad Harry, and Lakari don't have a chance, isolated. Oh, man. Oh, they, yeah, they, I wonder. How many of them were like, okay, what's going on? We should just end this. Get to, get to, get to the next game here. They got to triple inhib them. They got to go for the triple. They got to make sure it's completely clean. Oh, he jumped okay. in. Sure, four is gone. Okay, solar eclipse. They still keep on pushing. They're going to lose their Kha'Zix. So what do we got here? It's Buddha and XQC against the world. XQC trying to close the distance, get up there and help his top laner. But his top laner ain't trapped in there with them. They're trapped in here with him. Triple kill over to Team Buddha. The captain leads the way to a 1-0 lead in this best of three. Hey guys, what's up? Guys. It, it was Yo, oh my God, what a what's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh my, did that go how you guys expected? I was, was not more... expecting the Fifty Shades of Grey reference in the middle okay, of it. That oh, come was on. A, that's an amazing <laughs> seeing flowers unleashed and uncensored oh. on the broadcast. I gotta get these out of my system, as you might be able to get. Okay, them. Okay. I can't say some of this stuff on LCS. Right, so I gotta right. Say it here <laughs> well, it's it's perfect. It's been a joy. Oh Lord. Okay. Um. We're trying to check in and see how the bronze matches are going for third and fourth place, Team E-Rob versus Team Cutie. I'm not sure if we're ready to pull the feeds for that yet. Uh, it looks like Cutie's team is winning currently. Uh, we want to, we, yeah, we want to watch the bronze matches. Okay. All right. This is the, this is hyperbolic time chamber for casting, by the way. Jumping into a game mm -hmm. midway through it and trying to understand what the hell is going on. <laughs> It, like this is this is the shit that makes you great. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready to. Yeah, it, All right, E Rob versus Cutie for third and fourth like, place. Being like a Navy SEAL as a caster, you got to get dropped into any zone and be able to figure out what's going on immediately. Dropped into any zone in the dead of night. Mm -hmm. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Anytime, All right. hopefully, anywhere. Hopefully, this one's this one's exciting because all of the games that that Dom and Sanch had to cast today were very one sided, and so I'm hoping that they. They like they let that oh, fire it's too, up a little it's bit. It's too late. The game's over. No. <laughs> well, we know what state it's in. <laughs> no more. Okay, e Rob won. We, we figured okay, it out. So e Rob right, third place, Kitty fourth place. Congrats to their teams. Congrats, Congrats nice. to Team E Rob for picking up the dub and picking up the bag. Remember, there's prizes for first, second, and third. So third and fourth, that was actually a pretty important match. Hell yeah! Congratulations. Congrats, E Rob. Yep. Turns I out you can only buy so many subs for people. So. Rip, cutie. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we Damn, do still great. have at least one game left for XQC versus Buddha. This is or Buddha versus Soda Poppin. This is a best of three. So we have at least one more match. Hopefully two. We'll see how that goes. Uh, they're probably getting into their lobbies right now, setting up for the next game. Yeah. All right. Team Soda Poppin. Here's what we got to do. Here's what we got to do. All right. The Blaustoys bands. 
That shit's a waste of time. All right. Yeah, he just make it play two hundred years. He plays two hundred years champs. Every champ you ban out, yeah, it removes three or four years. Mm-hmm. Guess what? The man still got like a buck eighty five in the tank, no matter what. Doesn't matter what you do. Let him play it. Leave the Yasuo open. Hope that he's gonna be doing some black and white screen simulator shit. Focus on the other places. All I'm saying, invest in Lakari in the top lane. I feel like this could be your carry. Look at the stats in this game. I said it, and as soon as I say it, the man's got top damage in the game playing set. A pure oh my melee Lord, that's champion. That damage. Invest in Lakari stocks. It's kind of crazy on Buddha's team. The damage is pretty consistent throughout. They all kind of carried their own weight. There wasn't really one person that stood out a ton over the rest in terms of damage. And this is e Rob versus Cutie Cinderella stats graphs. Damn, the Heimerdinger popped off. Is that Heimerdinger from Arcane? Oh <laughs> That's my <God>. crazy, Slick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, we, didn't, we didn't mention Slick at all. Slick's a good dude. So, yeah, shout out, Slick. <laughs> He's a homie. Sorry, chat. Dude, he hasn't been on stream at all. <laughs> do it. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. Yeah. So, we've got. So, we uh, got our next game coming up. Oh, wait. What do we got? Oh. What do we got coming up? QD versus oh, Yeah, they okay, wanted yeah, to so, the stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is the this is the second look at the QD versus versus Erob stats here. Heimerdinger, the Alawi. What is with this Alawi meta here? And then Chocobars, who's I love her name is Manly Man Chat. <laughs> <laughs> Topping the charts with the Annie damage. Oh, I'll be honest though, like uh my, my ex used to do this. You name yourself something that like a dude would do just so you don't get harassed in game. Because you have like a really obvious female name. Some people be really mean, dude. Her name was uh, Senor Pinor. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Just name yourself something like Manly Man Chad. And then people will be like, yeah, dude, what's up? You're like, yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. <laughs> Just blend it. Just a bunch of dudes playing league. Just, just a just bunch, a bunch of, dudes of dudes being bros. Just a <laughs> bunch of guys being pals. Just a, fell- a bunch of fellas being boys. You know what I mean? Boys mm. being boys. <laughs> boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit shaken after game number one of this series i was i was saying i'm expecting three games but i really need to see a step up performance from uh from team soda pop in here i know that i said i want them to invest in lakari i still stand by that let's not waste time on the blouse toys bands again the man loves playing his flashy champs there's plenty of them but i also gotta say there's like to soda pop it in particular if you want the knowledge i'm giving you the cheat code right here my friend do you know what the best thing you could possibly do right here is? Skarner pick. Why? Oh my God. Why is oh. Skarner pick? Because Skarner is good at stopping people who want to make montages. Skarner farms Ooh. montagers. What are streamers? Streamers are the ultimate montagers. It's all content. It's all clips. It's all videos. It's all hype. Catch them in the middle of their own hype. Press R. It's point and click to give them the dick. That's all you got to do. And they're done for. It's a Skarner angle. Trust you could have been a great salesman if you didn't go into casting. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I, I, wait, didn't didn't you go to like something for like law or whatever? What? Crimin- you, oh, yeah. you have a degree in criminal justice. No, I have two degrees. One is Whoa! in pre law <laughs> justice, and one is in international relations and political science. I don't. I'd hire you as my lawyer. Ever at all? <laughs> I just talk about the new thing. <laughs> I, I, oh I, I feel like you got to use the law of one a little bit every now and then, you know. Just mostly just to say dumb shit and tongue twisters. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah, mental. Definitely hire twister. you. Definitely <laughs> hire you as my lawyer. <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, yes, it's a guy who graduated from college approved. This is a Skarner angle. This is this is this is informed. Like this is a professorial take. This is very much intelligent. This is high IQ. Play Skarner. It works. And don't <laughs> worry if you've never played it before. As someone who was once number one Skarner in North America, it takes zero skill. You can play with your eyes open. You can play it with a PlayStation controller. The only thing that takes less skill than Skarner is Yumi. And I am just being straight up dead serious with you guys right now. Skarner is just, it's so fucking easy to play. Just lock it in. Cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Yumi. I'm surprised we haven't seen Yumi at all in this tournament. I feel like she's so uh, good. Or did they she got, did they nerf her a bit? She got played in the last game there. Uh, that was mm. off stream. I saw it in the post game. Well, yeah, I think she's she also really good with Yumi because Yumi can drive Don't Skarner like a car. She won. Any champion whose oh. best trait is running at people <laughs> needs to be a Yumi car. Yeah, get, a, Yumi get a Garen passenger. So good. Yeah, that's why Yumi Garen was so good because Garen was the car and Yumi was the driver. 
Garen normally is just like, oh, I'm gonna get you, but Garen with a Yumi goes beep, beep, I'm a Jeep, and turns your ass into vehicular homicide. You might as well be playing Grand Theft Auto. That's why it's so good. It, pick yourself a meatball that runs at him, pick yourself a Yumi to hit the gas pedal, win the game. Nothing to it. Uh, I'm holding out my Team's Photo with opinion. the strats. <laughs> we'll see if they listen. I don't even know if they're like listening to the broadcast. Are they? Oh, I don't they're know not, either. I they're just not like supposed to, say dumb to be. Shit. <laughs> they're not supposed to be ghosting in this tournament. Well, I mean, we had Cutie paying a hundred subs for blue sign. That's I'm pretty true. Sure all, uh, that was a little bit of an oversight in the rules. We did not address buying out enemy teammates. That's not something that we expected. Did, so she kind of gamed us. Did she just buy the captain? Because like, no, she she bought Russell, comedy Russell. Oh. Sometimes it's all you got to do. Just just mm. just find the. I was, I was like, what about the other four members? <laughs> Look, in uh, situations like this, uh, can't start? Where's the like a boss fight, all right? You don't yeah. hit the armor, you find the red spot, and you mm -hmm. aim there. One shot. That's comedy That's all you need. That's one <laughs> shot. That's all you need. Easy. All you need. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, did I hear that we're getting into game two? Produce. I believe okay. the producer uh, did say something. I was talking at the same time, so I couldn't hear it. Yes. I'm just yoloing right now. <laughs> the producers are talking in our ears while we're having a conversation. <laughs> we're doing I our screwed best. it up. That's my best. <laughs> we're doing it's, our uh, best. Whoops. Okay. All right. So Should be a moment. Hopefully, hopefully, this is not our last game of the day. I don't want this to be the last one. I hope Team Soda Poppin' is able to strike back a little bit. Obviously, I would be I think. I think if you're if you're in the chat right now and you don't think that Team Buddha is a favorite to win this one, you probably mm -hmm. haven't been watching the games because they've just been like a step above. But I'm holding out the faith. I'm holding out the faith. They Prage the full three. Out. Prage for full three. Out. Okay, we are going into game two. The game is starting. We're gonna go look at picks and bands. Captain Flowers, Irene, thank you so much. Good luck casting. Thank Let's you. do it. All right. All right. Now they ban Aurelia <laughs> and Nunu. Dude, okay, I really a new new band away. I like okay. this. Um, Zyrene, I'm not really that useful in draft anyway, because I mean, I don't know. Yeah, right. I pick Skarner every game, so I'm just going to go hit the restroom and you talk to people instead. I'll be back. Yay. So, what's his little list say here? He says Cassidy, Nunu, Twitch, Yasuo, Akali, Aureli. Jesus. They, they like put like every champion that Blau plays on this list. And they've been banning him out like almost every game, trying to make sure that he doesn't get anything. Gwen Permaban, I know. Nobody yo, it's it's a little sad, but it is what it is. Yeah. I was hoping for a little a little Gwen action because I think Gwen was like modeled after Amaru a little bit, but I think one of the artists said at some point. So I thought that was that would have been really cool. Unluckers though. Unluckers. A Trendomir, wait, the Trendomir made it through. Wait a second. Yo. Okay. If you play cast. I'm going Renata. When you get low, I he said it. Nah, 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 nah. That, that, what, yeah, yeah. One of the one of the artists said they took inspiration for Gwen's look a bit from Emaru. I think she can confirm this. Yes, too. my chat, really my yeah. chat just bullies me because every time I bring up the Gwen thing, they're like, "You've already said this." They're sick of hearing <laughs> it. But like, how am I not supposed to bring it up? That's cool as fuck. I'm literally, my I'm literally Gwen. Page. One of the only things. <laughs> Gwen was partially inspired by Emeru. <laughs> like, come on, let me have my one fucking thing. This is my one cool thing in my life. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Emeru, Emeru talk. I'm literally Gwen. What the, is this a meme? Oh my yes. God. They got it down. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, I hadn't, I hadn't seen it before, so it was new to me. I, I, <laughs> thank you, chat. Uh, oh, my God. <sighs> so Soda, Soda is just dedicated to this, Lisa. Viego, okay, so I know when Flowers gets back, he's going to have a lot to say about this champion because I, I think this is one of the champions he hates the most in the entire game because it ruined solo queue and it ruined pro play for a very, 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 very long time. So I think he's going to have some opinions about this. So, and Giga Chat Harry, I think is going to be the one playing it. So we'll see. Sarin, you're always welcome, brother. Thank you, Twitch chat. I just, I address you guys as one entity because the, the hive mind is too powerful. One person types colon or D colon and y'all type D colon. And I, I love it. So, but yeah, yeah, yeah. What did I miss? You missed the Viego lock in. Oh, baby. All right. The ruined king that ruined the game for the past year is unleashed once again, except now he's in a more balanced state, and I'm curious to see if Giga Chad Harry can pop off. 
<laughs> oh god yeah but we with this game flowers is going to be probably in terms of like the number of champions that the number of champions that you hate and how radically you hate them this is this is oh, already wow. starting off versus a call oh wow is that a a collie do a collie trindomir yes this game is gonna probably have more champions that you fucking despise in one Bro, game if i'm on red all team pro play I am, together like if i'm on red team i don't care if i have to unplug the internet unplug the computer go outside and dig up the power line like demolish my house i am dodging this game akali and trindamir on the same team it's a fuck no from me wait do you think they're gonna play jinx from the the hit netflix series arcane oh the hit netflix series arcane produced by riot Whoa. games in combination Whoa. with netflix that took the world by storm and unseated Rip. squid game as the most popular show on the platform no way wow really how many awards did it win I, I think it was somewhere like greater than eight, but less than ten. I, uh, Damn, pretty sure. Yeah, these wow. it was a pretty impressive show. That's a lot. Oh, I, I thought I thought Soda was Xing out of the client, not the, not the notepad. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yep, that, that's about how I feel. Dude, they got a Renata. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. wait can I, okay. I don't even know what this champion does. So let me tell you. Let, let me sum up Renata Glask for you here, real quick. All right. All right so she has this noted, ability. Noted. The, the ability. She has two abilities that matter: her W and her R. Her R. You shoot out like a Sona ulti, and instead, it's more like a Seraphine ulti with the range. But instead of making people dance, it makes them auto attack each other. It's pretty strong. Very powerful team fight tool. And then the W. You cast it on somebody. If they die while it's active, they get three seconds to try to get a killer assist, and they'll come back to life with a low amount of HP. Now that's very powerful because it, it turns dives or overextensions on their head but it comes at the cost of unless you're actively getting use out of it you are still stuck playing renata glass and she's a pile of shit like her i see this champion feed so bad that they really just need to make her like an uber eats or a DoorDash or whatever the most likely food delivery sponsor for this streamer for otk would be just slap that logo on it she needs a skin where she wears that shirt because all she does is just speed deliver food to people she just runs it down every game i see this champion she yeah, is giga feet can't buy boots because i have no feet <laughs> what was yeah, that background he's like lu kari dude he's hey, got the he's just having a good time. <laughs> he's having a good time it's all good oh no dude yeah but i think they have a lot oh of shit better. Just okay. swipe, just swipe. Really? but so, dude yeah, okay so all basic ability revive <laughs> with the cassiopeia the big the big pink smoke that'll come out uh, in team fights is her ulti. That's the one that makes people fight each other. That's what you look out for. And then the other thing is her W bringing somebody back to life. Her Q and her E are just pretty basic spells that are rather unremarkable. But yeah, it's W and R. Unless she gets high value out of W and R, you're stuck playing Renata Glask and you're probably going to be less impactful than the other support. They're doing a strat. So you think you think the the Cassiopeia Renata is a good combo because the Cassiopeia can just like just like run right in. You sound like a motorcycle. I sound like. I sound <laughs> like a dude from South Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sound like, you sound like some fifty-year-old guy getting a getting a Harley for, a Harley. for his midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> oh god yeah yeah then she just runs straight at him and just like i guess hiss hiss or whatever the, whatever the fuck she does she's gonna she's gonna yeah. press the e the spamming papegas we have ascended we are officially papega boys mega papega reporting for duty all right let's do it this could be the final game of the tournament if team soda poppin is not able to respond to the absolute chattery that Team okay. Buddha okay, so is bringing to the team. I, I just really want to see how this comp comes Can together. I like, I know, I know you Buddha. don't play like like pros and like with each other, but pr champions still have abilities, and sometimes you might accidentally press the abilities together. So I just want to see <laughs> what happens. Sometimes you might accidentally layer your abilities <laughs> in the mm -hmm. optimal way. Mm -hmm. It happens. It happens. Like people are like, "Oh, they don't know how to play a poke comp," but I'm like, "Yes, but they press the ability and then they poke sometimes by accident." So, <laughs> right, it's all good. It happens. It happens. You for, you forget the disengage part and like keep your distance, but they do poke. Right. Okay. I get you. I get you. I don't know what that is. Okay. So a little bit a little bit of poke there from Renata. She also has she has no dashes or mobility at all. So if she gets caught, she's just dead. Okay. And she's up against a uh, lotion and a uh, and a Lux. She's up against so. Lucian Lux, yeah. So if Lux ever binds her, like they can kind of just yeah. okay, you're dead. 
yeah, against yeah, Renata. Yeah, I, don't been, but I'm I feel like. Yeah, I'm so confused. I don't know. All right, what, what the fuck is that Casio skin? I think that's the one from the waifu yeah, event. Were you? Did Which you one? Same. No, the the one where they literally put a dating the simulator for the Spirit that, Blossom dude? stuff in the client. I will oh, yeah, proudly yeah. say I got all the I way to the end of that sure event, and my uh, my homepage in the client still said "Begin your adventure." I would not click that <laughs> shit. I was like, absolutely not. I am not oh, playing Waifu right Simulator. Here? I am here to farm games and try to win a Skarner. I am not doing this shit. Hell no. Yeah, but I heard that a lot of people really liked it. So good job, Ryan. I, I think I played that because I was on a I was on a Lilia train back then. I loved oh, Lilia. You played it to. Bro, you talked it to hit up the deer waifu? <laughs> yeah, the deer waifu. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, All right. Any champion I can spam Q1, I'm a big fan. Right. Hey, I mean, I can agree with that one. That's yeah, that's yeah, yeah. philosophy right there. We got ourselves a 1v1, though. Giga Chad Harry gonna find Soda Pop in here in the top side river. Lakari's coming down to help Soda. Giga Chad Harry wants to get away from this one, but now we got a nice interception coming out from Blouse Toys, who buys him time with a parallel convergence. But it's Soda Pop, Pop, popping off for the first blood. Yeah, Soda needs to take this momentum. He's had some really, like, manly yeah. sin games in the mid-game, and he's, like, falling behind. He's, he's trying to make those plays. I see it every time. That one connects. That one's good. But he's got to get a little more in the future here. Oh, man. That was slick. I love that. That was great. He had the confidence to keep on chasing. He had the accuracy to hit the Q and make sure that he got the kill. Really well done from Soda there. Now down here back in bottom lane, Raffle Gator trying to turn this aggro back around here a little bit as Surefor steps up a little bit too far. Problem with playing a mage bot. Once you lose all the mana, you are done. Oh, my friend, see there. He comes back to life for three seconds. He has a chance to get a kill and stay alive. That chance does not end up getting procced. I am sorry you are still playing Renata Glass. The 2v2 goes the way of the Lucian Lux. So uh, if, if, when you get res like that, you don't get any mana. So <laughs> he was oom, um, just sitting there as the Cassiopeia. Yep, that not much bad. you can do when you ain't got no spells uh, on the mage. And uh, then, turn oh, away. Oh, no. Oh, no. Poor Mr. No. Poor Mr. Soda Poppin'. He, uh, he's gone flat, dude. Oh no! My man has lost his carbonation! Now he's just sugar syrup juice popping. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you hate God. to see it. You hate to see it. Hopefully he can find his way back. That first play was good, the second play was bad. It evens out at, at okay. Even sounds like okay. Now, keep your eyes on the Casio. Again, Casio is so strong in these, uh, in like a, a 2v2 where you have a good startup, but a good startup involves also having mana. I need to see the mana. All right, last time around, enemy team did a great job saying, hey, you're a mage with no mana. Let's just beat you upside the head. No problem. But now, Surefor is going to need to respond a little bit. Better mana management. And once you have no mana, like there's, you, you have to leave, right? There, there's nowhere else you can go. You got to go home. Yeah, see? Spamming Big Brother. They know. This is like, uh, this, is, <laughs> this, is, this is chapter six, verse nine from the book of Tyler. And I said unto him, you have no mana. And he was mad. Get ready to fight, get ready to fight. Now, bottom side, sure for it half HP. Amen. Sure for it half uh, HP. Cassiopeia. They're coming around, they're looking for it yet again. There Run. we go. Nice, nice play getting done there. They try to bring him back to life, but it won't work. But now Lucian's got to be careful trying to get away. Soda pop and going to clean up one. Oh. Oh. We're going to make it two and turn the play around. The Lux is down to a single hit, and the single hit goes through. Now they're still trying to outplay it here. Oh, he's going to arc? They bring him right Ooh. back. Beautifully done. Holy shit! He didn't get to R there either. The Echo had it just barely. Oh, he got God, his fizz so back. Close. He so got his fizz got back. His fizz back, baby. He's carbonated. He's hydrated. <laughs> Soda got his fizz back. Oh God. Dude, somebody in the chat said Soda lost his fizz. Now he's just juiced, and I was like, <laughs> that was like that was that one was actually pretty good. Soda got his fizz back and we got ourselves a game. Soda Poppin currently has all four of his team's kills. The yep. team is this, this on is his back right now. What's he going to spend this money on? What's he going to be, be, some, right, yeah, yeah. be uh, obviously, yeah, Give me some damage. Give me some damage. There we go. Working towards oh, the gore no. drinker. No boots. No boots. Does he have free ass boots though? I don't know what his secondary is. Secondary free ass boots. boots. Like if he has free ass boots, it's fine. Like, you, you can take free ass boots on Lee. That's, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that, 
Yeah. That that's the one thing from the riot office that I really miss is when somebody would say free ass boots, somebody'd be like, free ass boots, be like free, free ass, ass boots. boots, free ass boots, like right in the middle of like it would just be it would become free this chain reaction. Yup. It was like yep, yeah, it was like it was like sheesh before sheesh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh god right. i loved it loved it no, 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 no. Chill, chill, chill. dude this is uh this game is delivering in a way that it feels like the first game between these two did back in the group stage but now another engage it's xqc getting cut down sure four and raffle gator just chomp chomp chomping on him in the 2v2 sure four will die here the minion aggro ends up cleaning him up and now raffle gator's got to try to get away from the gank coming in from viego he should be able to finish this one off here a little bit more damage you'll get it done enemy slays and we got bodies hitting the floor on That's both sides and bottom strong, yeah. all right so i saw a little yoink there that he did like pulled him in That's one Renata, direction yeah, she can do that yeah, yeah. So, okay a slight Actually, yoink. it's not a blitz pull it's not even a pike toss it's it's a slight yoink a modest yoink one would say yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a it's a, a slight jostle but like the uh what else was that she, she made somebody like look fiery oh like That's they were going super saiyan um yeah effective hp that they can use they yeah, can use the that. HP. It's oh, explain it to me, XQC. Tool. It's the same thing. Hey, I'm gonna need you to top it up for a gang too, buddy. They don't die. They have more. They, yeah. they have more Wait, chance to play the game. Are you actually yeah. asking XQC to explain the deeper parts of League of Legends to you? No, no, I'm just listening to him explain it. Oh, I was, I was gonna say, I don't know explain if this is the effective trash. HP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if, if you have more HP than them, then you'll live. Yeah, this, yeah, we're doing, we're, we're we're doing like some John Madden League of Legends casting. If you're dying a lot, you gotta make sure you keep your HP above zero. If your HP is not above zero, you're probably gonna be dead. Nice play from Soda Pop and making sure he reduces the enemy jungler's health to zero there. That's how you get the kills in League of Legends. Set their HP to zero, you're getting a kill. Boom. Yeah, they they almost got his HP to zero though, but not quite, so that's not gonna be a kill either. So he's just gonna keep running around. Remember, he's got that big shutdown on him now, so if he dies, it's even more gold. Big gold. That's the pressure, man. That's the pressure, all right. All right, Soda Pop, and I got faith, man. I want to see this guy. Oh, also, look at the inventory. Slot six, free-ass yeah, yeah. boots. You right. He got the free-ass boots. Okay. He fab up in here. I love that. That's one of my favorite runes. Just getting to yeah. have the boots. They look nicer, too. Like, the old boots, yeah, the true. icon that they had back in, like, beta League of Legends that was Big old brown bags, game. dude. Yeah, they look like a piece of shit. The free-ass boots look really good. Like, if you're playing Fashion Souls in League of Legends, you absolutely want free-ass boots every game. Mm-hmm. 100%. The little, like, blue, like, trim at the top. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I like it. A little more polished. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. They, they fighting? They fighting big time here. The Lux dies first. Lucian tries to get a little bit of damage back here, but it is gonna be nope. Good night, XQC. And sure four picks up another. Down here in this bottom lane, Raffle Gator... And Surefor doing a great job with the Renata Cassio being able to step up and challenge these guys after a rough early laning phase. 11 to 7, 18 kills in 11 minutes. Yeah, I have a, I have a yep, here comes, uh, here comes the jungler. Sodi. Okay. Blaustoys is uh, getting jumped on by Soda here. Soda continuing to look for him. Meanwhile, in the top lane, we got a solo kill. Trindamir versus Alawi goes Trindamir's way. Blaustoys trying to reset his position here, using the Chrono Break to get on back, but no, sir. Oh Renata pulls him right back in, and sure, four is on a killing spree. A this is this game is going to be really rough for Team Buddha now because the Cassiopeia has a lot of kills, and then that Lee Sin can just keep taking his big old bag of gold he's got to different lanes. And then the Trindamir is just dumpster in top lane by himself. He's 2 0 1. He's on this little island. He's, he's just fine. He I looks like he's really enjoying the game. Look at his player cam. He looks like he's really enjoying the game. Okay. He looks like he's in business mode. Like, it's time to take care of this job, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't like, feel like look, you play look, Trindamere for fun. So I no, feel like you, you don't play, play Trindamere for fun. to take care of business. I don't think that's possible. He's absolutely there investing in him, though. I said invest in Lakari. Get Lakari stocks. Let this man carry. And sure enough, putting him on Trindamere is a way to do it. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, yeah, because he's just trend happiness. Yes, chat, exactly. <laughs> As whenever Viego dies, my average happiness goes up. Oh, Fuck Viego. Soda Poppin and his team, they got the enemy jungler dead for the next Ooh. 20 seconds, and they're looking to keep it going. Now, you've got an escape coming out from the Akali, but it will not oh, be. Oh, this gold. Blastoise trying to stay in a fight. Soda Poppin wanting to take one with him, but he can't quite do it. The punish and the vengeance for the Ruined King comes through. That was actually big. Blastoise just got a big old shutdown, too. So we talked about how there's all that gold on that uh that lease in how the fizz was you know 
bullet uh, popping over or whatever. I don't even know what to say here. Fizz it over. Fizz was popping over. Fizz was popping over. The next time I drink a carbonated drink, I'm just going to yell, the Fizz is popping over. Yeah, pour me a drink. Oh, make sure the Fizz don't pop over. Oh, God. I enjoy the fact that Despite being friends for however many years we've been friends, now you and I both continue to like actively lift each other up and make each other stupider on a daily basis. It's I think it's one of the reasons why the friendship is successful. Is, but, it, is it lift each other up or like you know go down together? Like we we. What on earth? What is that? This is so broken. I don't know. That one does. That one sounds like something else. I'm not coming. Oh God! We got Lucian going in for a kill though. Nice shutdown on the Cassiopeia. Pay big money, seven hundred gold. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, so they're they're almost back in this. That went as good as it could go. Champions are so trash. <laughs> Who just said that? <laughs> Who said their champions so trash? <laughs> Who was that? Dude, I don't know. I'm just looking at the oh, chat. It's all Gachi hyper engage. <laughs> It was Buddha. Oh no. Okay. All right. All right. I gotta. I gotta refocus my brain here. I gotta get back in the. Uh... Oh god. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I mean, he, 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 is it, he's playing Alawi into uh into Trindamir, right? Hey. So pretty Stat sure. Twenty nine. Who said most annoying commentators ever? Fuck you. To everybody else, you guys are awesome. All forty thousand one hundred and twenty six of you. You guys kick ass. All right. Back to the game. Yeah, fuck that where we're at. 15 versus 10. We got ourselves a game state here, my friends. I still think this is one of the best possible situations for Team Soda to be in, to be able to come back and take us to game three. I'm excited. Yeah, they're almost there, but I mean, they haven't completely run away with it yet. I think that the Trindamir is hitting that critical mass, though. We're like, like, remember when you were like, oh, you just say fuck your team and you just split push the whole game? Yeah. yeah. And no, Trindamir, you've uh, got to know how to say it. If you're playing Trindamir, one of the most important things you could ever know is when to say fuck my team and play for the PvE split push instead. It's so important. Giga Chad Harry, let's take a look at how he's doing because he's been pretty important in a lot of their games so far. Viego, very different from a Nunu, man. Nunu just gets to roll snowballs, have a good time. If Viego gets ahead, Viego's got to do the carrying, you know? He's not mm -hmm. the ruined prince. Uh, yeah, he's got to do everything himself and uh, at least he'll be able to pick up the Herald. At this point, well, I don't know what the fuck we do, but this could be Oh, is he going to give it to the... T uh, yeah. They're going to go top? Nah. Uh, oh. All right. He's going to try to get one of those objective bounties. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Just pick up some of that extra money hanging out on the rift turret destroyed that's not kind of the message that you want to be reading but you know what sometimes those happen all right harry where are we gonna go buddy where are we gonna go we gotta get involved we gotta make a mess out of this we gotta keep this game scrappy down here in bottom okay we might have a potential punish here onto the trend the let's see it xqc puts the bullets in his back and collects 700 yeah, so they end up having the trend the in bottom lane and they also lose the rift herald so that is not ideal wait 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 Oh, but topside. Oh, no, man. Harry was so close. But it just doesn't matter. You got to go all the way. The Casio is just going to keep on trucking. Sure, four, five, five, and five here on this Cassiopeia. This is going to be a problem later on in the games, Irene. Mm hmm. Yeah, Cassiopeia is like one of the most annoying champions in the whole game. Yeah, like personally, I just hate playing against her. I think the Miasma plus, plus all of the damage that she does in the mid game is really annoying. I mean, before they released things like Rework the Kali, I had a similar opinion, but now I'm just kind of in this boat where I'm like, hey, at least it's not a Kali, and then I can That's sort of survive any matchup. But now up here in the top side, let's see if Buddha's able to just put the whooping on Soda Pop, and yeah, he ain't worried about this at all. Didn't even need to drop the ulti. It's like you were talking about, man. As soon as he hits the E, Soda had to dip. He was gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you become a vessel, it's just so much, so much extra damage. You get, you get extra tentacle slaps. You get extra damage, another body to hit, so it's more healing. It's just, yeah, 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 yeah. As soon, soon as you miss the E, that's when you engage the Alawi. Yo, we have uh, somebody in chat said, when did Cassio get tail physics? That was a while back, and I also agree. Yeah. I love that change. It makes her so much cooler to watch. Holy cow, man, that was so close. Giga Chad Harry, he's missed out on two kills by like a single hit now. That's such a tilter. That's such a tilter, especially when you're two and four, and you're like, I could be four and four. Right now, I can yeah. be four and four, but instead, these two hits just oh, barely off the mark. Yeah, almost, almost, dude. But yeah, the tail physics, I think, it was the same time that uh, a soul got him too, right? 
and then they I released Aesol. I haven't seen that went, champion in so long, I forgot he's in the game. Yeah, I think that's like one of the big things. They were like, we got to work out tail physics or else this dragon ain't going to look good. And then they were like, might as well give him the Cassiopeia too. Okay, that makes sense. Look, look at, whoa, whoa, her tail is like extra slithery. <laughs> extra slithery? She got an extra slithery. Well, she like looped it on herself, dude. <laughs> this skin in particular. Oh, oh yeah. Slither, well, slither, <laughs> slither, 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 slither. Yo. Towers. Really fucking good. Just like I've a, never stared at her slither tail slither before dragon. like this. This is a little bit like. Farm that I ain't even high, chat. <laughs> and I'm looking at, I'm looking at the tail. And I'm just like, this is actually pretty trippy. Is this like. Is this like ASMR for your eyeballs? Just watching Cassiopeia's tail slither around. Wait, AD carries top. Yeah, it's a little soothing. Right, yeah. To start or okay. Cassiopeia tail. Good job. Ooh, ooh. Okay. He, he just beat him down. Dude, Lakari on the Trindomir. Lakari on Wait, the Trindomir is getting it done. Now back here on the bottom side, River, let's see what this looks like. Renata ulti going to find its way onto three as Surefour tries to kite it out. Buddha looking for something, but he ain't going to find it. Alawi is already down, and now the assault continues. One, two, three, four, count them up. There's only one player left alive on the enemy team. And there goes the last one. It is an ace. An ace, my friends. Coming out for the tide, the side. Of Team Soda. Oh, he, he's smiling, dude. Smile. He's got, he's got, he's in full Trendemir mode. He's actually, he's hit the power spike. He got a turret, dude. This is the peak endorphin rush that he will have. Yes, as a let's go. Player. We stand a happy Lakari as he tries to continue that pressure on the other side of the map as we continue marching towards a game three. We love to see her. They are so close to just tilting this game over completely. Soda's having a good one. Lakari's having a great one. They haven't had to go to his lane really at all. They've been able to focus bottom side, which which feels like it feels like if you put attention on the XQC here and you just start pressuring that bottom side, then you can actually stand a chance in the game. I don't know. Their bands too, like having Blau on Echo, definitely not as impactful as the other champions. Yeah, I mean at the I mean to be fair, Echo's one of those champions who doesn't have the immediate upfront burst of like the Akali or the Kassadin or something, right? Like Echo's damage is a little bit more delayed. Once you get Lich Bane, it cures it some, but you have to wait on the second part of your Q to hit. Yeah. Like it's, if he's, unless he's ahead. I mean, if he's ahead, yeah, he's still gonna one shot you, but it doesn't feel quite as effective, no. Yeah, and like you think about the champions he's played, Aurelia, Akali. Oh, oh, the tail physics! Renata ulti hits four and it just has them start punching each other upside the head. Lakari's ready to go and he's rampaging through all the remaining health bars. He'll look for the kills and Akali dashes through oh two because God. why should that champion be balanced? Four on the ground, only traded away for one. Blaustoys continues trying to retreat, but they're in hot pursuit. Soda popping, not gonna find the Q1 hit. Lakari's still spinning in, ready to go and looking for more. Blaustoys continues the full on retreat. You stop, you die, that's all there is to it. Blaustoys Blastoise escapes for now, but it'll be the only man on his team able to do so. That feels like as soon as the, like, Trendemir groups up, no. it's just over, dude. He's gonna just R in, he's just slicing dice in the back line, and then he got a Renata oh, ulti on top of it, too. So even if he did die, he would have been okay. The Renata ult was the, the, such, not the w, there you go. such good setup. I was, I was making fun of how Renata feels so powerless unless you're getting a lot of value out of her and just really finding the optimal situation a lot of the time. But God bless it if that's not what we're seeing here today. The Renata ultis are getting value. During the laning phase, the Ws was able to at least scare some people and give a little bit of value there. We've seen some really good yoinks. Honestly, this is a lot better than I was expecting. Generally, whenever I see Renata locked in, whether it's the amateur or pro level, I just expect it to be shit. I am pleasantly surprised. Oh, oh my god, god. He, he, they're just doing so well. I, this is exactly what you wanted, Flowers. You wanted a game three in the finals here. Yeah. I think I think we're gonna get it. I am so excited. Do we play uh first? Do we do we play silver scrapes for a game three or is that only a best of fives? Also, by the way, we do bear. I'm not sure. I'm not the streamer. I ain't gonna make that call. I ain't a producer. All right, fair enough. We'll just leave the question out there in the nebulous uh, open or whatever. Sure four, five, six, and nine here on Cassiopeia. Uh oh. Uh oh, Raffle Gator, run away, buddy. Run away. Oh no, he's dead. Well, not completely, oh, not completely alone though. A nice return kill coming out from Sure Four. 
Moving forward, Blaustoy still looking for the chance to do a little bit more damage, but a nice use of the stasis there to keep Sure4 alive, and the flash away thereafter only baits Viego into his own demise. Buddha doesn't have enough tentacles to be able to survive either, and that's a four for one, despite the fact that they managed to pick off the support at the start, yeah, and beautiful team fighting coming out from Team Soda. Yeah, and Deluxe isn't able to get anything here. This is actually just really well done so far. They're just, they just keep pushing this lead further and further. There's no real way for them to get back in the game on the side of Team Buddha. They're trying tooth and nail. But now they're just going to have the Trinomir knock it on the top. Oh, the FF! Whoa! The FF! We're going to game three! Let's go! <laughs> Holy shit, the script! The script! It actually the happened in game three! Yeah. Oh man. What a game! Oh my god, that Renato ult was crazy. And Soda! Sticking, sticking to Lee Sin even though you challenged him and proving you wrong, Flowers. No, I know! That was so Chad! That's what I love to see! Even if it turns into an ink, yes. even if it turns yes, into a Yes! Yes, thank you, Sinek! They go for it! <laughs> yeah, thank you, Sinek and Peckies. We got Silver Scrapes playing for a yeah. game three. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Peckies. Uh, so what do you think about this final game? What's, what do you think is going to happen here, Flowers? Do you think they're going to run it back? I just want to see the most chaotic game yet. Because remember, yep. we had we had this one, which was back and forth the whole time. We had the first one, which went all the way to 49 minutes. I want a game where if we go 60 seconds without seeing a kill, we have to genuinely ask if something is wrong. I want to see the most crazy ass bloodiest possible game of league to end this tournament right. That's all I want. And now I'm gonna turn my camera off to get into my game three cosplay that I promised. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. He's actually doing it. Okay. Hey. Oh my lord. I don't, I, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, yeah, wait, I, is he gonna? Hmm, I have a guess, I have a guess. Hmm. What are you expecting to happen, Zyrene? I'm expecting him to show up with his trucker hat. Mm, but is that really a cosplay? Either his trucker hat or he's going to go grab the... Mm. We, we have lobster claws uh. Uh, in the pantry. Uh, he might grab those for the Skarner cosplay. I'm not sure. Mm. But I, I, I think he's more of like he's going to go for like he's going to wear the thing he wore in the Team Liquid music video that they did that one time. That's what I think. He's going to wear mm -hmm. the hat from Over the Top, which is like a Sylvester Stallone movie, but I don't know if he's going to He's gonna... taking his time. Yeah, could yeah, be, yeah, it could yeah. be something fancy. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. We'll see. You, you have to rate it at the end of this. We, we both have to give him a rating at the end. We have to you know, okay, give okay. him a rating out of 10. Out of 10? Right? Out of 10? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, out of 10. Yeah. I, I don't know what system you're going to use on your cosplay show, but <laughs> give him a little <laughs> preview. Okay. That post game stats, sweet. Uh, okay, okay, let's see. Soda almost did the most damage. Wow. See, this is very different than the other games. Um, Soda was having. In too. Yeah, Soda was yeah, having well. like a little, little itty bitty bit of damage in every game. He almost was like barely out damaging support every time. This time, he just took over the game. So yeah, that's Soda, actually nasty. Yeah. His six hour warm up is over. He's ready to pop off now. <laughs> this time. Oh God, nobody beats uh, Soda three times. Yeah! yeah! I was playing myself from the video that I made with Team Liquid for Worlds last year after we didn't get out of groups anyway. You know what? Shit happens. It's fine. This is the official <laughs> merchandise hat from the 1980s Ew. Sylvester Stallone hit Over the Top, which is not only about truck driving, it's equally about arm wrestling. This is my look. Can I get a K-Kona in the chat, please? Because I'm ready to go, brothers. <laughs> okay, well, rock. ratings I the sunglasses <laughs> That that's a ten. That's a ten. I have to agree. I, 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 I like the attention to detail there. I like yeah. the Sylvester Stallone hat. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There's only My one man. way to do it. Why <laughs> choose between arm wrestling and truck driving? You can have both. Okay, we have a promo here now. For um, my cosplay contest, perfect time. Uh, the deadline to enter is March 30th. Judging will be on the 31st with Jessica Negri. We have a 10k prize pool. Submissions are submitted on my Reddit. To look over the rules and details, they are pinned on my Twitter profile. If you're interested in joining, it's going to be very fun. Wow, so cool. <laughs> Sign up now. 
What the hell are no. you thinking? You've never cosplayed before? <laughs> Look at my shit. I grabbed this out of the closet. You can do it too. Put some shit on, be it's a so character, true. have a blast and kick some ass. Sign up Thanks, now. Thanks to Captain Flowers. Thank you. <laughs> He's doing the promo for me. <laughs> <laughs> Best casters in North America. Oh, Lord. Yeah. I'm so it's excited for Game 3. I I, I called what the cosplay was going to be, too, because it's, it's your best one, man. You, It's my only you know. one. What are you talking about? It's hard <laughs> That's going to be your best one if you don't do any other ones. You don't have People a Skarner think... cosplay? We what kind of Skarner cosplay are you two purple oven mitts? I have no idea how to cosplay a scorpion. I mean, have eight legs. need a tail. Get a tail. Two. Just grow some legs, dude. Shit, dude. Why didn't I think of that? Wait, yeah. wait, wait. I, just, yeah. I don't have the cosplayer brain. <laughs> I mean, you, you've seen those. You've seen those like waifu Skarner things I've sent you before, with like the anime. Yeah, roles, unfortunately, like, have. Yeah. I have. Yeah, you just cosplay like that. Waifu Dude, Skarner. I, yeah, you can. You can like I've Google got, like waifu Google Skarner. This? Oh no. Uh, maybe there's like I don't know. There's like waifu, waifu Skarner. Skarner. There's like waifu rex size too. I don't know why these exist, but they do. They do. What do you mean you don't what know the why these fuck? exist? You are the exact person that these exist for. Target these audience. Just, <laughs> these are just like champions in League of Legends with anime booba slapped on as part of their character. So now. much under boob. I didn't know Skarner yeah. was built like that. No, what Skarner the... ain't built like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I pulled the tab. <laughs> See, I don't have <laughs> under boob for these skins. I, I I don't think I can pull that off, Zyrene. <laughs> mm, we just gotta get back in that gym, dude. Just, just gotta get back in that gym. Actually, you're right. I get I give you a nine out of ten for that cosplay. I lower it one. Not enough booba for me. Not enough booba. Oh, okay. Shit. Not enough right, booba for me. Sorry, bro. <laughs> I yeah. shouldn't have pointed it out. I'm sorry, flowers. I forgot. <laughs> Damn it! I lost the point. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, hey. At least you know where you can improve. You know, getting a ten, you just give up when you know you're on top. Now exactly. you can go be like back to the drawing board for the next one. Mm. Hmm. All right. All right. I know. I know what to look for next time yeah. how are we uh, how are we feeling about getting into getting in the next game producers are we are we close to our next draft because i'm really excited to see how they change for this one okay waiting on two players to join the lobby i've been told it's okay it's a streamer tournament sometimes people are gonna have like the landlord show up at the door or something random exactly. sometimes there's delays i gotta i gotta turn the air conditioner back on it's actually a lot hotter to cast in a flannel and a hat than it is to cast in <laughs> not a flannel and a hat so right all right we gotta speaking of streamer tournament the thing i was most impressed about today is everyone showed up on time in fact right? most people showed up early i thought that was crazy and it, it started at 2 p.m central time which is like those are early hours for most streamers it started at 1 p.m we'd have to stall yeah it started at one specific time yeah well our call time central, was central one. Time was two. Well, no it started at central time was one our call time was one was central it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Irene, did you not read yeah. the paper thing? Yeah, yeah we no, no. I, I, I only, like I only cared about intro. me. So. All right, that's fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, so I, I guess that's not bad because, like, at least you put it at a time where gamers will wake up. Anything before noon, they're, they're not going to show up to you on time. I yeah, that, that, yeah no. No. I mean, I think even most viewers want to be around for that time. Just, True. Well, except for EU, but uh, this is not an EU friendly stream unfortunately oh we've just been okay. informed champ select time they, i can't do eyebrow flare stuff when i'm wearing the sunglasses because you guys can't see my eyebrows so part of my like stupid physical comedy is now defeated by my own physical comedy joke and now i feel bad but it doesn't matter because we're not even on the screen anymore so let's see what we got um Okay, hold on. What is that second ban? I have oh sunglasses on. Renata. Okay, so they banned Renata out because they're like, we don't really even know what this champion does. Let's not play versus it again. They keep Gwen away from Lakari. It's Irelia. It's Cassidy yeah. banned. They're keeping Trindamir away from Lakari. Lakari's drawing bans now. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think he deserves those bans after that game. Like you saw what one Trindamir game did. He was just, he was just too hard to deal with. So like, even if they decided to destroy the rest of the map, there there was still this Trindamir that was just trucking their towers down. He got so much work done before anything even happened in the game. I just prefer not to pick top. All right, I want to see what they pick. All right, let's see. We got the Lux. I like the Lux. I like the Lux a lot. Saikuno Lux. He's been dialing in the skill shots. You want to get the win here in the final game of the day? You put him on something that he's able to be the playmaker on, and that is it. That is it right there. Ooh. But the response coming out. Oh, is that? 
I believe it is. That means we're going to get the Akali Kane. These are two champions that are going to one-shot you if you're squishy, and we got two squishies on the side, or on the other side, excuse me. I always keep, like, not calling it team. I almost always call it Team XQC because we're on XQC's viewpoint so often, so I always have to correct myself and catch myself. It's Buddha, myself. yeah. Yeah, Team Buddha's got three squishy champions against two assassins. This is a little concerning. Yeah, and will the Yasuo for Blau as well? So uh, he's going to be on his signature champion that he's well known for. You know, the guy who 1v1 Tyler won and actually won that one time. Yeah. And he's also got a Yasuo tattoo. You see in the bottom of his screen? Yeah. Oh, is he's that got a Yasuo sleeve. tattoo? Yeah, he's got, a, oh, cool. he's, got the, he's got the Yasuo sleeve. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, hey, we're back. What's up, Emmy Oh, Roo? I'm back. Hey, guys. <laughs> oh, bye, Emmy Roo. All right. Well, that hey, was bye. <laughs> just a quick visit. <laughs> wave hello, wave goodbye. All right, we're back in draft now, I guess. We got Mordekaiser, too. So, Lucario will be back on that one. Remember, we saw that in game number one, the first one of the day, back in groups. It was Lucari Mordekaiser. But, uh -huh. unfortunately, wasn't able to carry on that one. XQC oh, wow. had the Ash, just like he has here in this game. So he's got to be worried about getting kited. Oh, who, who is he banning? What about your Zach? Uh, who they banning? Let's see. Relax, man. Let's see. We got no Alawi. We got no Kha'Zix. We got no Zeri. We got no Leona. Oh. Okay, I need to see. I need to see both bottom laners from Team Soda, and I need to see a solo laner in a jungle from the other side. Okay, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of yoinks here. Ooh, we got the Swain. Okay. Swain, I also like Swain into Squishies, like a, a diver, like a Yasuo or something. You just pop your ulti, press your Zonias, and then spam emotes. I'm about it. I like this. Is this what? Where's Swain going here? You think he's support? You think he's bot? Yeah. They're doing the same thing. Did you say they're doing dog shit again? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, I I don't know, dude. It means they're playing a mage and not a uh, an AD, I guess. Those okay. Things uh, happening. No, All right, just scrapping it up a little bit. Okay, so Hecarim and Set. So we got some front line now. We got some guys that will hopefully not die instantly to to Kane and Akali wombo combo. What's the final pick of the draft? What's our AD carry here for Team Soda popping? Thinking about Misfortune. Okay, Misfortune Swain. This is super dangerous. You get caught out by a Swain pull, the amount of damage they can put, the burst that they can throw down on a Lux or an Ash, really strong stuff. But at the same time, very low range compared to what Ash and Lux are able to do together. Misfortune ever walks up, tries to do anything cheeky, boom, volley fires out, slows her down, knocks off the strut, Lux can hit the snare. We know that Saikuno is able to do those. Wham, bam, thank you, man, and it's done. So, it'll come down to who plays better. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what I think of this. Like, the misfortune pick to me is like, he's got to get he's got to get a lot out of the lane phase here. And he's got Swain as his support versus Ash Lux. So, he's going to have to get a decent amount here because later on, the Yasuo is just going to put up that wind wall. Block the alties if you, if you can. I was uh, I was actually expecting him to go back to Varus here because Varus was open, and that was the champion oh, that he yeah. had such a good performance on. True, true. I thought, I thought well, I he could poke, poke, but... Sort of comp, I, um, I mean... No, I feel like Varus against Yasuo just feels like really rotten to play, though, because he just win walls, and it's like, hey, uh, you suck. The space jellyfish! Nothing, nothing that you do will, will work past my win wall. So, at least Misfortune can... Throw an E, I guess, over a wind wall and try to stop his ass from running, make him overextend past his own wind wall or something. But yeah, Varus yeah. is one of those champions. I just feel like literally everything he does is automatically stopped from wind wall. But as long as Misfortune doesn't fire her ulti right into a wind wall, I think she'll feel all right. I think. Hey, hey Big Sauce eighty eight you know. in the chat says they've never watched League before, but this tournament's one of the best things they've watched all year. I consider that. A oh, fuck yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's, that's like the, one that's of the, the highest kind of stuff we like to read. Exactly. That is the best kind of stuff. Hell yeah, Twitch chat. All right. So let's see how quick this turns Ooh. into a They're level one. They're level one. one. Level one invade. Let's go. Level one invade it in the final game of the tournament. Swain leading the charge. They got a lot of yoinks. So, you know. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. okay. Nope. All right. Nobody's going to get caught. Nobody's going to get caught. It's no big deal. But they are going to walk it back out. They don't want to overstay their welcome. This is actually a very Stop controlled board. response. I feel like in a solo queue game, half the people end up staying, still trying to get a cheese kill or go to the red, and they just somebody ends up dying for something stupid. So good call. Good call. Everybody backing out.
And that, the thing that's disappointing to me is they didn't even drop a word at all, like to see the path or if he even started there or anything like that. Because like now, now they think he's starting bottom side, right? Okay, so I feel like he's going to their red. Oh yeah, but that's the thing. In lower skill, in lower skill games, in base oh, right just him. for kills, right? He's, he's going to run right into games, him. You drop wards. There's no wards getting dropped yeah, yeah. because we're we're playing on like an average gold or silver level. So it's all about just getting a kill. You didn't get a kill. The invade doesn't matter. But now it's about to matter because he's oh, it in and he spikes it away. Oh, Giga Chad Harry, no, this start sucks now. That sucks oh. now. Yeah, he started on Raptors. They thought maybe he was at blue or something like that, or that they could do it faster. But yeah, you got to pull that thing into the bush, man. No, they just ended up leashing it instead. Oh, that is a tragic start here for Team Buddha. Mm -hmm. Their jungler is going to be behind Andra Hecarim, who doesn't really feel super good in the early stages of contesting the enemy jungler in neutral territory anyway. So... This horse is just going to have to take whatever camps are given to him, and if the enemy wants it, let him have it. Yeah, dude. Oh, oh man. That was oh. close. That was close. Yeah. Soda definitely got his fizz back this game. It's already started off on the right foot for him on a cane, too. Like, and actually, the fact that he, like, warded over the wall was really interesting as well, because I think... Or did, you know, did he ward? It might have just been the cane thing. I had to, I had to look back at it, but whatever. Oh, like the cane orb that shows up to let you yeah, know? Yeah. It, it shows exit point. Yeah, right. Ex exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Shows like shortest distance. Oh. It shows that you can eject it. It's nice little blood in the game. bottom lane. Wait, Let's see if Soda tank. can clean up the ash here already. We got the trades back and forth. Okay, Miss Fortune grabbed it, but she ran back in the minions. Nice. No, you had to run the other way, brother. No. I'm going Oh, that's tragic. Miss Fortune just needed to run away from the minion wave, but instead takes an extra volley Ooh. of attack and ends up dying. Meanwhile, back in mid lane, uh, yo, it's Fillion. assassin versus assassin as Fillion's able to get the better of Blaustoys for the time being. Yeah, Fillion had a pretty good Akali game last game, too. I mean, granted, everybody was doing well in that game, but Fillion actually, towards the later half, was having some really nice plays, so. Go VTuber! <laughs> <laughs> The power of God and Hell yeah. not be ignored. But, now. But there, there were a lot of VTubers in this, and Fillion's the only one in the finals, so, you know, Fillion's got to represent them all. Exactly, right? Let's see if let's see what Fillion can do. Because Blaustoys has been having a good performance so far in this tournament here. Game tied up 2-2. Two to A two. lot of violence there in the bottom lane, resulting in some pretty even trades. But now let's see Blaustoys go in, looking for the opportunity, but Akali can just disengage it with the smoke. Not really any difficulty. Oh, but now here we might have a little bit of a scrap. Early game Hecarim versus early game Kane. Neither one of these junglers feels very Chad. They're just like, all right, let me scale up a little bit so this doesn't turn into much. God. I wonder I wonder how much he's going to int for orbs. Like that's, that's like the number one Kane thing that I see is inting for orbs because you have to be active as Kane. And you have to be active in a really shitty form unless you're doing it in the first like three levels like he was doing there. But... This feels like a, a, I mean, I guess every game kind of feels like a red ga red cane game, you know? Oh, no. Blue cane has been much more popular in recent times. Is he now? Oh, Yeah, good. blue cane's been much more popular. That's so, red, that's red so much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank God. People have, people have been doing blue cane a lot more often. And also, it's still, the old rule still applies where you can kind of see which cane it's going to be, or at least which cane the guy wants to be by the keystone. Red cane still always takes conqueror, where blue will take either first strike or dark harvest. So mm -hmm. the next time Kane comes up on the screen, we'll just look at the keystone and see which one he wants to be. I would expect it to be blue. The thing that I generally always heard from high level Kane players as well is you can go blue as long as there's three one shotables on the enemy team. You want to be able to one shot over half of the enemy team if you go blue Kane since it's his only play pattern. And when you look at him, you've got an Ash, you've got a Lux, and you've got a Yasuo. That's three one shotables. This is a blue Kane game to me. Yeah, Kane gets to the point too where like when you have enough uh, what is it, ability haste instead of cooldown reduction. <laughs> Even if a big hate. What was the voice? Yes, all ability hate. So you can actually just stand in the wall and then spam W. And you just basically poke. You just like become like a long range poke bot. You just weave in and out. Yup. Easy enough to do. What, what, what is that emote that chat has? Wait. Nerge. <laughs> nerge. <laughs> You've never seen Nerge? It's I've never great. seen it's Nerge, but it fits it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> all right oh, Zyrene no. will have to reprise the nerge voice now because this it's is great. really it's this great. is working out oh, so wait, well okay, okay we'll keep an eye on the cane as we keep going three to three 
Back and forth trading. This one's nice and scrappy. All right. I hope one of the streamers hits tab soon so I can see which Keystone Kane has. Um, producers, if any of you guys know... Okay, we can't actually see which Keystone that he has here so far. He doesn't have it shown. Um, producers, if you guys happen to see on any of the different viewpoints which one he has, can you please let me know? It's no big deal if we can't find out. Like, we'll eventually get to see what he evolves into anyway. But he, this is the way that we can try he, to see more smart. He's got to he's gotta have Conqueror, right? Because when they went to him, he didn't have any of the little buffs above him. And he would have had a Dark Harvest buff or a First Strike, right? I think First Strike has, like, a buff that ticks. I don't know. I don't know. I've never played First Strike because First Strike Skarner sucks. I don't actually know what the UI of it looks like. Uh, so, my bad there. Skarner betrays us a little bit on that point. But we do have Giga Chad Harry with the Phase Rush Hecarim, so he'll be ready to go. Uh-oh, back in mid. Wildstoy's trying to disengage from Philly in here. Philly in with that Akali. Half HP on both of these players. Giga Chad Harry waiting back underneath the Tier 1 turret, ready to swoop in there with a devastating charge. Oh, but Fillion lost out on the trade, so Fillion has to back away. But now Kane's ready to go. There's Whoa. your flash. Soda Pop and goes for the W, but he can't find it. Soda He's Pop level six. is level 6. The Hecarim only level 4, but the problem is still unevolved Kane. This is not a strong champion, but it's strong enough to be able to win out in the 2v2. It's only level 4 Hecarim. down the horse, try to turn him into glue. Here we go, buddy. Giga Chad Harry, run away. Run away, Harry. He tries to stand and fight. And Fillion turns him into a bottle of Elmers. Oh man, yeah, he's so far behind now. That start was absolutely horrid for him. Spent so much time just leashed for the cane. The cane is so far ahead. He's getting orbs. Yeah, yeah take a big drink there, Blau You know this is gonna be a stay hydrated. Be a hell of a game. You gotta stay hydrated for it. All right, gotta find some miracles. Nice 2v2 though, nice 2v2. This is why the speed that you're clearing the camps and like the tempo that you've got in the jungle matters so much. Why that level one was so important. Level six versus level four, not even mm -hmm. close, man. Not even close. Yeah, that is just an absolute demolishing here. He's gonna come through the wall. Okay. Our Ash is trying to disengage. XQC wants to get out of town. He'll try to That's escape from the kill. Swain. But a nice pull means he doesn't get away. And now Saikuna will try to at least take oh, one. He'll get the Swain. He'll get the Swain. So he'll make his death a one for one. Blaustoys arrives in bottom lane, but it's a little bit too late to find a whole lot of anything. He's not fed enough to try to jump in and get something yet. Uh, let's see here. Soda Poppin's walking away. Does this give Blaustoys the confidence to go in for the kill on Misfortune? I'm watching those icons in the bottom right very mm -hmm. closely now. But, okay, looks like Blastoise might be going for it. Tries to find the knockup, but can't get there. Nope, not quite. But, oh, man, it's just a rough start for them, dude. They're falling apart. They are falling apart. They won the first, they won the first match that these guys played together. They won the second one. And you're about to get 2 0 back to back here if Team Soda take this, man. There's this... Ooh, okay. Yeah. Misfortune. Clear, uh, misfortune all just to clear out the wave. wave there. Exactly. You're just pushing the wave out. You're giving yourself a recall timer. This is more of an advanced strategy than I expected to see in this tournament, I'm not going to lie. I don't normally expect to see people alt waves like for recalls in lower skill play, but that's a good call right there. Just guarantee that you get to back, guarantee that the wave goes forward, make sure that you have that good tempo, and boom, you're right back out. Soda popping and just continuing to farm up here, wants to get that evolution ASAP. Even though he's building a Gore Drinker, remember the Blue Cane will often build this item as well. Uh, the one thing that has me wondering if he is going Blue Cane is the fact that he does not have a tier not building toward the Mana Mune yet, because that item is often very powerful. On the he's also, he's also Red I think he has Conqueror. I think he has Conqueror. I just saw the tab. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Conqueror. So yeah, yes. he's got Conqueror. So he's if he goes Blue red. Kane, his, key, his yeah Keystone is almost completely worthless on Blue Cane if you go Conqueror. Like just yeah, because he's you're gonna always going to one shot somebody before it stacks, right? So this should be a red Cane. I'm expecting. Yeah, I think he, he seems like more of a red Cane player to me here. In in terms of like his play style, he doesn't seem like this super aggro. Like even though we saw his Lee Sin like jumping in and stuff like that, I feel like having a little more consistency in like Team CC on this team in particular would be helpful. Because mm. Akali's pure damage, uh, the Mordekaiser has one CC, the Swain has one CC, and a Yoink. Like, you need a little bit more here to keep this team locked down, especially against something like a, a, a Yasuo. But blue is more Chad. It, you true. You, I, I do you agree. You orange KDAs when you play blue. I was a much more, like, blue player. Even though that's uncharacteristic for me. It's important. It's, it's it was important. fun. 
Like, I like the long right. range on the W. That did it for me. Yeah, the W is so slick because you never have to stop moving to cast it. Mm -hmm. Abilities that you can cast while moving always feel the best. And now they're starting up the Drake. Can Giga Chad Harry try to get in there and stop no, it in time? No, he's not going to take the risk. I like that call. There's no reason to risk that. Might, uh, are we okay. going to get any more? No, it was just a hawk shot. It wasn't an arrow. We're good. So I, I feel like Emeru was actually right in that Soda is now done with his six-hour warm-up. Because he's okay. actually, he's, he's playing well right now. He's going to... Uh, all right, what, is he is he going to int for the final transformation? This is the this really is the key. These orbs. This is the key point. You can pinpoint this moment for Kane players where they almost have enough to transform or get that transformation clock going. They just need to hit like one more person. There's one well, there's more no person. point in doing it bottom lane because you're gonna get the wrong orbs. If he wants to get it, it needs to be either a duel against Hecarim or it needs to be a gank in one of the solo lanes because you only get blue orbs from Ash and from Lux. So even if he ganks he starts down here... the primer and stuff, right? Okay, Swain's oh. going to pull him in. We got the fight already breaking out, but it's already gone the other way. They tried to set it up, but it just gets knocked down. Soda Pop and buys a moment extra here with the ulti. They at least lead him back into the bullet time. One more kill. Okay, we got one traded back. Akali, Fillion trying to make this happen. Throwing out a couple of more cues. Hecarim's got to get away. Giga Chad Harry barely staying alive. Fillion doing the same. Harry survives. The triumph going to heal him back up a little bit. It's 8 to 8 at 12 minutes. This is the final I wanted. Yep, that was just absolute disaster. The cane goes in. There's an absolute just blow up there at the very beginning. So it's they're already down a dude. And he, he did get red cane, and he is transforming into red. Oh, nice. Okay, we've got Rost up and sorry, running. Sorry, Rost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't care what you call it, dude. Cane players don't like it when I say blue cane, red cane. They like it when I say Rost or Shadow Assassin. Because they're like, he's, he's, not, he's not red in this skin. Wow, red cane. He's pink. <laughs> Top it's top true. Top There's top also top a skin where he's blue. Now. The he's green. Is too good. It the really is. I'm almost dead. Especially because Kane has the reputation of yep. being like the yep. edgy e-boy champion. So it's just the nerge makes it that much <laughs> <laughs> It's not red. It's raw. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit all right all right all right let's let, let me focus back up a little bit here because we got xqc landed arrows Ooh, baby boom they just smoking them in this 2v2 the accuracy continues to be a difference maker and the two for nothing for team buddha's bottom lane damn team buddha's bottom lane. <laughs> here comes here comes ross here comes ross okay saikuno been playing out of his mind though so Gonna... Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, protect protect this, this, protect the package. I, I don't think this is. I don't think this is playable for Ross. As long as Saikuno is just able to use the binding, he missed it. So the at least Ross was able to go underneath the turret there a little bit more. But yeah, there's there's no way that you get away with that. Blue Cane might be able to get away with that. Red Cane can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue Cane, you just gotta weave in and out and stuff like that. So he's going for that red. Yeah, Giga Chat Harry. He he has gotten a lot of Rift Heralds in this tournament. He's like a top side player early. Even even when he was behind and stuff like that, he likes to he like to play to like mid and rift herald. I like it though. Rift herald's good. Like it helps you open up the map. It can help your mid laner do a little bit better. Like if your mid laner's doing bad, you can just knock down the turret and just say, hey, forget this lane. Let's get out of here. I mean, same for top, right? So they'll at least be able to pick this one up. No contest there on that herald. Curious where they're gonna drop it. Where do you think the most value is gonna be, my friend? Do they want to go for tier two extra money top? Do you want to open up mid, or do you want to prepare now for the two v two as they're trying to go after Blaustoys? Harry keeps his mid laner alive. Yeah, you always want to use it someplace that you can. Oh wait. What? Oh, oh, soda. Nice soda. Trying to tank long enough, but it doesn't quite work, and Blaustoys stays alive just barely. There's your cleanup. Akali makes it a one for one, but now can and get away. Set tries to go for the face breaker, but immediately they're ready with backup from the rest of the team. The misfortune ulti coming through, but a response kill goes out thanks to the Lux. Here comes Mordekaiser. Harry's trying to get out, but he's got him in his clutches. Okay, I I, I don't know who's winning. Like <laughs> I don't know if anybody is at this point. That's a Rift Arrow that just gets dunked on. They're going back and forth. It's 12 to 12. Like that is so hard to follow, honestly. I the I have no words are winning. for that. We are They're getting just like, 12 kills versus 12 kills at 15 minutes. Everybody watching is winning this game of League of Legends. That legitimately was like, oh man, Soda got baited into that. And then they're like, oh, here, go, here goes the Akali across. Oh, and then it's like, oh, I'm baiting you into Misfortune. It's like, no, I'm actually baiting you into this guy. It's like, oh God.
Uh, 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 like Saikuno uh, comes in from the side. It was just. Uh, I, I don't think any of them knew what was going on either. So this is such a good final. This is such a good final. Yeah, this is exactly what you want. Give me dragon. All right, 12 to 12. Anything can tip the scales. Anything can make this game different. So what I'm looking for, I'm looking for setups on Blaustoy's ulti, and I'm looking for arrows from XQC. That's what this squad needs. On the other side, I'm looking for good MF ulti positioning, and I'm looking for Lakari to isolate the right target here with his ulti. The dragon's going to be secured by the red side, and now we got the team fight already breaking out. Soda popping here in the middle, looking to tank it up as Harry tries to disengage. Kane ulti going to come right back out. Stasis on the Akali, followed up by an exhaust XQC with good accuracy once again here, looking for the Swain. But now, oh, the, auto. the Chad, the Chad himself, he baits him in. Nicely played from Team Buddha. They get the dragon, but they lose too, man. That auto attack, like, that's the thing. You got to weave those autos in if you're playing Ross. You can't just be all. Oh, the spells you can't you can't just be spamming Q that's Skarner 101 good so good at the fights these guys are doing it well team Buddha striking back clawing their way back into the game after things were a little bit rough early and now they're the ones in control with a man advantage on the map they're able to push up and look for objectives too of course Seth's gonna be a little bit concerned about all that tower aggro plus an ignite shouldn't burn away his natural regeneration I think will help him survive yep drops down to 78 but not actually in danger we attempt to see a Swain snipe, but unfortunately that ain't Invoker, so it ain't gonna happen. And then back over to Harry. He was so close to dying in that last fight, but he had no fear. Just dashing around the whole fight. Gallop, gallop. This is good. This is good. This is what you need to see. Harry recovering back into a playable position in the game after the awful opening. Yeah, Saikuno's been doing work in this entire series. Like, every game I've seen Saikuno, and I've been really impressed by his Lux cues, getting the double bindings, getting long-range bindings, the brand stun. All right, he is actually doing really well from what I've seen. Wait, is he 11-2 and... 11-2 and 2? Yeah. Yeah, that's Saikuno. He He's got 11 of his team's 14 kills. Support yeah. Lux... <laughs> has nearly as many kills as the enemy team. Okay. Support Lux. Harry, you're doing good shit, buddy. Saikuno is just absolutely carrying. He is securing man, the kills. He is securing How does this man's them. back support this much? Wait, what is his exercise regimen at the gym? I gotta know what this guy is doing. What is he eating for breakfast to be able to carry like this? Absolute hero plays. Hero plays on the Lux. God, he has been doing so well in terms of the bindings too. He's been he has actually been keeping his team in this. So during during like the start of the game, when everything's getting settled, maybe there's some times where he's a little too aggressive out of sync with his lane partner, but it doesn't matter, dude. He's just pulling up with those really good bindings and really good uh alties. Let's see. Oh wow, right into it. There it is, Soda. He's in a 1v3. Okay, a little bit of backup now from his ally. Luckily for XQC, that Akali Shuriken didn't find the mark. Oh! The Mordekaiser Claw throws XQC back over the wall and he has to flash away, but now the re-engage coming out from Harry, but he's immediately thrown into the Shadow Realm. The shutdown on the Lux, the money. The money goes over to Fillion, and Harry's died now as well. They go in over the wall, and XQC's got no way out. Three nothing for Team Soda on that one. And the Akali got that shutdown gold on Saikuno. Akali just chased him all the way to the back. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Is he dead? Oh, the knockup. The knockup. No, not. A beautiful bait. A beautiful play there. Make it a 4 nothing for Team Soda. I'm stopping mid. You think they'd be called Team Soda mid? I don't know why I enjoyed that so much. I really did. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I really did. I just, it just, I it it. just crossed. When you said Team Soda, I was like, it's very, it's I don't know, dude. Good. Normally, I, normally I hate puns, but that one was really good. <laughs> okay. I mean, he, I know, right. I know, he plays jungle chat. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. Okay, we're good. I've I've recovered from the soda comment. All right, he's in the jungle though. Three, three, and five, taking advantage of the fact that for some reason the enemy team was trying to collapse on him on, and blow him up. Red Kane is so good at baiting people in those situations. Just jump into the tank, recover half of your health, and buy time for the rest of your team. Fillion being there, able to follow up too. Like these guys are in a really good spot to be able to really send this game home now. Looking back over at the misfortune, one, four, and ten. All of the assists. Misfortune has assists like the like the enemy Lux has the kills. But it's working is that out. meme, dude. It's that meme where like the support is like the, the ADC has like a negative score line, looks over at the support, and it's like this Chad support with like eleven kills. Like, yeah, dude. Alright. Can I get one, please?
I just want to see. Let, let, I want to see him move the game ahead a little bit because we're currently still in the in the phase of let's fight just because their health bar is red and we need to kill them off of our screen. I need to see a little bit more rewards coming out for these fights because we're not getting a whole lot after the fact. One of the big problems here for Team Soda, despite their slight lead in kills, look at the mini map, my friend, because there's still a lot of turrets standing, and by a lot of them, I mean all of them on the side of Team Buddha. Whoa, Only two whoa. tier ones have fallen. Blaustoys is jumping in, and we already got a kill coming out. Now they got to be careful as number two. Two immediately arrives and sure four is surely dead now can they try Dude. to get anything back yes they will soda pop and doing a good job but he gets cut down by the laser now can philly and get anything back no the akali will be exhausted and destroyed that is team buddha's ticket right back into the game four for two and I think, like, we just performed some alchemy here. This game, the scoreline can't get away from each other for more than three minutes here. It is back to 18-18. It's like, I thought that last four kills were just going to do it for him. Nope, nope. It's four for two in return. Even back up. Bro, if this, if this, if this is alchemy and your team soda, that last team fight is the, the little girl and the dog. I don't know what that image means. Oh, no. I always see people get tilted by it. I always see people get tilted by the picture of the anime girl and the dog, and I don't know why everybody always gets so sad, but that's what that fight was if you're on Team Soda. That was anime girl and the dog. Flowers sad. Flowers doesn't watch anime, guys, except for, like, Death Note, and I think you've seen, like, Code Geass and, like, stuff like that. But, good lord, does he just want to tilt you weebs. Like, he knows the triggers. He knows the buttons to press. I don't know what any that, of the buttons mean. That was, but I that wasn't that people cool. People get very distressed at the little girl and the dog. That was not cool. One day you'll know. One day you'll know. Well, if you're uh, if your Team Soda, that was also not cool losing your AD carry there in the mid lane. Nice pick coming out from the other side, man. Team Buddha, they're coming together now. They're making this happen. 37 kills in 22 minutes between these squads. Baron is the call. Baron is the call. Team Soda, you got to answer. You can't just give this one away for free. You they can't got just give it away. Oh, they're not nice even taking any damage from the Baron. They're nearly going to kill the Swain there at the very start. A TP coming in. Oh, that's ready a to commit. Jump in now too. The Akali's ready to commit. The killing spree over to the Swain now as the Baron is going to be taken low. The Baron secured by the side of Team Buddha and the fight's going their way as well. A game that was so close for so long is so doomed as Team Buddha rains down dominance in the mid game. Yep, as soon as the misfortune gets caught out, and we were saying earlier that misfortune, I don't really like it from the champion slick. It's going to be a champion you got to play far up. It's not going to be that effective. You see it right there. They immediately try to. You were talking about capitalization, dude. There they go. They got to talk about they capitalization. We need to get the capitalization, the punctuation. Give me a multi part sentence. Throw a couple commas and semicolons in there because this team Buddha is the real deal. Call these motherfuckers a thesis statement. I don't even need capitalization. These guys are getting everything done. I think that we're just 20, 27 second cooldown. Okay, every focus up. Buy your shit. We're, we go back. We fight arrow again and we fight again. Do it again. Yep. Oh, we got do it again. Just fight again. Do it again. Do it again. We go. Okay. We go again, boys. We go we again. Go again. Run it back. Run it back. Go Run again. It down. At this point, any target is two to two drakes too. So nobody's gonna win through a soul or anything like that. This is just gonna come down to good old fashioned League of Legends team fighting. I love it. I love it. I love it. What's uh? What's that copy pasta? Hold on. Where can I find it? Yeah, there it is. There it is. That's fucking League of Legends right there. None of that pansy ass playing safe for late game bullshit. Men puke on the rift. Men poop on the rift. Men deliver their newborn baby on the rift. Team Buddha is here, and they're here to stay. That's the that's the pasta. I knew I could find it somewhere. Damn, you found that fast. Wait, did chat do that? Or did you no, that was find it. That was me. Jesus. I was actually looking from the very start when I posed the question. It was just smoking mirrors. Uh. Yeah, Jesus, the, the illusion. <laughs> <laughs> my, my immersion. Yeah, oh. I've broken your immersion, but that's fine because Team Buddha has broken this game open. It's now theirs to lose. Arrow's not going to find the target, but man, they don't even need it to. They've still got the Baron. They still got the pressure. They still got the map. They still got everything. Five man grouped up. They're death balling down mid here. Gonna break off a little bit now. They're having trouble breaking through these inhibitor turret lines. Boys, there's still a tier two in the bottom lane. You can rough that thing up real easy. They see me here. They're, they're in the I am. I'm on the edge of my seat here. I'm just. I'm just yeah, 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 yeah. Pressure top, pressure top. What's gonna happen? They already used the arrow. There's 40 seconds left on that cooldown. How are they gonna find this engage? Because remember, something I like to talk about when games reach standstills is where the fuck is the wave clear? 
it, it's Saikuno. They, all their wave clear is Saikuno. And he's the most vulnerable person on this team. Dude, I I don't know if I would call 14 and 3 luck support vulnerable. Like, he wants you to try to dive his ass. He's about to blow you up. This guy, look at his inventory. Horizon focus, fully evolved support item, fully completed Zonias, fully completed Ludens. This dude, oh, here he goes, missing everybody up. All right, Sakuna, let's see it. He's stuck in the Shadow Realm, but it looks like his grandpa's deck has no weak cards. He's ready to go, and he'll turn it right back around. Fuck Exodia, he don't even need a hand. He's playing everything, and the man is all places Saikuno and team buddha are slamming this fight they've lost blouse toys but they've claimed three and they're already in the enemy base wow that was actually so well played by Saikuno. he walked forward baited the q walked forward and back and baited the grip like that was actually really well done and then the call he jumped on him and then he had zonias like to not panic zonias as soon as you get altied by the mordekaiser just he's playing out of his mind this game Saikuno's MVP for the series, for sure. Yeah, 100%. Sure. Saikuno MVP if Team Buddha is able to win this one. I expect Team Buddha to win this one based on the current state of the game, based on the current state of the towers, the current state of the kills, the current state of the map. It would take what I would consider a very long shot miracle for Team Soda to come back from this one. Really nicely played from Team Buddha here. We're going to see him regroup. We're going to see him probably go for a Drake. I would hope they try to push that bottom lane, get that last tier too. Dragon time. <laughs> Was that like a half nerd? <laughs> no, dragon time. It's about to devolve into dragon. Dragon. <laughs> oh, oh, they yoinked it. No, the dragon has been yoinked and we won't get a fight. But instead, that just means we don't have to worry about a fight here. And instead, we'll get a fight soon enough. I expect to see that bottom lane push up. The minion wave is shoving down there. Nobody's near it. They're saying, nope, we don't care about the tier two. We want tier threes. They're pinging up towards the top side and they're going for that inhibitor turret that's barely standing. I need a word here. I need a word right here. We don't have right here, guys. Let's get a ward on that. Get a ward on that. Who's, where's Let's our ward guy? Who, ward guy? Who's going to do the ward, ward Saikuno? No, fuck that. He's the damage. No, you don't even get yeah, exactly. wards. Sell the ward item for Void Staff. We need more damage from this guy. Give him a hat. Give him two. No. He oh. heavy magic I don't, I don't Sword him into right. Gryffindor, dude. I don't think so. Wait, is that the hero one? Only five we get something. What? Yeah. what? I okay, yeah, I couldn't remember. I, I, I did one of those tests one oh time, God. and I'm, I'm the snake. That's the one I got. <laughs> I am the snake. I'm pretty sure the snake's the bad guy, but it's also a cool one, so I was cool with that. I was like, sure, dude, I'll be the bad guy. Not so all, cool. not all Slytherins are bad, but you know, but all bad guys What's are Slytherins. What's the in the, in like the, the movie though? Like, I've, I've never read the books. I can't read, but not, the. It, oh, oh, we got an attempt. Wait, 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 wait. These are flags out. There's a bullet time. Nice job from Blaustoys blocking the left half of it, but now he's got to try to survive as Soda Poppin looks for the kill and will not find it. Saikuno, unstoppable, unpoppable, undroppable. Junglers traded one for one. Yeah, and then Misfortune has to go get that uh, that minion wave. You know, Zelikari farming it up with him. They are they're just calling the Baron already. They are already in there. Yep, 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 yep. There's no junglers, so. Yeah, no junglers, exactly. This is a true burger flip Baron. This is the North America classic. No junglers. Let the chips fall where they may. Uh, Sakuno just said, all right, see ya, bro. Nice kill there. Insta give on the enemy support, taking out the Swain. 4v3 on the map, and Baron goes over to Team Boot. Yeah, they have, they have two mid laners right now. They, they, they didn't even support anymore. That thing, that thing scares me. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude. Oh, now Saikuno's, we want to fight. <laughs> Saikuno's Lux has been so fun to watch. I am absolutely loving this. <laughs> loving it. Literally take blue buff. God. We are starving, man. Just take everything. Take everything in the jungle. Oh, they're, they're going to go do jungle duty, and then they're going to group up, and then they're going to push. They're like, a, yeah, they are crossing their T's, dotting their I's. Dot your I's, cross your T's, and X your D's. Make sure you're ready to go and you're prepared to absolutely clown on people. That's what it's got to be. Check tab. Look for QSS. Look for stopwatch. Look for guardian angel. And then know who you got to shit on and when you got to shit on them. Don't unload the entire artillery on somebody that's immediately going to come back to life or aggro drop. Go for the people who once you kill them, they're dead, dead in this game.
Mm -hmm. 17, 3, and 9. Whew. He's, he's a speedy boy, too. Wild Rift will do that to you. Let's everybody have a Skarner Spire. Not just Skarner. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Needlessly large right. rod in the inventory. I expect him to be building this towards a Rabadons. He's got 439 AP as a support. I'm gonna go the long way around. We're long past the point of support here. Saikuno's performance is unfortunately going to motivate. I mean, with 41,000 people watching this right now, I can believe that Saikuno's performance in this game will negatively impact North American solo queue for the rest of the evening as multiple former mid laners queue up as supports and just play full damage locks. Saikuno, you've done an awesome job, oh, that, that but the community is going to feel the repercussions of this for probably the next 24 hours. God, it's, it's, it's like, man, fame comes with some uh, some prices. Sometimes you just have to rule exactly. it you. It's just the cost of being too damn good. Fillion's going to step forward. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looking for a chance to go in. Fillion dashes in. That's a pretty cool freeze frame there in the stasis. But now they got to look out. Saikuno is the target. Not even there. Sure he can find it a mark. Dwayne nearly dying. dying. Harry jumps in. Look at to clean this one up. They find the damage they need. The Swain's still barely staying alive here. Bit of a messy fight from both sides. We're going to get a one for one here to start it out, but Saikuno is still alive. They want to keep Blaustoys alive now as well, and they get the double kill over to the Lux before Kane's able to heal from the second part of the ulti. Now Fillion wants to stand and fight. Fillion's going to find Blau, but it's traded one for one. Three for two overall here in the battle. We still got Saikuno. We still got XQC, and we still got Giga Chad Harry looking to push 20 seconds before Swain respawns. Saikuno's actually absolutely smurfing. Absolutely in this game. The guy, the guy is just... Oh my god, he's insane! Okay. He's carrying this team so hard. That, that was a... Wait, oh. Oh, I don't Atari? know if it's enough to end it up. XQC, he's going in. He's looking for his kills, but now he's found himself in the Shadow Realm against Lakari. Can he kite it out? This is a pretty good champion to do it with, but he gets hit by the pull, and that means he's down. Top lane inhibitor falls, but the push will stop as the enemy champions respawn. 33 Actually, minutes no. in, another team fight in, and our game still ain't done. Yep. Man, Buddha died before that previous fight, and then they were just like, all right, it's time to fight 4v4. Lakari wasn't even there. Uh, I was surprised they kept pushing that. That just seems like they're being real eager. This is so this, good. This is so close. I am loving this is our final game. You always want the final game of the series to be the best 100%. game of the series, and this is totally the best game of the series. Uh, okay, 100%. Sure kind of and, and like the other thing too is once uh, you reach six items, so right, the gold isn't going to be worth anything after that. Uh, so if this game keeps it, dragging on, this they'll start everything catching everything up in terms of items. Yep. But because also keep in mind, Saikuno has a lot of the gold on the team. Um, so he has to do a lot of the work with his skill shots here. Oh, I mean, he's doing 20 it. 20 of the 32 kills. Yeah. We literally just he's, all the time. he's doing it. This is a. Uh, Damn, oh, he's got he's, he's, he's full build. He's full build. He's full build. 616 AP. Rabadon's death cap completed. There's uh Damn, there's there's not much further he can go. He doesn't have a blue pot, so the next time he goes back to shop, he's got 500 gold in the inventory. He can buy a blue pot. But other than that, the man doesn't get any stronger. Their opponents are stuck inside the base right now. Mid lane inhibitor at least respawn, but the top lane inhib is gone. The Ooh. Dragon Soul will be spawning here in a couple of minutes. It's three versus three on the Drake count. Giga Chad Harry jumps in, goes after Lakari, who immediately drops the ulti. Wants to try to spend as much time here in the 1v1 against Giga Chad Harry, and he takes him down. That'll at least make this an even trade. I don't see any way out for Lakari. He'll be brought right back with the set Wait, ulti. Tries to take it. another one with him, but he can't quite do it. Saikuno staying alive there. One for one jungler for top laner, and now the push is going to be up here in top lane. Oh, just a yeah. He's just throwing those out now, trying to snipe people wherever he can before he recalls. Because there's just yeah, exactly. He's just using it because of low health. Okay, XQC, good shot, good shot. Soda Poppin goes for the knockup, doesn't quite have the range. Disengage, coming out there from the Swain. Set is dead against the Misfortune. Now they're going to try to get Blastoise away from Soda Poppin, but the second part of the ulti comes through. There's your knockup. W lands true. Bullet time flying out, forcing the disengage from the rest. Blastoise is down. Here comes Fillion. Akali is jumped in, and the smoke screen is down, and that means Ash is not long for this world. Resurrection ain't going to mean shit. Guardian Angel don't matter. Here he comes back. 
back to life. Oh, but at least he'll get one kill in return, despite the fact that he still falls. Fillion continues the chase, but has to be respectful of the damage Saikuno is able to put down. Look at the way he's waiting. Look at where his camera's positioned. His camera is positioned with his character on the right side of the screen, so he has more view over the left in case somebody walked up and tried to go towards that fruit in the river. He was ready to make the one shot, but he didn't want to risk it. He knows this game is on his shoulders. God, it looked like they were throwing for a second there on Team Buddha, and then uh, it just gave it right back there. They didn't use the right amount of people to finish and clean up those kills, so they gave up little counter kills they didn't have to. Man, this has started to become like more and more of a professional cast as it's gone on and less bullshit. And, what are you like, talking about? I said fuck like every other sentence. <laughs> oh, I just mean like in terms of like the stuff we're focusing on because he's actually good. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, but now we got it. Now we got Giga Chad Harry going in, but he's stuck inside the Shadow Run with Lakari one more time. Soda Poppin's gonna fall. Harry barely stays alive, but he falls down at the very end now. Saikuno looking for the damage here on the Mordekaiser. Will get it. One more auto attack will make it happen. Stasis for Lakari. Buying a moment, but a moment is cheap. 36 minutes into the game. It's two for one across the board so far with an arrow coming through. And XQC puts it right in the heart and there to blame. Now we've got ourselves a 4v1. He's dead. This will be the end of the game. This will be the end of the series. This will be the end of the tournament. And what a badass way to have it end. An awesome showing between Team Buddha and Team Soda. But it's Team Buddha showing up when it mattered, getting it done here in game three. The incredible Saikuno Carey brings him the dub two to one as the champions of your OTK Rift tournament. I <laughs> take a hit there. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my lord! <laughs> oh god! Oh god! What a good ending! That was that, that was amazing. Was bad ass. That is what I wanted. That is what I queued up for. That is what I got. Fuck yeah! Hey, we're trying to get the winning team in here for an interview. Uh, while we wait, do you guys have any final thoughts on that game? I thought for a bit that Team Soda was gonna. Do the yeah. reverse sweep. It yeah, looked like I there might have been a chance Christ. for a comeback. Do that spend oh. people that spend the X pack earlier? What? Wait, <laughs> hold on. I was I don't know. I'm trying to see is producer talking, is anybody else talking? Look, <laughs> no. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry, everybody. We're Thank just you for paying. watching. Um, Thank uh, you. Me and Zyrene aren't part of the interview, so I'm gonna leave now. Y'all have been awesome. Oh hell yeah. Wait, we stay? We stay? Oh, wait, I'm being told different stuff. I don't know what's going on. Uh, all right, we're all staying. I just lied. Yeah, don't listen staying. to me. Listen to Emi. How? What direction do I point to Emi? Listen to Emi Roo. Towards your bed. There you yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Pog. Winning team. Congrats. How do you guys feel? We feel fucking fantastic. So what do you think, man? We're hey. I mean, it, was, it was expected. Let's be real. <laughs> all right. All right. So my first question. I got I to gotta address the man of the hour, the man with the power. Saikuno, I gotta know, huh? how are you able to actually get up and get out of bed in the morning when your back must be under so much stress from carrying that uh, fucking hard? Uh, Holy shit, off. bro. I didn't Holy really, uh, um, well, I kind of just, I just hide in the back and shoot lasers. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. It sounds pretty Also, I kind of stole me, all the kills humble, from X, humble. If, yeah, humble. if he we got the kills, he would have carried. Humble? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so listen, listen, listen. I, I, I don't mean to take no credit, okay? <laughs> but bot lane is a duo. We band together. If it wasn't yeah. for me, we uh, get no kills. Together, every get no round. kills. Right. No money, no items. No, I have no damage. <laughs> I, we got those kills together. No, I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not on we his did. back. I'm um, part of the back. Yo, you hey, ever see that meme I with respect. the parents with a kid in the one sock, and, and they're each missing one sock? Yeah, that's that's you guys. Yeah, that's that was us in bot lane. Oh, hey, I respect yeah. look at these, both of these guys having this synergy. Saikuno, you know what it is? This is Legolas and Gandalf right here. We got the archer and we got the mage, and they're getting the whole shit done, throwing the ring into Mordor and walking away with the dub. With look at the damage charts, man. You guys He's are popping off. Jesus. Oh, Whew. bad Lux. Saikuno went hard. Twenty three and three. At one, at one point, he took one of my one of my cannons, and I told him I would disconnect if he, if he did it again. Yeah, it's almost that, disconnected. That, that, that did happen. Boundaries. Yeah, that did. Establishing not, boundaries. Our biggest mm. threat is ourselves. That's that's the only one who could have defeated us here today. Uh, spoken, spoken like a uh, Yasuo player. player.
Let's talk about the two and five game. What about my other Yasuo game? Fuck off, Flowers. <laughs> oh. <laughs> flowers, <laughs> uh, flowers, think about it. I just, uh, listen, they lost to me on Yasuo. How embarrassing is that? You I know mean, of all people. That's true. You actually did get in their heads with that one. If you lose to Blaustoy's Yasuo, you got some reconsiderations to make about your life. I mean, congratulations, Blaustoy's. Like, Awesome stuff. I literally told him to stop banning you because you played too many 200 years champs and the best thing they could do is shave off a decade and you still got 190 to go. Like, they couldn't ban you out. Thank you. True. The most flexible player in North American server. The guy can play it all. Doesn't matter what character it is, he can play it. He masters it. Exactly, man. Right? The guy is impressive. And Giga Chat Harry, I, I gotta ask, I gotta direct the next question to you because okay. you experienced a jungler's hell in that last game at level one. You ended up trying to take the buff away. Oh, he ends up man. stealing it. You just end up leashing. How do you recover mentally from this absolute boom of a level one? I get carried by my bot lane. That's my juice there. Thank you, Sekuno. Thank God we have Lux. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All the Harry. fucking packs smoked, baby. Good engagements. <laughs> well, well, I'm, 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 I'm done. It's one word. It's, it's got something called common denominator. Every time they lost, they kept banning my ADs. I'm not even that good. What was the problem bottom for them? It's Lux. Where's the Lux ban? Pussies. Instead, they show up with some, some made-up new character. It's still in, it's stuck in Alpha. Coming out middle with three lives, something like that. What even is that about, yeah, man? New character fucking yeah, sucks. New man. character. Super cheese, cheese, man. Crazy. Super cheese, I don't even know what man. she does. That character the sucks. Right right now, I don't know what she Which does. Is rats. Cheese is for, it's for rats. We rats? didn't touch no cheese today. Wait, no right, I, got, I, got, I got to ask the captain, Buddha, Buddha, when you put this team together, were these the boys that you wanted to be there to win it all and you thought you guys were going to win it from the start? Fuck yeah, baby. Let's yeah, go. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, XOY, dual bot lane, Blau was the one who asked me to play. Yeah, they I'm told gonna me it was at 1 p.m. also. I yeah, love I didn't put the team together. Yeah. I love this interview, but I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting a little bit lightheaded. The team, yeah, the team was all ready together, man. We've been play, uh, we, we, we play the shit We've been playing together like sometimes, yeah. That's bad. Okay, ass, getting man. practice in. Hell yeah. I'm yeah, getting lightheaded right now. We do a lot worse, if I'm honest. I... This, this is tough. Because we've been smoking on that uh, soda pack all fucking day. Give, yeah. give me a little bit of a headache. Oh, smoking that soda pack Ooh. hardcore. Maybe yeah. a little bit too much at the end there. Maybe a little bit too much. I don't know. Tell me. Yeah, uh, we got the win, right? That's... Exactly. So am I, am I to believe then, am I uh, making a correct assumption if I say that the next time there's an OTK Rift tournament, you guys are going to be the squad to beat? This is, this is your house now. Hell oh yeah, we're going to repeat. No one's beating okay. us. Oh, sure. Unless you guys yeah. invite like, challenger players. As long as does players, the rank, but... uh, the thing, make sure no. I'm against other bronze players, you know? Like, I just got to... What, you rolled all the other players, Saikuna? What do you mean? <laughs> no, I just got lucky. I just got lucky. I'm an actual mm, bronze. Okay, okay, look, okay, at my, look at my okay, match history. I'm saying. bronze 40% win rate. Actual bronze 40% win rate. It's it's kind of And you won! Right. You're a champion of OTK Rift! Just because my teammates were great. Oh, Especially so my AD awesome. carry. Oh, okay. We almost always won bot, I feel like. For real? Like this team, we For are... Real. Uh, the the whole teamwork. is greater than the sum of its parts. Uh, yeah, we're, we synergize. That's why we won. Oh, yep, and we're gonna put the trophy at the manor. Also, um... Yeah, we're gonna put the trophy at the cool. manor. <laughs> we got camped bottom. Didn't matter. Where's my jungler? He's crying and dying. Does it matter? What? It does not. What? It doesn't. It doesn't. We prevail. Bro, I'm gonna be honest. The fact that they didn't camp Buddha and cause Buddha to mauled, because I that's really how you beat our team. If you camp Buddha and cause him to mauled, we lose. Uh that yeah. was yep, their win yep. condition. They didn't do it. Whew. Okay. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming and congrats on winning. It's been awesome watching you guys play and roll the whole tournament. It was awesome. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, it was a lot congrats. of fun. Thank you for putting yeah. it uh, for together, us. man. No, Thanks for inviting us. It was actually a blast. Congratulations, yeah. gentlemen. Badass performance. Uh, I hope you celebrate with another one of them soda packs. Get faded. Hell yeah. Thank you. Hell thank you. Yeah. All day. Thanks. Jeez. 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 Great tournament. Bye, guys. Jeez. Thank Jeez. you, Good job, everyone. We just leave now, right? Yeah, do we leave now? Yeah, yeah. Leave now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you. Great, great Bye. tournament, everyone. Yeah, good. Bye, Bye, everyone. Is that actually... <laughs> do we just have a still frame of Sanch? Sanch said he had to go, but we... Okay, production put a still photo have of Sanch in, so it's like, it's like he's still with us. Did I just... <laughs> That's awesome, man. <laughs> the spirit of Sanchovies still blessing this house. <sighs> Okay, we're gonna take a look at, at the bracket and the prizing, and then we're gonna wrap the show up.
Okay, so final standings, Team Buddha, two and one versus Team Soda for our third and fourth place, Cutie in third, and Team Erob in fourth. Wait, isn't Erob, didn't Erob win since they're highlighted yeah, in yellow? Yeah, wait, no, this isn't right. Produ production, what happened? Okay, no, 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 Team Erob third, Team Cutie fourth. Okay, this is fine. Uh, first right, place, right, walking away with 5k, second, 3k, and third place, 2k, but we know all that really mattered today was the bragging rights. Oh, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. That's what I can't wait to see the next episode because I want to see if those boys can come back and defend their title. They seemed pretty confident in themselves. They seemed like they had a plan from the very beginning. I don't know how much of that is just um, conjecture, but you know what? I, I think they they're serious. They, they still have yeah. strong oh, yeah. mental after seven hours of League of Legends. I think that's, that's one of the most impressive do. things. <laughs> <laughs> Very impressive. Okay. Uh, it's been amazing having you four, uh, including Sanch. He's not here with us. But uh, I couldn't have asked for a better mm. set of casters. This was perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. It's been amazing seeing you guys cast and having fun and just being yourselves unleashed, uncensored. Uh, thank you so much for having Thank you so much for being here. I can't speak. I'm just <laughs> at a loss of words. Yeah, it, was, it was no problem having yeah. you on your own stream. It was all good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. Don't no. forget to enter me. The... This is my entry into the costume cosplay contest. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Yeah. See just you on the, the right. <laughs> yeah. Yep, send it I'm in. in. I'm ready to go. All right. Okay. No, thank you so much for hosting this. Everybody mm -hmm. that watched, thank you all for showing up. 40,000 people watching the OTK Rift tournament. No other way to describe it than badass. Y'all have been fantastic. Can't wait to see you back here for the next one. A giant fuck yeah from me to you and everybody all around. Games have been great. Y'all have been great. It's been a great afternoon. It's been wonderful. Hell yeah. It's been wonderful. Uh, I also want to thank production and OTK in general for this event. Peckies, Ashley, Sinak, JP, Jeff, Tips. They did so much work behind the scenes to set this up. There was a lot of scrambling last minute. A lot of times they stayed up super late to get this done. And I think that I, we couldn't have asked for a better first tournament. And we're not done yet. And this wouldn't have been possible without OTK, of course. I cannot be more honored to be a part of this org. It's exactly what I wanted. It's a dream come true. That's yeah. wholesome as hell. Hell yeah. Super yeah. wholesome. Yeah, my goal with this tournament was to try to recreate the feeling of like old LCS watching worlds with like your friends. And hopefully that's what we accomplished for everyone in chat today. I think it was super fun. I had so much fun watching. I was laughing the whole time, muted behind the scenes. I thought it was amazing. And the chat's been amazing. The casters were amazing. The players were amazing. And yeah, I think this went perfectly. I couldn't be more you, happy. Your chat's fucking sick, actually, Loki. <laughs> right? Like, they know the good emotes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you actually have you've grown a lot of shit posters. You've raised them well. Yep. It's a good Thank place. You. Good place. <laughs> Thank you. I enjoyed Thank my you. stay. Okay. Thank you all so much for being here. It is much appreciated. Anytime. Okay. Happy to do it. I hope to see you yep. all back for the next one. Peace. Yeah, hopefully see you for the next one. Goodbye. Yep. All right. See you guys. Bye. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, I'm going to sign off now. Uh, I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow. Mama Roo and Greg, my father, are coming to visit tomorrow. I'll be back on Sunday. I saw some people asking about my outfit and if I'm wearing pajama pants. I actually got real pants for this event. That's how serious I was. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you had fun. This event has been a dream of mine. I thought it went very well. So to end the stream, we're going to raid uh, Ezfand. He, st he restarted his subathon. Very cool guy. He played in the tournament earlier. We're gonna go say hello to him. All right, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing evening, and hopefully you'll show up for the next one. We're not done yet. There will be more. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I keep saying that. I'm sorry. Have a good night, everyone, and goodbye.